April 4. Friday, April 5th, live Facebook record sale. When you're on and watching, be sure to let us know. Unfortunately, I've got to go over here and mute Rush. I know that sounds horrible, doesn't it? Muting Rush, but i got to do it. All right. Here we go, folks. Oh, Alex Roman, first commentor. Welcome, Alex Roman. All right. Welcome, Saturday night. Sorry I'm a few minutes late. It's been a very wild... Uh, day here at Coletco, even though I wasn't here most of the day, but um, I was doing other stuff and tried to sleep for a few hours, and I think I'm rested enough to do this sale for the next seven hours. If not, I better get over it. Right, Tanner? Yep. The wheat does not survive here. Let's go ahead and get this shared. Copy link. Let's get this shared in the group. Tanner's going home to go to bed. Yep. Paul's in the back pricing records. Tanner said good night, everybody. He's going to bed. Uh, John and Ed did a great job putting on the dollar sale today. Also, Brian and his wife was here uh, packing and shipping stuff. And then uh, Doug was here today packing and shipping stuff. And Jake was here packing and shipping stuff. And Rebecca was here. Uh, I don't think Seth was here. No surprise. LOL, <laughs> and uh, we're ready to do another sale tonight. Now, I will say we got some new stuff to show. I got new, new vinyl. I've got new stuff to show. There's just uh, a lot of it I've never went through, but that, that's what usually happens, right? I got stuff I've never gone through, so, but tonight I've literally showed up. I've scarfed down some food. I've hit go live, and uh, I'm about to just show you records, and hopefully you start buying them. That's why we're here. Let's go share. Let's go copy link. I need everybody to like the Facebook post immediately. Like the YouTube video immediately. It really helps out on nights like tonight, like Friday nights and Saturday nights, when there may not be as many people watching. So we need as many people tuning in every night to share some of these incredible records that we have night after night, night after night, night after night, night after night, night after night. Let's go ahead and get our story posted. Story, story, story. Let me get a good image here. Let's see. Let's go to favorites. Do something here. All right, there we go. Sorry, it's a few minutes late. Like I said, I was trying to scarf down food. Y'all know who I am. If I didn't, I mean, I'm going to be standing here for the next six to eight hours. And uh, you don't want to be uh, hungry and uncomfortable. So, uh, let's see here. Let's go to chat. And I am about to start the comments. Where are you comments? There are you comments. All right. I think we're good to go, folks. Um I got a crate up. I just priced tonight's new vinyl, which is one crate of new, new stuff, of new vinyl. And then we've got four crates of vintage stuff marked for tonight. And I've got uh, three more bins of putbacks. So, uh, putbacks, new vintage from Paul and John, and um, auctions. That's what I'm going to have to try to find. I don't have really too much prepared to auction tonight. So I will try my best to obtain some new auctions and see what we have. So let me try to get some stuff ready for auction. I may ask Paul when he comes up here, does he have anything? We might can find something, some something, something to auction. But I don't really have a lot of keynote auctions ready for tonight. So we'll get to those in just a second. All right. Um, let's see. Let's set this off to the side. And I'll do that crate later. Actually, I'm going to pull a few things out and add it to this bin. Uh, let me do that right quick. I'm going to add it to the front of this bin. All these audio file pressings I need to pull out right there. I'll show those audio files in just a second. And 
Let's get this show on the road, folks. I do have some put-back auctions, or non-payment auctions, and I'll have to dig some stuff out. Right. So, here we go. Welcome, everybody. Uh... I'm called up, make sure I didn't miss anything's claims. If I missed anything, let me know. I'm just kind of now looking at the at the comments for the first time. All right, let me set this there. And boom, let's get going. All right, so we'll do a creative warm-up new stuff here. I have Jeff Buckley, Grace, new and sealed. Jeff Buckley is $33.99. This is Jeff Buckley, Grace, $33.99. That is new and sealed, Jeff Buckley, $33.99. This is all new, new vinyl. I got Pantera, Far Beyond Driven. Now, the thing about Pantera is it's on colored vinyl. It's new and sealed. It's $33.99 for Pantera, Far Beyond Driven. I'm going to go ahead and get my laptop open, make sure we don't have any waiting lists. There could be a few things in here we have waiting lists for, but I really don't think so. Let me check my Pantera. Cowboys from Hell. Okay, that's it. So... $33.99. Boy, that was fast. John Grace and Brian G. Owens. That's sold and sold. This is uh, John Grace gets a Pantera and Brian G. Owens gets a Pantera. Those are sold and sold. First two nights, or first two, uh, first two, <laughs> first sales of the night, if I can spit it out. Fleetwood Mac, Tango in the Night. Fleetwood Mac is $33.99 for Tango in the Night. Fleetwood Mac, Tango in the Night. Let me check the power on my generator. That looks good. Let me step over here. Tanner said there were several auctions over here that I could do. So let me grab these right here. We got several things that didn't get paid for originally. We're going to re-auction. So that's going to be some of the first stuff we're going to go through tonight. We'll take a look at that right now. Fleetwood Mac is $33.99. Tango in the Night. That has I Want to Be With You Everywhere on it. Little Lies, $33.99. That's always been a tough OG to find for some reason. Here's their first auction. It is a Japanese pressing. UK flag series number four of Meet the Beatles. Or is this Beatles for Sale? This is Beatles for Sale. Meet the Beatles is the US version. This is Beatles for Sale, Japanese pressing, UK flag series number four, $45 start. The vinyl is what you would expect, near mint minus and pristine. Beautiful. This is a non payment record, so whoever buys this, please make sure you pay for it. I would greatly appreciate it. There is the Japanese insert, and it has the original black inner sleeve from Apple. That is a $45 start on the Beatles, UK flag series number four. This is a MoFi pressing. I'm going to put this up for a $55 start, much less than what it originally sold for. It is a sealed copy of Billy Joe, the nylon curtain. It is a sealed MoFi copy, which is a 2LP 45 RPM, low number 1216, relatively low to some I've seen. $55 start on that, and it is sealed. It is unopened. Billy Joe Mofi pressing. Hayden Ernest wants Fleetwood Mac. That's sold to Hayden Ernest. We got one Fleetwood Mac, and we got one Jeff Buckley. That is $33.99. Jeff Buckley Grace is $33.99. We have Neil Young, Massey Hall, $46.99 for Neil Young, Massey Hall. I've been listening to this, not only on vinyl, but the uh, when I've been driving lately, I, this has kind of been my go-to listen. I love that first song, On the Way Home, which was original Buffalo Springfield, but that is so good. Such a great concert. Neil Young is $46.99. You'll be amazed at how great it sounds. Lint Biscuit, Significant Other. Lint Biscuit is new and sealed, $39.99 for Lint Biscuit, Significant Other. And here's another Pantera, another very popular album. It's Vulgar Display of Power, $33.99 with Walk and Rise and... Cemetery Gates on this one? I thought it was. Maybe not on this one. $33.99, though, for Pantera, Vulgar Display of Power. That's limited edition white and true metal gray marble vinyl. Pantera, and I got a restock of Widespread Panic. Widespread Panic, Ain't Life Grand. That is on colored vinyl. Widespread Panic, $36.99. These two Panteras are sold. We got one sold to John Grace, and we got one sold to Sean Reed. Sold and sold. Thank you and thank you. If you just hopped on, we got two auctions. We got a Japanese pressing of Beatles for Sale. UK Flag Series, Japanese pressing number four. Obi, near mint minus pristine vinyl, insert and inner sleeve. No bid, looking for a $45 start. This sealed MoFi, like I said, it's sold for auction. I've kind of cut the price. Scott Ham has it for a $55 bid. That's going twice, going three times to him. It is a sealed MoFi. Billy Joe, I have one copy of Judas Priest, British Steel, Breaking the Law, $29.99. Living After Midnight. I believe most people will agree that's their most 
successful album. I'm pretty sure it is, but some may say it's their best. Judas Priest, $29.99 for British Steel. And Neil Young, this is a pretty interesting release. It's called Neil Young, Doom. Doom. And what it is, it's Neil Young with Crazy Horse, The Zuma Sessions, 16 songs on two LPs with seven never before released. And I was able actually to get an indie exclusive. A limited edition includes print of cover art. And I think it's a lenticular, but I don't see it. I don't know. I've been wanting to open one of these and see what it's all about and listen to it. But um, obviously a very popular album with Cortez the Killer, which is on here. And then it has seven unreleased songs. So that's $39.99. The Beatles does have a bid for $45. Matt Shepard gets a Judas Priest. And Billy Joe has a new bid for $57. There is a waiting list on this. We've been getting them in bits and pieces. But this is the Slayer Show No Mercy 40th Anniversary box set, $84.99. But there is a waiting list for this. There is a waiting list for Slayer. So let me bring this to your attention by saying Jackie Ray. Jackie Ray was on a waiting list. He's number one. Then Hiram Aponte. Then Jim Berg. So there's two after two more people on the waiting list still. But Jackie Ray was in slot number one. So that's $84.99. $84.99. Billy Joe got a new bid for $60. And the Beatles has a new bid for uh, $46. I have never had this before on new vinyl. Grease. $46.99. New and sealed. The reason is, is I get the OG quite often. Obviously a multi-platinum popular album. But we just we can't keep them in stock. And people come in here all the time asking for this and Dirty Dancing and Saturday Night Fever. So I've made a decision. I'm just going to keep them in stock and keep them in our bins. Plus, a lot of people want new and sealed copies. They don't want a used one. Even though it is an original, they want a brand spanking new one. And that's Grease. It's a 2LP, $46.99. Sell that to Mike Moore. If anybody else wants one, let me know. I'm also about to order Saturday Night Fever and Dirty Dancing. And I think even Flash Dance is in print. All those iconic movies. We just can't keep them in stock. The demand is still astronomically high for all those releases. Next is Cypress Hill, Black Sunday. Cypress Hill is $39.99. That's a new and sealed 2LP for Cypress Hill, Black Sunday. $39.99 on that. Let's give an update here. Billy Joe got a bid for $60. The Beatles got a bid for $46. Now, Jason Hopkins only had one copy of Priest. So, Jason, if you want one, I'll have to put you on a waiting list, or Johnny Hopkins, that is. Excuse me, Johnny Hoskins. Johnny Hoskins, if you want a Judas Priest, I'll have to order you one, but they won't be in until next week, and then I won't bill you until the following Monday. So it will be like a week and two days before you get an invoice for it, but that means next week it will be part of your combined shipping. So if anybody wants on a waiting list on anything I sell out of tonight, it will definitely be next week when it comes in because we don't get new vinyl tomorrow. We don't get new vinyl on Sundays, obviously. So that's how that works. Mike Moore got grease. And then we have uh, Billy Joe at 65, Billy Joe at 70, and the Beatles is at 50 with D.K. Evans. So Jason Boxel, you're outbid. Paul Ogley also wants on the Judas Priest. And uh, do you ship to Canada? Yes, Dave, we have several people watching that we ship to uh, Canada every day, uh, every day to. Yeah, we have people on here we sell to every day, but we do Canadian shipments very, very often. Yes, we ship to Canada. So... Um, uh, Paul Oakley on Judas Priest, and uh, I'll explain how that works in just a second. And there was another question, Bob Seger against the wind. I don't think that's in print, Jerry. Not all of Seger's individual albums are in print. I'm almost positive that one's not. I've never seen a new pressing of that available. But I will check. Let's put Jerry Stone on that waiting list, but I don't think I can get it. Um, and new bids on that. There was one more cl uh, claim in here I thought I had. Pantera. The Both Panteras are sold out. If anybody wants on waiting list, let me know. That was Far Beyond Driven. That's colored vinyl, $33.99. Far Beyond Driven. If you want on that one, comment Far Beyond Driven waiting list. And we also sold out a vulgar display of power. I don't think I have any more. I'm going to go through a lot of new vinyl bins tonight. We do have a ton of vintage stuff to go through. We got four crates of new price vintage from John. Paul hadn't brought up his stuff yet, and then there's three bins of putbacks over here. Wow, that's like a that's a whole show. That is an entire whole show right there. Uh, I'll sh update our auctions in one second, but let me go ahead and show uh, live throwing copper, a very popular because originals are so difficult to come by. Live throwing copper is thirty nine ninety nine. That's a twenty fifth anniversary edition with three bonus songs that wasn't on the original. That's live throwing copper. $39.99. Took me a long time when I first started ordering a lot of this new vinyl about five years ago. I always thought the 
artist was throwing copper and it's a live album. It's the other way around. It's live, throwing copper, and it's a studio album. The Police Synchronicity. Here's another example of an iconic 80s album that should be relatively easy to get, but we can't keep them in stock. Synchronicity, $33.99. A massive album by The Police, Walking in Your Footsteps, Synchronicity Part 2, Every Breath You Take, my personal favorite, King of Pain. I love the song King of Pain. By far my favorite Police song, $33.99. There is a waiting list for this. I can't believe there is a Beatles bootleg in print, but there is. The Beatles, London to Manchester, and there was a waiting list for this. I don't think I have enough for everybody, but I'll check it right quick. This is the Beatles, London to Manchester, and the waiting list was Mike Torres and Lily McCurry. So I do have an extra. Mike Torres and Lily McCurry was on a waiting list. These are $33.99. It's the Beatles, London to Manchester, 1963, and that is sold and sold, and I got one extra, $33.99 on that, and that's... Um, that is an unofficial release, by the way. Uh, the, our auctions are Billy Joel. This is a couple things, non-payments. Tanner Purse, some more non-payments. So we got some great auctions that people didn't pay for. Their loss, your gain. This is a sealed MoFi copy of Billy Joel, The Nylon Curtain. This is now out of print. It's a relatively low number, 1216, compared to some I've seen. It is a 2LP 45 RPM, and it is sealed. And the high bid is Scott Ham at $75. Scott Ham at $75. Larry Drish is out. Thank you for letting me know you're out. That's a final call for $75. And we have the Beatles for sale. Japanese pressing, UK flag series number four. As you would expect from Japan, the vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. And that just got a new bid for $66. It also is a gatefold jacket. It includes the original winter sleeve and it includes the Japanese insert. That's why we're on, uh, that's where we're at on that. Okay, so we have... Um, um, let's see what I've, so, uh, Moyer Eric on the Pantera Far Beyond Driven waiting list, Johnny Hoskins on the Judas Priest British Steel waiting list, Johnny Hoskins on that waiting list, the Beatles 60, 61, I hadn't got to the bottom yet, Tony Murphy wants the Beatles, that's so to Tony Murphy, and then, uh, DK Evans bid 65 on Beatles for sale, Jason Boxel bid 66, DK Evans bid 70, Jason is 71, we have Neil Young and Crazy Horse, Russ Never Sleeps. I think I've had this before, but this is a new sealed copy of Neil Young. Rust Never Sleeps, $33.99 on Neil Young. And Dr. Dre the Chronic, $46.99 on Dr. Dre the Chronic, $46.99. Two LP for Dre. And we have Daft Punk, Random Access Memories. The poster was so popular. You know that foil hologram poster we had? I said, well, let's order the album, Random Access Memories. But this is a 10th anniversary expanded edition. Nine outtakes. It also includes a poster. $46.99 on that. $46.99. $46.99. It is three LPs, though. $46.99. Charles Verano on Dr. Dre. That's sold to Charles Verano. If we sell out of anything, then let me know. I can put you on a waiting list. And we have one copy of Saxon Forever Free. Saxon is 1,000 individually numbered copies on blue vinyl. Saxon is $38.99. Let's go ahead and sell Billy Joel to Scott Ham for $75 which was the sealed MoFi copy. And uh, Scott, that's exactly what it brought the last time we sold it. So Scott, we're going to sell it again. Thank you, Paul. That's, that's sold for $75. Paul just dropped off the records he priced right there, right? Yep. Those are priced. And uh, we got all of a sudden, we went from four crates to six crates. <laughs> we got six crates of new vintage stuff to go through. Wow. All right. Uh, Jakey e. Lee. Running with the Devil, Purple Vinyl, $29.99 for Jake E. Lee. Ozzy's Guitars was in Badlands as well. Sadus, this is a new release for today. I'm actually showing some stuff on a Friday, the day it's actually out. This is uh, $38.99 for Sadus, A Vision of Mystery, A Vision of Misery. And we still got the Piano Guys. Looks like we sold a copy. Uh, we might have sold a copy today here in the store. The Piano Guys, limited edition 1000 on blue vinyl, $38.99. The Beatles at $76. Yes, Tony Rice came in on Monday. Tony Rice actually came in on Monday for the Friday release. Those have already been tagged and pulled, and those are done. So Tanner's got me some auctions over here to, that didn't get paid for that we're going to re-auction, including some autographs, including some autographs. So pretty cool-looking stuff here. Let's go ahead and do this. This looks exceptionally nice. And I have what they sold for the last time, and then I usually start them for less than that, uh, like Queen here. We're going to start this at $45. This is A Day at the Races. It is a Japanese pressing of Queen. 
a day at the races, and it's nice. It's going to be a $45 start. There's the Japanese insert. There's the other insert. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine, as you would expect. There is the disc. Nice gatefold cover with Obi. $45 start on Queen. That's now up for bid. $45 start on that. Okay, now back up to the top, we have the Beatles. Jason Boxel was at 76. DK Evans, just let me know if you want back in. Ron Fuller wants a Jake E. Lee. That's so to Ron Fuller. And we have DK's out on that. So that's a final call now on the Beatles for 76. Queen is a $45 start. I still got, this is the new Babes in Toyland for Music on Vinyl that comes out today. $39.99 on that. Casino Royale, music composed by David Arnold, $44.99 on Casino Royale. The New Days of the New, that also came in on Monday. That's the Volume 3, the Red Album, $49.99 on Days of the New. And Soul Asylum, Grave Dancers Union, $38.99. If you haven't already, please hit the like button on Facebook. Please hit the like button on YouTube. Make sure you share if you can do that for us, but especially hit the like button. That does enough for us. And let's go through that bin one more time. We do have a bin of new, new vinyl here. Scott Nicholson, are you a first-time buyer? I don't think I've ever said your name before, nor do I recognize your profile. So I'm going to go ahead and tag you with a Jakey e. Lee. If you're a first-time buyer, I'm going to send you the uh, link to our website, which is shopcollectco.com backslash contact. And I just need you to fill out that form. And uh, welcome if you're a first-time buyer. Seven dollars in limited shipping. Now you've started buying on a Friday, so you've got tonight and tomorrow to uh, get in on that unlimited shipping deal of seven dollars, which will be for tonight and tomorrow. And then that resets on Sunday. Paul is doing a show on Sunday. Paul's psychedelic Sunday will be on Sunday. So he's got some great sock records set aside from the New Orleans collection. He's been filtering some of the great sock stuff and keeping it that he's uh, familiar with, like stuff he knows, and he's been putting that aside for Sunday's auctions. Uh, this is officially sold, though, the Beatles to Jason Boxel for $76, and Queen just got a new bid also to Jason Boxel for $46. All right. Here's what's left. I'm just going to go through the first half because this is technically the new stuff. One copy left of Fleetwood Mac, $33.99. We have one copy of Jeff Buckley Grace left for $33.99. Neil Young at Massey Hall, I personally recommend, $46.99. Limp Biscuit Significant Other, $39.99. Widespread Panic is $36.99. That's a 2LP colored vinyl, Widespread Panic. The Neil Young Doom, which is the Zuma Sessions, really cool release there. It includes a lithograph print. $39.99, Cortez the Killer. Cypress Hill, Black Sunday, $39.99. Live, Throwing Copper is $39.99. The Police Synchronicity is $33.99. Neil Young, Russ Never Sleeps. And Daft Punk, Random Access Memories. And then we still got the Saxon, the Jakey e. Lee, the Sadist, the Piano Guys, Babes in Toyland, Casino Royale, Days of New, and Soul Asylum. But welcome, first time buyer uh, and buyers. Make sure you fill out that form on the website and also make sure. If you're on YouTube or if you're on Facebook, you have sent us a message. All right, let's go straight into new vintage arrivals. So we got six crates of new stuff to go through and then three crates of putback. That's nine crates. That is by far an entire show. That's by far an entire show we have to go through. Let me do a quick flip. Let me find, I usually like to go through our check condition stuff first that John's got ready for us. So let's take a peek at that. I see some great titles in here. Take a quick peek, make sure they're all separated. That way we don't have like three Ohio player albums in a row, which is okay with some people, but it definitely makes the flow of the makes the flow of the auction go a lot better. And he's also set this out for me to auction. And uh, let's go through that one more time. So all right, uh, let's see here. We have uh, now, who was the other bidder on Queen? Jason Conklin. Let me know if you want back in on this. Jason Bokes will bid $46. And uh, let's see here. Kevin Black Fox on uh, Police. And that's out of the new bin. Do you have any Survivor? Most likely. How much was Saxon? Uh, Charlie Saxon was $39.99. Kevin wants Police Synchronicity out of the new bin. Great decision. I figured somebody would buy that. Somebody needs a copy. And Saxon was $39.99. Uh, and let's see here. Jason's out, but there is a new bid for 50. Uh, how did our $1 sale go? 
Excellent. I, we've probably sold already over $2,000 records, and we've probably sold uh, four or $5,000 worth of $5 records. So we, you can imagine what three, two or $3,000 records look like, how much space that freed up for us. And we're about to put out all new stuff. So yes, it's been a great day at Coletco. And now we're about to have a great night. This is like a 24-hour sale marathon we're having here. John handed this to me. He put it in the crate, and he said, this is an original 1983 David Bowie tour book. An original 1983 David Bowie tour book. And this is now going up for bid for a $20 start. It is a David Bowie, Serious Moonlight Tour, 1983, an original David Bowie tour program. Opening bid on that is $20. I'm going to put it right back there. Uh, there'll be all new stuff to dig through. There, we got a whole new $5 section. We got $1 records. Uh, there's, I've, I've filled up all the bins and, and made it where everything is easily accessible and emptied out some crates. Let's go through new check condition stuff. Robin Hitchcock, I. Robin Hitchcock is in VG condition, $26.99. It has some damage on the back. We have some autographs to resale. We have some uh, Japanese stuff to resale. Uh, like I said, most everybody pays for their orders, but where we do so much in volume, 1% of non-payments is quite a bit of records, and so we got three crates of stuff to resell tonight. Hope everybody's ready for that. The Rolling Stones Emotional Rescue VG Condition, $14.99. The Rolling Stones Emotional Rescue VG Condition, $14.99. And the tea set My Bella Me, that's in VG Plus Condition, $9.99. That's an original Unipack sleeve, VG Plus, $9.99. And Foreigner, Agent Provocature. New stuff in the check condition bin. VG condition, $9.99. I want to know what love is. That's VG condition, $9.99. Let's go back to the top. So Queen got new bids. We got a bid for $55, $56. The Bowie, tour, the, the Bowie tour book got a bid for $20, then $23. Queen got a new bid for $60. Uh, Paul Ogley was first on uh, Robin Hitchcock. That's so to Paul Ogley. WV Mounties was second. Queen got a bid for 61, David Bowie 24, Jason Franz first on the Rolling Stones, Matthew Copas, Sean Reed was second, David Bowie 25, Queen 62, Queen 65. We still got the T set and we still got Foreigner. John Coltrane, John Coltrane Quartet, Ballads, that's a 1976 green label, VG condition, $24.99. VG condition $24.99. Johannes and Cruz wants Foreigner. Foreigner is sold. And we have UFO Forset. VG condition $12.99. UFO Forset. VG condition $12.99 for UFO. And Black Oak, Arkansas. Ranch and Roll Live. VG $9.99. What is tonight's theme? Tonight's theme is Anything Goes. Anything Goes. My favorite kind of show. Matthew Copas has Queen for $70. David Bowie is at 25 with Cynthia Herdron. If anybody else is bidding, let me know. Tony Lewis, let me know if you want back in. Uh, Michael McDowell got the John Coltrane. Freddie Villarreal, you were second on Foreigner. Christopher Brusha uh, is on, uh, gets UFO. I asked for Foreigner first. Uh, oh, you did. You put... I see that now. Ford. You know what? I looked at your comment, and I thought, I, I thought it said Frozen meaning like your feet had frozen. Rodney Brown was, you actually were first on Foreigner. I overlooked your comment. I, my mind, my dyslexia said frozen when I read that. Rodney Brown gets Foreigner. Rodney Brown gets Foreigner. And I know Rodney has purchased from us before. But if there is anybody watching for the first time, if anybody is watching for the first time, let me know. Did I already make another mistake? WV Mountain says, show me first on RH. Did I mess up again? I did. WV Mounties put RH, and then Paul Ogley put RH. Boy, I hardly ever miss a claim. We're 44 minutes in. I've made two. I'm very embarrassed right now. I have missed up again. Robin Hitchcock, WV Mounties was first. WV Mounties was first on that. Then Paul Ogley, RH, and then RH. He's absolutely right. RH, and then RH. There's a screenshot to prove it. All right, so let's make sure that goes to WV Mounties, then Paul Ogley. Okay. Uh, and then we have uh, Ben Hootzel said Tom Petty. I don't think there's a Tom Petty in here. And we have Queen is at 72. And then David Bowie is a final call now. 
David Bowie for 25 with Cynthia Herdron. And let me make sure uh, after all that, I didn't miss anything else. And 25 on that. Okay, we have Ohio Players Fire. Ohio Players is in VG condition, $9.99. New vintage arrivals. Also, the best of Johnny Taylor. The best of Johnny Taylor. VG Plus condition, $14.99. Johnny Taylor, the best of Johnny Taylor. VG Plus condition, $14.99. And Frank Zappa, Waka Jawaka. Frank Zappa is in VG condition, $14.99. VG condition, $14.99. That has some seam splitting on it. Does have some seam splitting. And Hank Williams Jr., I've got a right to cry. They all used to belong to me. VG Plus condition, earlier Hank Williams Jr. there, $17.99. $17.99 on that. All right, Tony Lewis did say out on David Bowie. Let's go ahead and sell this David Bowie tour program to Cynthia Herdron for $25. Cynthia, that is so to you. Cynthia gets the David Bowie tour program for $25. let us go back up to the top and let's do, I see an out on Queen with Brian Frenfrock. Matthew Copas was at 75. Matthew Copas at 75. Jason Boxel's out. Queen is a final call for $75. I missed the bid on David Bowie. Jamie Wills Erickson bid 26 on the David Bowie tour program. My bad. 26. Jamie Wills Erickson was in on David Bowie for 26. All right. It's time for me to go get a Monster Energy drink. Oh, boy. That's three. I'm out, folks. Good night. Jamie Wills Erickson had already bid 26 on David Bowie. I actually had a monster over here I hadn't finished. Oh, boy. That's not good. All right, so that is in at $26. Cynthia Herdron, he had bid $26 on that. All right, now let's go back to where I left off. We have Jason Boxel on JT. JT was for Johnny Taylor. Josh Tanner on Hank Williams Jr. That sold to Josh Tanner. We have Charles Verano on Zappa. That sold. Robert Sullivan gets the Ohio Players. That sold. New bid on David Bowie for $28. Also, we have Madman Across the Water, VG Condition, $14.99. VG Condition, MCA Pressing, Madman Across the Water. You had a claim for Tom Petty. Uh, somebody did comment Tom Petty, but there is no Tom Petty. There's a Tom Petty back here. Ben Hutzel commented Tom Petty. It was back here. And this is a new and sealed copy, Ben Hutzel, if you want this for $36.99. Ben Hutzel. He said Tom Petty, but that was back here in this back crate. So, Tony Freeman gets Elton John. And let's show one more record. Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday rides again. EX condition, $17.99 on Doc Holliday. Ben Hutzel says he does want Tom Petty. That's so to Ben Hutzel. Also, Charles Verano wants a widespread panic from the first Ben. Let's give that to Charles Verano. If anybody else wants one, I've got one left. Widespread panic, so to Charles Verano. Let's go ahead and end the Queen auction. Queen is officially sold to Matthew Copas for $75. Now, Jamie Wills Erickson says he's out on David Bowie. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that now to Cynthia again, and this time for $28. This time to Cynthia for $28. And now we're ready to go. There's Doc Holliday. We also have Arlo Guthrie, Alice's Restaurant, VG Plus Condition, $14.99, and George McRae, Diamond Touch. George McRae is in VG Plus Condition, $9.99 for George McRae. Also, Elton John here and there. Elton John is in VG condition, $9.99. Motorhead is Monsters of Rock Festival, $19.86, $29.99. New and sealed. Let me bring this crate of auction stuff a little bit closer to me. So I don't got to take 10 steps every time I go over here to grab something. That would be great, right? So uh, I got more Japanese stuff to auction here. Let's see what else is in here. Tanner said, there was some pretty good stuff in here that didn't get paid for, so let's go ahead and pull out our next two. I have Big Audio Dynamite. Big Audio Dynamite going up for auction. This is number 10, Upping Street. It looks like it's a very nice copy. In shrink wrap with hop sticker, original on the sleeve, and beautiful vinyl. Big Audio Dynamite, $20 start. This is in shrink wrap of hop sticker. Extremely nice copy. Looks like it was just opened. $20 start on that. And then we have a Japanese pressing of Ario Speedwagon. High Infidelity. This is a $35 start. High Infidelity. Ario Speedwagon. It has the Japanese insert. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine, as expected from Japan. There's the cover and Obi. $35 start on Ario Speedwagon. High Infidelity. So there's our next two auctions. Those are now up for bid. Let's go back to the top here, and we have, 
Slicker Van Slyke wants the Arlo Guthrie. That's so to Slicker Van Slyke. Lazarus, if you don't want the Motorhead, I'm going to sell it to David Howard. I'll make sure Lazarus doesn't want it. Big Audio Dynamite got bids for 20, 25, 27, 20, 25, and 30, and 35. Lots of bids on that. We have Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Peter Frampton, the BGs, and others. Errol Smith, Alice Cooper, Earth, Wind, and Fire, VG Condition, $9.99. And just FYI, this is only our first crate, new vintage stuff. We've got nine crates to go through tonight, so I hope everybody's ready for that, including putbacks, new Paul stuff, new John stuff. Frostic, or Frost Music by The Frost, that's in VG Plus condition, $16.99. Lazarus says, let David Howard has it. David Howard, you get it. That's Motorhead, so did David Howard. The Widespread Panic was $36.99, $36.99. Josie Sinkbell wants Sergeant Peppers, that's so did Josie Sinkbell. Ario Speedwagons at $38 with Tony Freeman. Paul Ogley's at 35 at Big Audio Dynamite. Matthew Copas gets the frost. So to Matthew Copas. John Lennon, Imagine, VG Condition, $14.99. There is some writing on the label. Imagine how many people want that record. $14.99. Booker T and the MGs, The Hip Hugger, Shrink Wrap and Hop Sticker. Got a hop sticker on this one. This album contains Slim Jenkins Place and Groovin'. VG Condition on the vinyl, $19.99. VG Condition, $19.99. We have Rodney Brown on BRB. BRB was either Be Right Back or He's Making a Claim. I'll find out in just a second. Jamie Wills Erickson wants John Lennon. That is so to Jamie Wills Erickson. Jason Boxel on Booker T. Christopher Brusha was second. And was there a Doc Holliday? There was. Doc Holliday rides again. EX Condition, $17.99. There's some riding on the cover. It is a Ghost Stamp promo, $17.99. Final call on these auctions. Big Audio Dynamite. Paul Ogley, $35.00. Ario Speedwagon, 38 with Tony Freeman. Flashdance soundtrack, I was just talking about that. VG Condition, $9.99. Shrink Wrap and Hop Sticker, Flashdance is VG, $9.99. And we have Bad Company, Desolation Angels. There is some damage on the back cover. Rock and Roll Fantasy, VG Condition, $9.99 on Bad Company. And Yes, Tormato. Yes is also $9.99. Original on her sleeve, VG Condition. Flashdance, Jamie Wills Erickson, Tony Wade, and Javi Soto. When I started the show, I was talking about how we never can get enough Dirty Dancing, Flashdance, Grease, Saturday Night Fever. The demand is still incredibly high for those original 70s, 80s movie soundtracks. Absolutely incredible. How many people ask us for us, message the page, comment on posts, and claim them here on the sale. Can't get enough of them. Catherine Lutz on Bad Company. Ricky Mapleton, you were second on Bad Company. Jared McLaughlin wants the Doc Holiday. Let me make sure Mike McGinnis doesn't want it. If Mike doesn't want it, then Jared, I'll sell it to you. April Wine, The Nature of the Beast. April Wine is in VG condition, $9.99. And Jimi Hendrix, Electric Ladyland, VG condition, $19.99. Jimi Hendrix, Electric Ladyland, VG condition, $19.99. That's a 2LP. About a VG cover as well. Yep, Footloose. I could name soundtracks all day long there is so many of them ario has a new bid for 39 so tony freeman you just got outbid on that charles verano wants the jimmy that's so to charles verano we have professor Longhair, the london concert vg plus condition 14.99 sean you were second on jimmy but tony samuelson first to april wine that's gone instrumental masters instrumental masters a 1984 holland press EX Condition 999, it's a compilation. The Blue Stars, the Thunderbirds, Tasty, the Fellows, the Explosion Rockets, the Arrows, the Thunderbirds. That's EX Condition 999. And we have James Brown Sings Raw Soul, all new great songs, VG Condition 2499. James Brown Sings Raw Soul, VG Condition 2499. James Brown, VG Condition. Christopher Brush on PLH. That's Professor Longhair. We have an Alden Ario Speedwagon. Paul Ogley, you get the Big Audio Dynamite for 35. Top copy there, shrink wrap, inner sleeve, hop sticker. That's so to Paul Ogley for $35. And now that Tony's out on REO, Catherine, you have it for $39, and that's a final call to him. I didn't hear back from Mike McGinnis, so let me go ahead and sell. Uh, actually, he just commented, let Jared have it. All right, thank you for letting me know. That's so to Jared McLaughlin, the Doc Holiday. Jared, you get Doc Holiday. And Hank Williams Jr., Living Proof, that's EX Edition. $27.99. Oreo Speedwagons at $39 with Catherine Lutz. Here's the agenda for auctions. I got auctions that didn't get paid for that we are re-auctioning. And then I'll have to go to the back and drag it up here. But I do have an entire tub of Dale's Pittsburgh autographs that have never really been gone through. So 
I'm going to head to the back at some point when I run out of this stuff and drag that up here, which will take me like 60 seconds and I'll be completely out of breath because it's like a 150 pound tub of autographs I'll have to get up here. But speaking of Dale's Pittsburgh collection, here's a Jimi Hendrix bootleg or some kind of Jimi Hendrix record that didn't get paid for. Let's put it up for a $35 start. It looks like an unofficial, but I don't really know. I can't remember the details. No telling how long ago I sold this. It's called Jimi Hendrix Welcome Home. It's on Time Wind. Uh, nothing wrong with the vinyl. We'll call it EX Plus. And it's got a really cool cover there of Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix Welcome Home. It says printed in Germany. Producer Ed Chaplin or Ed Chopin. That's a $35 start on that. Bad company sold. Ricky, I saw your claim, but Catherine Lutz was first. And then you were second. So that was a first come, first serve, and you fell second. Josh Tanner is first on the Hank Williams Jr. How much is James Brown in condition? It is $24.99, VG vinyl and VG cover. Not a bad VG, though, for a James Brown, if you know what I mean. Some of those are absolutely destroyed. And then we have uh, Jimi Hendrix has a bid for $35, and this is sold to Catherine Lutz for $39. Chad hit a groove at a pretty crazy pace. It's wondrous. I know. When I get into the groove, I don't make mistakes. It took me, I, I made, I, I had a glitch there, but I'm rolling now. There's no stopping me. There's nothing could happen. There could be literally a car plow through the front of the store. I'm going to keep selling records. Ario Speedwagon is sold for $39. Jason Boxel wants James Brown. Charles Verano's in on Jimi Hendrix for $40. I know it looks like a Sun record, but it's not. It says Instrumental Masters. It looks like a Sun label, but it's some kind of instrumental, like it looks like rockabilly garage artist or something, some kind of compilation, $9.99. Here's all that's left in the first crate. We have T-Set, My Bell of Me. I love that song. VG Plus Condition, $9.99. We have Black Oak, Arkansas, Ronch and Roll Live, VG Condition, $9.99. George McRae, Diamond Touch, George McRae, VG Plus, $9.99. Elton John, here and there, great live concert, VG, $9.99. Funeral for a Friend, Loves Live Bleeding, Rocket Man, Benny and the Jets. It's not in the best of condition, VG, VG Vinyl, $9.99. Yes, Tormatos, VG, also $9.99. And then there's that instrumental compilation again, EX Condition, $9.99. I really don't know a lot about Jimi Hendrix. It's called Welcome Home. It's on Time Win label, EX Plus Vinyl. I think it's from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. It possibly could be an unofficial. I really don't know, but I know it's from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. I kind of remember it, but I don't remember the details. Charles Verano has that at $40. Speaking of parking lot, the police has somebody pulled out, pulled over. Over. I turned around, there's blue, right, blue lights. Somebody last night. Our parking lot is a very popular place to pull people over because it's right at a red light, and then people make a right turn in here whenever they're getting pulled over, and they use our parking lot to bust people. Next auction. I'm looking through our autographs. All right. So let's put this thing up for autograph. This is kind of a bigger one. It is JSA authenticated. It didn't get paid for, though. It is signed by the one and only George Carlin. George Carlin. Yes, the comedian. It is autographed, and we're going to put this up. I have what it sold for at auction. I'm going to reduce the price a little and put it back up to auction. This is Indecent Exposure, some of the best of George Carlin, signed by George Carlin. It is JSA authenticated. Let's see if the card is in the jacket. There's the JSA card. There's the JSA card. So it's been, we've uh, paid to have a JSA authenticated. It says F U C K, F U C K, F word, U, David. And then there's where George Carlin signed it. So it is signed by George Carlin, F U David, George Carlin, $155 start. $155 start. It is JSL authenticated. It also includes the original on the sleeve. The vinyl's nice. That is a $155 start. $155 start on that. Now back up to the top. There's Jimi Hendrix. We have T-Set for Jackie Reynolds. T-Set is sold to Jackie Reynolds. Let's go ahead and pull that right now. T-Set, my bell of me. Dollar, well, I'm going to step over here and grab the uh, next crate. We're going to go through a Paul crate. So there's writing on the cover. Yeah. George Carlin wrote on the cover. He wrote his name. We have a new crate of New Orleans stuff, and the dollar sale went fantastic. I think we're approaching over $2,000 records sold for the first day, and we'll probably hopefully do that again tomorrow. That includes a 
incredible. That's an incredible amount uh, of space it frees up. Final call on Jimi Hendrix, $41. Charles Verano, you got outbid. Jimmy was at 40. And then Jason Conklin bid 41. We pulled T set. George Carlin is a $155 start. $155 start. Yeah, we usually, if we have the right amount of people here, we usually can move between five and six thousand one dollar records over the course of the weekend. It's honestly some people literally leave with like tubs full. It's pretty incredible. And that does include the five dollar stuff and plus the other stuff we sell here in the store. So Extremely busy day. Shout out for John and Ed and everybody that helped prepare that and manage with the chaos. I was here at 10 o'clock. Well, I was here at a quarter till 10. There was about nine people waiting in line to get inside the store. And I think by that next 15 minutes, it got up to about 20 people that was in line when the doors opened. So uh, all new stuff going out tomorrow. So over here, there is, uh, I'm in the back. We've got about 40 crates in the back we're bringing out tomorrow. So it'll essentially be a whole new dollar sale tomorrow. So all the good stuff is gone. If you believe that and you don't come tomorrow, you're going to miss out on a lot of great stuff. Lander Ballard, late night flight. That is sealed. $24.99. A 1987 U.S. folk rock prog album. That is sealed. $24.99. Lander Ballard, late night flight. We also have Uncle John and White, White Lock. It's a 2005 UK blues rock garage rockabilly album, $59.99. This, this is nothing else. And that's called Uncle John and White Flock or White Lock, something like that, $59.99. Let's go ahead and sell the Jimi Hendrix for $41 to Jason Conklin. If anybody wants George Carlin, it's $155. It was a no bid, and that's less than what it sold for the last time. If anybody wants it right now, it's a $155 buy it now. So we basically put out a whole batch of new stuff on Saturday. So if he wasn't here Friday, some of the leftovers from Friday are still over here. And trust me, there is so much that, I mean, y'all know how it is flipping through records. Probably people overlooked. There's tubs underneath tables that people didn't go through. And we also have, like I said, a whole new batch of stuff coming out. So if you didn't make it out today and you're coming tomorrow, there's going to be all kinds of new stuff to dig through. We have the name. What's in a name? The name is a 2002 UK Power Pop Mod record, sealed 1999 for the name. Don't shoot me someday. The Brogues. I ain't no miracle worker, but now I find. That's a 1981 German import garage, $34.99. The Brogues. And Guitar Wolf Lover Rock. That is $22.99. $22.99. And Holland Grass, the traditional grass, a 1978 U.S. bluegrass album. I like that album. I like the name of that album. Holland Grass, $14.99. $14.99. That's pretty cool. Let me grab our next two auctions over here. I'm trying to figure out what's up with the ZZ Top. Ah, ah here's what it is. But somebody didn't pay for this. Boy, that's not good. This is. I remember auctioning this that night. This is a ZZ Top. This is, uh, here's the original notes that Paul left on it. It's a 1979 in-store promo jacket. In-store promo jacket. Also has regular stock jacket inside. Very clean vinyl with press photo. ZZ Top is a $45 start. This is the Guelo. The vinyl is near mint minus. It is extremely nice copy. This is from Dale's Pittsburgh collection. So it includes an in-store promo jacket, which you don't see too often, this kind of outer slip. That's the cover you're used to seeing, and there is a press photo in here of ZZ Top as well. Some of y'all may have bid on this the last time and got outbid. Well, guess what? That person didn't pay for it. They're now blocked, and this is back up for auction. Very, very nice copy. Has that press photo, the original jacket, the vinyl's beautiful. That's from Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. Now up for bid. There's the information. Our next auction is Billy Squire, Emotions in Motion, another Japanese pressing, near mint minus and pristine, $35 start for Billy Squire. Super nice vinyl. There's the LP. There's the cover of Obi. There's the insert. $35 start on Billy Squire. $35 start on Billy Squire. Holland Grass is sold to Michael McDowell. Holland Grass is sold to Michael McDowell. Christopher Brush, you were second. Lots of bids on ZZ Top. And we just got a bid on Billy Squire. We have the Dream, the Dream Maker. That's a 1971 U.S. pressing with poster. The Dream Maker, some very interesting and unusual stuff here from that uh, New Orleans collection. The Dream Maker is 1999. We have the Penetrators, 
Bad Woman, a sealed copy, a 2008 U.S. Garage Punk record, sealed 1999. Michael McDowell is going to pass the uh, Holland Grass over to uh, the backup bidder on that was Christopher Brusha, or the backup claimer. So, Christopher, you get the Holland Grass. That goes to you. And let me just go down to the bottom. Slicker was third, by the way, if something happens there. We have Possessed by Paul James, Cold and Blind, a 2007 Swamp, excuse me, a 2007 Swiss Import Garage Blues album. That is sealed $29.99. Fred Carnell gets the Penetrators. That's so to Fred Carnell. And the Person, the Person, the Personras, the, no, the Result, I can't read that. Let me look at the spine. I can't read it there either. Is that an R? That's an R. The Resonor, the Reson, the Resonars, the Resonars, I believe. The Nunthless Blue. That was tough to read. Sealed, $22.99, a 2000 U.S. Power Pop site garage album. That is sealed, $22.99. And Katmandu, Katmandu is sealed. It's a sealed copy, $21.99. 180 gram reissue, jazz, rock, and funk. Sealed for $21.99, Katmandu. And the Okamanicus, the Okamanix Party Fever, that is also sealed, $24.99, a 2000 U.S. Garage Punk, maybe on colored vinyl. Don't know until you open it. So update on ZZ Top, it got to 100 very quickly with Shane Devers. Forrest Appleton bid 101. Edwin said, how much was Dream Maker? Dream Maker was 1999, 1971 U.S. Pressing with Poster. ZZ Top, 105. ZZ Top, 110. ZZ Top, 113. Billy Squire has one bid with Tony Freeman for $35. Final call, going twice, going three times. Next is We, Smugglers. We is sealed, $49.99. A 2006 German import Stoner Rock album. That's Stoner Rock, We, $49.99. Also, Surfing Germany. Surfing Germany is a 1984 Bear Family Surf Comp. There is some moisture damage to the top of the cover. $39.99 on that. New bid on Billy Squire for $36. New bid on ZZ Top for $133. The mod sound of the RK4 from Erie, Pennsylvania, 1964 to 1968. A 1988 U.S. pressing of a 60s garage group. That is sealed, unopened for $39.99. And we have the Dream Syndicate Medicine Show. The Dream Syndicate is $24.99 with hop sticker, and that is called a 1984 U.S. pressing, $24.99. Shane Deaver is at $150 on ZZ Top. Nick Bargeron wants the surf compilation. Joshua says, was that weed? It says W.E. Smugglers. If it's called weed, I don't see it. It's W.E. Smugglers, unless, that's, unless they didn't put the full E.E.D. on there. That is still available. That was the Stoner Rock album. 2006 German Pressing, Stoner Rock, sealed, $49.99. Fred Carnell gets the Dream, Dream Syndicate. Uh, ZZ Top's at $153, and Nathan Myers is in on the Billy Squire for $38. Mick Wheels, Fern Hill. Mick Wheels is a 1988 UK import, Sock Folk album, $24.99. The Hangman, Gut Bucket Rock and Roll. The Hangman is a 1991 Psycho Billy, $29.99. And Blues Italicos, that's Agua Mineral, something like that. That's a Brazilian press, Brazilian Blues, 1999, 1999. I'm going to mute my mic for one second so I can finish this can of Monster. I'm definitely going to need another one. All right. So ZZ Top got to 160. Billy Squires at 38 with Nathan Myers. Uh, the band name is Smugglers. Okay, so that is the Smugglers We. That's the Stoner Rock. Thank you. I was unfamiliar. George Sherr wants this blues right here. That's so to George Sherr. ZZ Tops at 175. And Shaky Vic Blues Band on the ball. A 1982 Italian import. That's a blues album. $17.99. Also Stewed, Ahead of Confusion. Stewed is $14.99, a 1996 UK import garage album, $14.99. Also, Interplanted, Interplanetary Melodies, Sun Ra, sealed, $36.99, a very early Sun Ra compilation from 2009, unopened, $36.99, $36.99. Tonio, or excuse me, Tony OK, Golden Guitar Mood, that is sealed, a 1998 US surf album, sealed, $14.99. 
No one else has been on uh, Billy Squire. I'm about to sell it to Nathan Myers for 38. We have an out on ZZ Top. I'm about to sell it to Shane Devers for 175. Travis Wade gets the Sun Ra. That's so to Travis Wade. Fred Cardinal, you were second. Next is the Nice Boys. The Nice Boys. The Nice Boys. A 2006 U.S. Garage Power Pop Punk album sealed. 36.99 for the Nice Boys. The uh, ma, the mo, the who, the motivators, the motivators, motivators. Yeah, the motivators. Uh, 1986 U.S. Private Press Rock Southern Rock album, Rock Southern Rock album, 24.99. Fred Carnell wants the Nice Boys, and we have Alice in Chains, Jar of Flies. Where did this come from? That's the new remaster. Oh, I know what this is. 22, uh, 22.99. Uh, this is we got two in here. These have been, um, these were warped, and we fixed them. We flattened them. They were, they were re warped returns, and we flattened them. And we flattened them. They're good to go. They're, they're, they're flat as a pancake, as Head East would say. They're $22.99. They're near mint. They were warped. They were returned, and we flattened them. They're, they're good to go. We have that Japanese uh, imported flattening machine, and they're, they're A-OK -okay now. $22.99, so nice, clean, near mint minus used copies. Paul Ogley gets one, and Jason Conklin gets one. That scared me to death. I thought there was an OG in this bin. I was like, what in the world? And then I realized what it was. <laughs> That's so to Paul Ogley and Jason Conklin. ZZ Top is so to Shane Devers for $175. Shane, I'm going to leave those notes in there of what that is for you. That's so to Shane Devers for $175. And let's also go ahead and sell Billy Squire. Billy Squire is sold to Nathan Myers for $38. That's sold to Nathan Myers for $38. So I don't think there's another one in here, no, but uh, we did have a few returns on AIC because they were warped, which as many as we sold, that's expected. More than, uh, more, than, un, uh, more than usual, though, I think we've had three returns on warped. So I, there's, we got two packages in today. That might be one other one of them. So if we can f flatten them, we're going to fix. So Chris Frazier, you're next, but I don't think we have another one. And then price on Hangman. Hangman is still available. The Hangman is $29.99. But we're about to order. Paul said we need to order another one. I think I'm about to go order two more flattening machines. They're not cheap. They're about $1,200. But uh, we can keep three going because we have about nine crates of warped records. Uh, we get so many collections. Records are warped. And we can fix them. And then there's, they're, they're A-OK. -okay. So it's definitely worth not only our time but the money to buy those machines and keep two or three going at the same time. Because uh, it, it's a long process. It, they're, they're in there for like eight hours. They're in there for like eight hours. For the players of Knight's Game, Clifford Fry, that's a 1978 U.S. Private Press Rock, $29.99. For the players of Knight Games, Knight Game, Clifford Fry, and the Chrome Cranks, Live in Exile, sealed, $44.99. A 1997 Australian Import Blues Rock Garage album, $44.99. So obviously we're going through some very new and unique and unusual stuff here from the New Orleans collection. This is some stuff that Paul Mark Forrest. Let me step over here and get some new auctions pulled. And let me go ahead and do another autograph. Who signed this one? Is this Ra Cooter? Somebody signed this one. I think it's a JSA autograph too. Uh, no one bought George Carlin. If you missed it earlier, this is a non-payment. This is a hundred. We sold it last time for a hundred and eighty-five. And then I started it for 155. No one bid. Signed by George Carlin. It says F U David. George Carlin. It's JSA authenticated. And this is a $155 buy now if anybody wants it. Just FYI. I figured there were some Carlin fans watching tonight. This is another auction that didn't get paid for. A Bluers to Cold album we don't get too often. The Revolution by Night. The covers in shrink wrap. I think this is one of those records from that Wisconsin batch that were so beautiful. Shrink wrapped, original inner sleeve. I think it's just been in the back for a long time in somebody's order. $15 start. Blue Oyster Cool, Revolution by Night, USOG. And this is signed by somebody. Let me see if I can identify this. I think it's signed by Ra Cooter. It is. This is, we had a lot of Ra Cooter autographs. Ra Cooter, Showtime. Vinyl is beautiful, original inner sleeve, and it's autographed by Ra Cooter right up here. It's autographed by Ra Cooter. $15 start on that. Just a $15 start on that. That's going back up for auction. Uh, George Carlin autograph is $155. It's $155. Okay. Now let's go back up to the top. And 
Folk Blues Festival, American Folk Blues Festival, 1964. A 1982 German import, $24.99. By the way, on the new vintage stuff, if I don't say anything about condition, then it's EX plus near at minus. If you haven't already, make sure you've liked the Facebook post. Make sure you've liked the YouTube video. I think I'm going to go through a bin of putbacks next, so there should be... We went through putbacks last night, and they got wiped out. There was, like, pretty much nothing left. From Lake Mary, Scott Dunbar... That's sealed, $34.99, 1970 Country Blues album, sealed, $34.99. And Tiger Army 2, Power of Moonlight. Tiger Army is a 2001 U.S. Psychobilly punk album that is sealed and unopened, $34.99, $34.99. Uh, back up to the top, we introduced BOC. That got bids for $15 and then $21, then $25, then $30. And then Ry Cooter has one bid for 15. George Scherer wants German, which was the German was was for German German. German was for what? The German import here, George Scherer, the American Folk Blues Festival. Is that what you wanted? Let me know. Blues is at 64. Michael Swanger. Uh, I think that's what George Scherer is trying to claim, perhaps. And then Josh Tanner wants Tiger Army. Henry also claimed it, commented, he said yes. Okay, so this is what he wanted here. That was when his, I guess because it's, I said German import. Okay, BOC has a bid for 33. Ry Cooter has a new bid for 16. 5,500 feet of pop? 500 feet of pop. Uh, $79.99, a 2001 Italian import. It's Stoner Rock. Stoner Rock! 500 feet of pop, $79.99. Tom Lucas, Life Boats, a 1983 U.S. sock record, $19.99. Tom Lucas, Life Boats. Kevin Lentz on RC, and that was for something. Uh, Mountain Flower, Live Feel, and Gay Johnson. This is $9.99. A 1987 U.S. Private Press Country album, Top Seam is Split, $9.99. Screaming Jay Hawkins, the singles, 1954 to 1957. This is sealed, $24.99 for Screaming Jay Hawkins. And The Chic Sad Shake, Hip Bone Slim, and The Knee Tremblers. A 2008 Swiss Import Rockabilly Garage album, $24.99. Update on these auctions. Shane Devers is the high bidder on BOC. We're talking near mint minus, shrink wrap, inner sleeve, OG. Shane has that for 40. The high bid on the autograph Ry Cooter. He signed it right here. 16 bucks with Scott Snee. Final call. Travis Wade on SJH. That's Screaming Jay Hawkins. George Scherer second. Michael Nath third. Cynthia Herdrin on hip. That is sold to Cynthia Herdrin. Fred Carnell fourth. And we have a new bid on BLC for 41. Neil B bid on BLC for 42, 45. And Kevin Lentz, I think, is trying to bid on Rye Cooter. He put RC, Rye Cooter, and then Rye 16. But the bid was already at 16. And Josh Tanner just bid 18. So now we're at 18. And BLC is now at 45. Hollywood hits an all time low. Hollywood hits. That's a 2007 U.S. Noise Garage Punk album. It kind of looks like the Shirelles or something like that, but it's not. It is $14.99. Sealed. Rock Cooters at 18. BOC's at 47. Local Boys with the Lock with the Clockman. Sealed. $14.99. A 2005 German Import Garage. Sealed. $14.99. BOC's at 50 and then 51. The Lucky Punch. Kick up a hullabaloo. The Lucky Punch. Sealed, 1999, a 2004 U.S. Garage Punk album. Sealed, 1999. Also, Fall in Love All Over Again with the Mall Rats. The Mall Rats is a 2002 German import garage mod record. $14.99 on the Mall Rats. And the Real Bad News, black and white and red all over. That is a 2004 German import garage pressing defect on the run in groove. $14.99 on that. With the White Barons, Up All Night with the White Barons, 2007 U.S. Garage Punk on white vinyl, $17.99. And we have Son of Cirrus, 
Trigger Happy, a 2006 a German import garage punk album, sealed $17.99. All right, Ry Cooter has two people bid $20, Scott Snee and Kevin Lentz. Now Scott Snee is in. Kevin Lentz, you're back out. Josh Chandler, you're back out. BOC is at $56 with uh, Shane Devers. And Josh Tanner's at $24 with Ry Cooter. He's back in. I'm going to read or just remind you of some of the titles that's left in here. If you want price one more time, let me know. If not, I'm going to move on to a, uh, onto a putback bin. Lander Ballad, Late Night Flight. This was Uncle John with White Flock. The Name, What's in a Name, The Barogues, Guitar Wolf, Lover Rock, Possessed by James, Possessed by Paul James, Cold and Blind, The Reson, the Reson, the Resonars, The Resonars, I believe, Katmandu, The Oko, The Okamanix, The Drake, The Drake Maker, The Mod Sound of RK4, <laughs> uh, Mick Willis, Fern Hill, Shaky Vic Blues Band. This was Stewed. Tony OK. The Motivators. The Hangmen. For the Players of Night's Game. Clifford Fry. The Chrome Cranks. Live in Exile. From Lake Michigan. Scott Dunpar. 500 Feet of Pop. Tom Lucas. Mountain Flower. And Hollywood Hits. I'll stop right there. BOC got a new bid for 60. And then 61, Ry Cooter got a new bid for 25, then 28. Wolf's Council wants G-Wolf, 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 G-Wolf. I'm going to find that, and I'm going to give it to Wolf's Council. That's Guitar Wolf. Sold to Wolf's Council. Ironic. Ry Cooter, 28. Info on the names. The names is what's in a name. That's a 2002 UK Power Mod Pop Mod record. Sealed, 1999. Ry Cooter has Kevin bid 20. The bid was already at 28. BOC's at 65, now 66. Also have Local Boys with the Clockman. The Lucky Punch, Kick Up a Hullabaloo. Fall in Love All Over Again. The Real Bad News. Also Up All Night with the White Barons. And we have Sons of Cyrus. Cynthia Herdron does, have, does want the names. We'll give that to Cynthia Herdron, the names. That's so to Cynthia. Fred Carnell was next. BOC's at $70. And does it say where the Mountain Flower is from? Mountain Flower. Let me find that. Mountain Flower is, um, it appears to be um, the country uh, private press. Uh, it was recorded in Asheville, North Carolina. It was recorded in Asheville, North Carolina. $9.99 on that. Cynthia, Bar uh, Cynthia Herdron wants the White Barons. That's also so to Cynthia Herdron. And we have a BOC at $70. And Ry Cooter. Ry Cooter is at $28 with Josh Tanner. Josh Tanner has this for $28. Final call. Barry Seagrave has BOC for $70. It's a USOG. Near Mint Minus, Shrink Wrap, Inner Sleeve. Nick Orlando wants AVL. AVL was Jackie Reynolds wants Mountain Flower. And then Nick Orlando on AVL. And AVL was... Um, let's see. You may have to uh, give me one more clue on that one so I can find it a little bit easier. But with that being said... Uh, let's go ahead and do a final call on that. And Nick Orlando says Asheville. Okay, that's already been sold. That's already been sold. Let me set this off to the side. The, we've been through two crates of vintage. I'm about to step over here and look. I've been pulling auctions out of the putback bin. I think Tanner's put most of them in this top bin that I've been doing auctions for tonight. But right now, let me step over here. I think this thing's pretty full. So I might have to pull some stuff out and... Go through the rest of it later. We make sure there was no other auctions in here. Um, and this these kind of bins are going to have vintage stuff. They're going to have new and sealed stuff. I do see some stuff we haven't been able to get in a while. I saw some. I see some stuff we sold out of the other night, and I hadn't been able to get since then. And there's an auction. There's a Billy Joe Japanese 
And of course, it wouldn't be a putback bin without some warrant cherry pies. I have sold more warrant cherry pies than probably any other record ever, but I've also had more people not pay for them. There's a lot of people, new people hop on and they'll buy two at a time. There's no telling how many times I've had a new buyer hop on and buy two copies of cherry pie and they're a first time buyer and then they never pay for them. It happens all the time. They'll be like, I'll take two of those and then they never pay for them. It's the strangest thing ever uh, on those warrant cherry pies. That's why I keep having more and more to sell because more and more people don't pay for them. I still got like 150 of them in stock. And I think there's about five in this putback bin, mostly from people who buy them in pairs and they don't pay for them. I'm like, what's up with that? It's like their first purchase and then we have to block them. And it's very odd. Rye Cooter. I think Kevin Lentz has a really bad connection. I've got to go ahead and sell this to Josh Tanner for $28. Kevin, you've either got a really bad connection or possibly watching without volume. But this is sold to Josh Tanner for $28. And the Blue Oyster Cult is sold for $70 to Barry Seagrave. And that is sold to Barry Seagrave. Any Jew, Judas Priest. Uh, Scott, those won't be in until Monday. So I'll have one Monday. It will be going on a new invoice. But I won't have those until Monday. I had to get them from a different distributor. And their stuff ships two days instead of one day. Let's go ahead and show this next record. New uh, put So this is putbacks, which is new vinyl and pre-owned and vintage stuff. The first is The Kinks, Live from the Road. 1999. This is 1999. The Kinks live from the road. It is in shrink wrap. The Kinks live. 1999. And Lou Reed, new sensations. Lou Reed is 34.99. Original on her sleeve. Lou Reed. That's 34.99. If it's something new and sealed, I'll let you know. Barry Seagrave gets the Kinks, and we have Van Morrison wavelength. VG plus condition. 24.99. Van Morrison wavelength. VG Plus Condition, $24.99, and the Rolling Stones, Emotional Rescue, VG Plus Condition, $34.99. That does have the poster with it. That does have the poster with it. Let's see what else I have over here to auction. I know there's more. There's a Lucinda Williams over here. Let's take a look at Lucinda Williams, and I have a signed Joe Cocker album. Haven't had one of these because in a while because we sold them all, and this is a JSA authenticated autograph. Let's bring this over. We have Joe Cocker. This is signed by Joe Cocker. Very, very nice. Nice cover to be signed. Gold stamp promo on the front as well. Signed by Joe Cocker. Autographed by Joe Cocker. Whichever verb you prefer. The vinyl's nice if that matters to you. It is JSA authenticated. It is JSA authenticated. There's the sticker and the card should be here inside the cover. The card, oh, well, it should be here inside the cover. Let me see where it is. Or did I just accidentally let it fall out? Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Nope. Well, what is that? That is, uh, I'm not sure what that is. But if that was in there, the card's probably, yeah, there it is. Wow, that was like a magic trick. There it is. I didn't even see that in there. Who is this? It's something from Capitol Records. Rock and Roll Magazine 5686. That's been in there the whole time. I've never seen it. Oh, you can leave your hat on with a new single from Joe Cocker. I just don't know who that is. It's an advertisement for a Joe Cocker single. But there that is, $55 start. Much less than what we sold it for the first time. It's autographed by Joe Cocker, JSA authenticated, $55 start. $55 start. Joe Cocker is now up for bid. This is Lucinda Williams, Passionate Kisses. Lucinda Williams, Passionate Kisses. This is an EP. I think it's one of her, yeah. It's a 1989 US EP, $15 start. This was from Dale's collection as well. $15 start on Lucinda Williams. $15 start on Lucinda Williams, Passionate Kisses. Lucinda Williams, Passionate Kisses, 1989 EP, which is uh, six tracks. Six tracks, 1989, Rough, rough Trade Records. That's now a forbid. Okay, we have Barry Seagrave also on Van Morrison. And let's keep rolling with this bin. Joe Cocker has a bid, so does Lucinda Williams. Let's keep rolling. New and sealed, Cindy Lauper. She's so unusual. She's so unusual. Blue vinyl, 40th anniversary edition. Girls just want to have fun. Time after time. Cindy Lauper's new and sealed blue vinyl, $34.99. Guns and Roses, unplugged, 1993. Acoustic broadcast, new and sealed, $39.99. If you haven't already, make sure you've liked the Facebook post. Make sure you've liked the YouTube video. I would greatly appreciate it. Pink Floyd, Momentary Lapse of Reason, 
$39.99. Pink Floyd, Momentary Lapse of Reason, $39.99. $39.99. Actually, we'll do them for $30. I don't know why that one's $33. That must be an import. $33.99. $33.99. And this is $33.33. So, yeah, this must be an import. Let's see here. I don't know why this one was more because I have them still in the bins. I still have them in the bins for $33.99. So, Yes, great. Remaster, uh, I'll do that one for 33 Here's two more. Uh, Learning to Fly is on here. On the Turning Away. New Seal Pink Floyd Gatefold Remaster, $33.99. I'm just going to set those to the side. i got to do a price check on that one. And Bell Bottom Country, Laney Wilson. Bell Bottom Country, Laney Wilson, $39.99. $39.99. So back up to the top, we had Lucinda Williams. Uh, Lucinda Williams was at 15 and then... Um, that's with Craig. And then Fred Carnell bid 55 on Joe Cocker. John Otten got Cindy Lauper. I hadn't pulled that yet. And then Javi Soto. Javi Soto is um, second on uh, John Otten. Or, uh, blah, blah, blah. I've got out of order here. Uh, John Otten got Cindy Lauper. Matt Shepard was second. Lucinda Williams, 16. Barry Seagrave, first on Guns N' Roses. Nathan Myers was second. We have an offer on George Carlin. Give me one second. Fred, I've already sold Guns N' Roses. David Hoy commented Z. I'm not for sure what that was for. And then we have Guns N' Roses next with Jackie Ray. Joe Cocker, 56. Joe Cocker, 60. Continuing, we have Cherry Pie. Here they are. Warrant, Cherry Pie. Numbered, 3,000. Cherry colored vinyl. So it's a limited edition numbered. Cherry colored vinyl. It looks more pink, though, than cherry. $39.99 if you don't have one already. $39.99. Bear C. Graves says he's going to pass on the Guns N' Roses. Give it to Nathan Myers instead. Nathan Myers, now you get Guns N' Roses. That's so to Nathan Myers. That's so to Nathan Myers. Tim Jensen wants a warrant. These aren't marked, but make sure Tim gets one for $39.99. Sean, I will sell you the George Carlin for $135. That's what we sold it for originally. $175. I had it up for a $155 start, but if you want it for $135, I'll sell it to you for $135. That's what we sold it for the first night we put it up. He said sold. Signed George Carlin album is sold to Sean Holford for $135. Now, we have a signed Joe Cocker album, JSA Authenticated. Catherine Lutz has this for $62. Signed by Joe Cocker and authenticated. Lucinda Williams has a high bid of $16 with Javi Soto. $16 with Javi Soto. Passionate Kisses, Lucinda Williams. Back to some vintage stuff. Jackson Brown, Hold Out. That's in shrink wrap. No condition notes. Original under sleeve. Nice. Jackson Brown is $19.99. And The Firm is in shrink wrap. $29.99. Original under sleeve. Jimmy Page, Paul Rogers. That is a top looking copy. $29.99 on The Firm. Also, David Bowie, Station to Station. VG Condition, $14.99 on David Bowie. Station to Station. VG Condition. $14.99, and Boz Skaggs. That's his debut album. Dwayne Alban plays on this album and other characters. VG Plus Condition, $14.99 for Boz Skaggs. And that looks like possibly an OG pressing from all the matrices I'm looking at. VG Plus, $14.99. Lucinda Williams has a new bid for $17. Zachary P., Travis Wade. Travis Wade first on David Bowie. Uh, by the way, Joe Cocker has two new bids for 65 Lucinda, 17 Travis Wade got David Bowie. Zachary was second. Mark Lent wants the details on Lucinda Williams. Joe Cocker, 67 Tony, third on David Bowie. George Scherer on BS. That was for Bob Skaggs. That's so to George Scherer. Uh, Lucinda Williams is now at 20 with Henry Paredes. Christopher Rush is second on Bob Skaggs. Pamela Yeager, third. Lucinda Williams, 19, 21, now 25. UFO, Strangers in the Night. UFO is $34.99. Strangers in the Night. 2LP, UFO is $34.99. No condition notes on that. Stray Cats, built for speed. Stray Cats is $24.99. Very nice, $24.99, $24.99. And Grease, John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John, $19.99. Grease, John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John, $19.99. All right, so somebody wanted to know the details on Lucinda. Lucinda is a 1989, 1989 US EP. It's got six songs on it. Side one just has one track, Passionate Kisses. And then side B has five, four tracks. That's a 1989 Rough Trade. High bid on that is $27 of Henry Paredes. 
Henry Paredes. Then over here, we got an autographed Joe Cocker album. That is signed by Joe Cocker himself. It is a gold stamp promo. The high bid on Joe Cocker is $65 with Paul Ogley. Henry's Choice is at $67. Henry's Choice, not Henry Paredes, Henry's Choice has it for $67. $67 on that. Joe Cocker is autographed. It has been signed by Joe Cocker, $67. Greece, we were just talking about that, $19.99. Steely Dan, Asia. Steely Dan is $34.99 for Asia. Steely Dan, Asia, very clean copy. Gatefold, $34.99 on Steely Dan, Asia. Also, new and sealed, LA Guns, live in concert. Blue vinyl, $29.99. LA Guns, live in concert, $29.99. And then here's the other worn album, which is Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking, Rich, $39.99. This is $39.99, and this is Warrant, Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking, Rich, $39.99, and that's the other one. And this is a limited edition 3,000 on clear vinyl. Limited edition 3,000 on clear vinyl. Cherry Pie was also numbered and colored vinyl. And M&M, the Slim Shady LP. M&M is $39.99, the Slim Shady LP, $39.99. All right, so Joe Cocker, we were at 26 on Lucinda Williams. Joe Cocker got bids for 68 and 70, 70, 72. We have an out on Lucinda Williams. Tony Wade wants L.A. Guns. That's so to Tony Wade. And Matthew Copas wants more. Also, make sure that goes in for $39.99. I've got an entire bin of these if anybody wants one. Matthew said, never mind. That's going back in there. Gene Clark, here tonight, the White Light Demos, Gene Clark, is a record store day sealed limited edition orange vinyl, $29.99. Gene Clark here tonight, the lot, the white light demos, $29.99. Joe Cocker 75, Joe Cocker 75. Kiss Destroyer, VG Plus Condition, $34.99. Kiss Destroyer, VG Plus Condition, $34.99. A 1976 Terra Haute with original inner sleeve, $34.99 on Kiss Destroyer. The Essential, Stevie Ray Vaughan. The Essential, Stevie Ray Vaughan, that's new and sealed, $33.99 on Stevie Ray Vaughan. And Dolly, Rockstar, these are $64.99. That's Dolly Parton, Rockstar. That's the 4LP purple vinyl box set, $64.99, $64.99. What was the firm record? That was the firm, self-titled, debut, shrink wrap, no condition notes, original on her sleeve, $29.99. Chris Frazier wants Kiss. John uh, John Grace, first on Stevie Ray Vaughan. I can get more of these, actually, so if anybody wants on a waiting list, I'll go ahead and add your name. I've only got one in the putback bin, but if anybody wants on the waiting list, we'll add your name. That's George Sher, Nick Bargeron, Brooks Fodder, and those are all available. And we have uh, Lucinda Williams. I think this is done. Let me give one more final call. Henry Paredes at $27. Craig set out, Javi set out. 27, final call, and Joe Cocker is with Kathy Webb at 77. Just waiting for Catherine Lutz and Fred Carnell to let me know where they want to be at. That's signed and autographed, or autographed, signed. It's JSA authenticated, and that's a final call for $77 of Kathy Webb. Larry Smith wants Dolly. That's new and sealed for $64.99. Dolly, $64.99. Jimmy Buffett, equal strain on all parts. Key West Blue Vinyl, $34.99. Key West Blue Vinyl, that's $34.99. Metallica, Ride the Lightning, $33.99. New and Sealed Metallica, Ride the Lightning, $33.99. And Metallica, Master of Puppets, also $33.99. Uh, George Sher wants on the Stevie, Ron, Stevie Ray Vaughan waiting list. Brooks Vodder wants on the Stevie Ray Vaughan waiting list. Tina Turner, Queen of Rock and Roll. This is a limited edition, 1LP, clear vinyl. That's the best of Tina Turner, new and sealed. That's also $33.99. Dio, live in Fresno, 1983. Two LPs on red color vinyl, 40th anniversary, record store day release, $39.99. All right, let's go ahead and sell Lucinda Williams, Passionate Kisses. Lucinda Williams is officially sold then to Henry Paredes, 1989 OG. That is sold to Henry for $27.00. That sold to Henry for $27. And we have Joe Cocker. And Joe Cocker is autographed. The name of the album is Cocker. It's signed by Joe Cocker. JSA authenticated. Fred Carnell had the bid for 80. Then Kathy also bid 80. 
And then Fred Carnell wants Dio. That's so to Fred Carnell. Joe Cocker is at 82. New and sealed. Boston, 1983. This is on clear vinyl. That's an unofficial pressing of a live U2 concert from Boston, 1983. New and sealed. $44.99. $44.99. Here's our next auction. This is Leonard Nimoy presents Mr. Spock's Music from Outer Space. Leonard Nimoy presents Mr. Spock's Music from Outer Space. And there is no condition notes on this. Just a little bit of ring wear on the cover. We auctioned this the last time we had it up. It has the original inner sleeve. Leonard Nimoy presents Mr. Spock's Music from Outer Space. That is a $25 start. That is a $25 start on that. $25 start. Leonard Nimoy presents Mr. Spock's Music from Outer Space. Dio's at 82. Dio's at 85. Or excuse me. Joe Cocker's at 82, 85, 85, 87. Dirty Honey. Can't find the brakes. Dirty Honey is $33.99. Dirty Honey is $33.99. Running, June Millington. Running is in EX condition, $19.99. June Millington, running, EX condition, $19.99. And Temple of the Dog, new and sealed, 2LP, $49.99. Temple of the Dog, new and sealed, $49.99. Johnny Cash, 87. Spock, 25 Excuse me, Joe Cocker, not Johnny Cash. Joe Cocker, 90. Is Steely Dan AA106 or AB106? Back cover bottom. Uh, that is actually, uh, well, that's not, you're probably talking about the uh, Matrix. The Matrix is AB0, AB1006, and then in parentheses, RE-3A. AB1006. AB1006, Pete Maselli. We have another bit on Spock for 25 with Mike McGinnis. Matt Shepard wants DH. DH was Dirty Honey. That's so to Matt Shepard. Autograph Joe Cocker's at 95. UFO is still available. Strangers in the Night. 2LP Gatefold, $34.99. Uh, no condition notes. Very clean. Nice jacket, $34.99. Alex Kane wants Running. June Millington, that's so to Alex Kane. We also have everything in here is sticker price, Larry. These are records that didn't get paid for. Mark Farner Band, No Frills. This is sealed, $19.99. Mark Farner Band, No Frills. Everything in here is sticker price. We also have Michigan Rock. Michigan Rocks, that's a great compilation. That is in VG condition, $14.99. VG condition, $14.99. Everyone needs a Temple of the Dog. This is unbelievable music here. Chris Cornell, Hunger Strike, Say Hello to Heaven. $49.99. 2 LP remaster. The fourth side should has an etching. Should have an etching on that. Is has the original inners. Let's see what's going on right here. What happened to Creed from last night? It has the original company inner sleeve on this one. Has the original company sleeve on this one. And it has the original company sleeve on that one. It has company inner sleeves. Yes, it does. Joe Cocker's at 96. Charles Verano first on Michigan Rocks. Matthew Copas was seven. Joe Cocker's at 97. And how much was Steely Dan Asia? Pete Maselli asked about that one. He said, thanks. It's $34.99. $34.99. Forrest Appleton does get UFO. That is so to Forrest Appleton. Freddie Dixon was second. There's only been three bids on Spock, and that was for 25, 25, and 25. And so that's a three way tie. Nick Bargeron was first at $25. And now the autographed Joe Cocker album is at 100 with Fred Carnell. New and sealed, Jerry Garcia, might as well, a round records retrospective. Jerry Garcia, 2LP, new and sealed, $34.99. Paul McCartney, wings, speed at the speed, excuse me, wings at the speed of sound. This has the original under sleeve with it. It's in shrink wrap. It's very nice, $34.99. Shane Devers wants a Temple of the Dog. If anybody else wants one, I actually just got a restock of these. Make sure that gets marked for $49.99 to Shane Devers. If anybody else wants one, we still got them in stock. Nathan Myers gets to Jerry Garcia. That's so to Nathan Myers. Final call on the autographed Joe Cocker album. Kathy said she's out. Fred Carnell has it for $100. If anybody else wants to bid, now is the time. Now is the time. Joe Cocker is a final call for $100. Nobody else looks like it's going to be bidding on Spock. Much less, much less than what we sold this for the first time. $25 to Nick Bargeron, final call. No Star Trek fans watching? We have new and sealed Perfect Circle, Mer Denoms. Perfect Circle is $46.99. That's new and sealed. The Beatles, Now and Then, that's the 12-inch single, $28.99. The Almond Brothers Band, Brothers and Sisters, VG Condition, $14.99. 
Classic Almond Brothers VG1499 and Anthrax3199. That's on limited edition splatter vinyl. Anthrax is new and sealed. Fistful of metal, 3199. Let me get my knuckles, my spine, back, and neck adjusted. <sighs> Let's go through this crate. Let me sort the vintage pre-owned from the new stuff so it makes it much more easier to know what's going on. Let me sort all the vintage or pre-owned stuff. And then we're going to recap this bin. So I'll put all the, I'll put all the vintage stuff. That's all new and sealed. We have John Miller on a perfect circle. So did John Miller. John Howard on Anthrax, and we have Catherine Lutz on the Almond Brothers. Catherine Lutz on the Almond Brothers. Joe Cocker is sold for a hundred dollars. That's sold to Fred Carnell for one hundred dollars. And I never to hear back from Mike McGinnis and the other bidder. So I guess nobody wanted in for more than twenty-five dollars. So that means Nick Bargeron gets the Spock record. For $25. We sold that for $76 the last time it was up for auction. Now it's sold to Nick Bargeron for $25. This is why we block people whenever they don't pay for their auction items. $25. That's sold to Nick Bargeron. Joshua Day wants a cherry pie. That's sold to Joshua Day. Make sure that goes in for $39.99. Scott Marchheim is on the Beatles. That's sold to Scott Marchheim. And let's go through that bin one more time. All right, so, oh, and also have Pink Floyd, which I will add back in here. Let me grab two new auctions. I pulled something out from over there. Let me do that one more time. And let's see here. I think we had a Billy Joe. Yep, we auctioned this the last time. And there was something else. But let me go ahead and get Billy Joe running. Maybe it was this Rainbow Record. No, possibly. This is Billy Idol, not Billy Joe. Billy Idol, Billy Idol, Rebel Yale. $15 start. Very nice copy. It is an original. Billy Idol Rebel Yale. It also has the original inner sleeve with it, and it's a $15 start. Billy Idol Rebel Yale. Very, very nice vinyl. $15 start on Billy. $15 start on Billy Idol. That's up for bid. And then I got a Billy Joel. Let's do two Billies. We'll have to comment either B.I. or B.J. in the comments. That would help me out a lot. But this is a very nice... Japanese pressing, a very, very popular compilation, which is Billy Joel's Greatest Hits. This is a Japanese version, a Japanese pressing. No, he's not singing in Japanese. He's singing in English, for those that didn't know that. There's the book. It also has a solicitation form, and it has two LPs, and the vinyl is Near Mint Minus and Pristine. Near Mint Minus and Pristine. There's one LP. There's another LP, and then here's the jacket. No Obi, unfortunately, but very nice. No discoloration. Nice. Has all the lyrics. There's the amazing track listing. It has that, that silver kind of foiling to it almost. $35 start. $35 start. Billy Joel's greatest hit. So we got Billy Idol and we got Billy Joel. I'll have to really pay attention in the comments on this one. Here's tonight's challenge. All right. Lots of bids on Billy Idol. And let's go through the vintage stuff. So these are all vintage or pre-owned. I think there's a couple sealed records in here. Lou Reed, New Sensations. $34.99. That's an original. Lou Reed, New Sensations, $34.99. The Rolling Stones, Emotional Rescue, with the poster, VG Plus, $34.99. Jackson Brown, Shrink Wrap, Inner Sleeve, $19.99 on Hold Out. The Firm is also in Shrink Wrap, also has the original sleeve, and no condition notes on that. Very, very nice, $29.99. That's Jimmy Page, Paul Rogers, just to mention a couple. Stray Cats, Built for Speed. Can't believe no one's grabbed that yet. Stray Cats, $24.99. Has Stray Cats strut on it. Rock This Town, Built for Speed, $24.99. Grease is still available. The new sealed copy we had earlier tonight was $46.99. This is the original with the original inner sleeves, gatefold, just $19.99. We have Barry Seagrave, first on The Firm. George Sherrod, first on Stray Cats. Pamela Yeager was second. I got Billy Idol. I got Billy Idol at $32, and I got Billy Joe at $40 right now. Gene Clark, now this is pre-owned, but it is sealed. This is sealed. Gene Clark, here tonight, the White Light Demos, Record Store Day, numbered orange vinyl, Gene Clark, sealed, $29.99. And then Steely Dan Asia, beautiful copy. Black Cow, Asia, Deacon Blues, Peg, Home at Last, Josie, $34.99 on Steely Dan. Mark Farner Band, No Frills. Mark Farner is sealed, unopened, $19.99. And then Wings was also a really nice copy. Shrink Wrap has the original under sleeve, no condition notes, $34.99. So that's all vintage or pre-owned. And then the rest of the band is new and sealed. Laney Wilson, Bell Bottom Country, 
M&M, the Slim Shady LP, $39.99. Warren, Dirty Rotten Filthy Stinking Rich, $39.99. Jimmy Buffett, Equal Strain on All Parts. Blue Vinyl, $34.99, his last release before he passed away. Metallica and Metallica, both $33.99. Ride the Lightning and Master of Puppets. Tina Turner, that was a fairly new release. Her kind of a greatest hits comp. Clear Vinyl, $33.99. U2 is an unofficial, also on Clear Vinyl. 2LP, Boston, 1983, $44.99. And then Pink Floyd is $33.99. I had one in the putback band that was $39.00. But the new price is 33 I got three of those available. Pink Floyd, Momentary Lapse of Reason. Three of those available for $33.99. Romy Lou wants Tina Turner for $33.99. That's sold to Romy Lou. Update on her auctions. Billy Joel has a high bid of $41 with Michael Lynn. Michael Lynn has that for $41. And Billy Idol is at $38 with Brian Frenfrock. And... I left some stuff out of this crate earlier because there wasn't enough room. Let me step over here and get the rest of this stack. I think you're going to like some of this stuff. So let me grab, uh, let me make sure this is all good to go. So yeah, let me add some more stuff to this bin and let's go through the rest of it. Let's go through the rest of it. And then we're about to go through a crate of new stuff that has never been shown before. Just FYI. So, okay, first is Carol Keys wants both Metallicas. Make sure those go in for $33 and $33.99 as well. And here's some new stuff I just added. So this bin was completely full. I'm going to leave these Pink Floyds out so I can change the price on that one. And this is new and sealed Overkill, Years of Decay. Overkill is red marbled vinyl. Someone just asked any metal tonight. I'm holding the definition of metal. Overkill, Years of Decay, $33.99. Also, the definition of metal. Ozzy Osbourne, Montreal, 1981, Red Vinyl. This is a live Ozzy concert from 1981. Randy Rhodes on lead guitar, Red Vinyl, $36.99. Yes, Tormato. Yes is a Friday Music Remaster, $24.99. Yes, Tormato, $24.99. Yes, Tormato, $24.99. And we have King Crimson, 1970 Presswell Press, EX Condition, $44.99. That's a 70 a 1970 Presswell Press, EX Condition, $44.99. King Crimson in the Wake of Poseidon. That's an original Presswell Pressing. King Crimson, nice. Always love their artwork. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, so we need to update on Billy Idol. Uh, this is now a final call to Brian Frenfrock for $38. Billy Joe got new bids for $42 and then $43. Moyer Eric, first on Overkill. Let's sell that to Moyer Eric. Steve Wright got the Aussie. And... We have Genesis, Nursery Crime. Genesis is in VG condition, $9.99 on Genesis, Nursery Crime. Also, Deep Purple, this is their self-titled album, VG condition, $14.99. Deep Purple, VG condition, $14.99. We have Christopher Brusha on Genesis. That's so to Christopher Brusha. New and Sealed, Queens of the Stone Age, Songs for the Deaf. New and Sealed, $46.99 on that. Also, New and Sealed, Tenacious D., $39.99, self-titled, Tenacious D, that's $39.99. And Sound City, 606, Real to Real, $29.99. Sound City, Real to Real, that's a 2LP, $29.99. Scott Marchheim on Deep Purple, that's so to Scott Marchheim. Let's go ahead and sell Billy Idol, nobody else bid. That's so to Brian Frenfrock for $38. Brian Frenfrock gets the Billy Idol for $38. Thank you, Brian. And then we've got Billy Joel's Greatest Hits, just got a new bid for 46 and I've pulled Deep Purple. So that little batch I just added was, somebody asked what was the U2? It's Boston, a live unofficial, $44.99. Still got Yes Tomato, King Crimson, Queens of the Stone Age, Tenacious D, and Sound City, Real to Real. I'm going to put those back there, keep all the pre-owned or, quote, vintage stuff together and that's all new and sealed. Bin number one of three of putbacks is done. Can you believe we got two more crates like that to go through? And we still got four, five crates of new vintage stuff to go through. Hope everybody's had their day, nightly dose of caffeine. We've got a lot of stuff to go through. Let me go through this next crate here and see what John has got ready for us. I've got John crates, I've got Paul crates, I've got Chad crates, I've got Doug crates, I've got... Judy crates. I've got Tanner crates, Seth crates. I've also got some everybody's crates. Brian crates. Did I say John crates? Billy Joe, 47. Billy Joe, 48. 
And Carol Key said, did you see this? I had to step away for a few, but I can't see what you said. And then Billy Joe 48, how much is Tenacious D? $39.99 on Tenacious D. Sound City with Corey Taylor, I believe so. And Brooks, if you don't want it, Greg Preston does. How's the sound quality to you two? There should be at least somebody watching who's bought one because I've probably sold 20 or 30 of them. So we should definitely know. And then let me pull that Sound City. Yes, this is that documentary about uh, Dave Grohl's on here and Taylor Hawkins and Paul McCartney. Yep, yeah, that's this record right here. Brooks, let me know if you want it. If not, Greg Preston does. And then we have... Uh, um, John Otten wants Tenacious D. Billy Joel's at 49. Brooks Valter did ask about Sound City first, and she said she'll take it. That's so to Brooks Valter. Brooks Valter gets that. All right, so there's Billy Joel. Let's see what else I have over here. And this bin, I have what is over here? Let me get something from this bin here. Give me one second. Let me see what's over this. All right, quick. There's that, that, and yep, I had this Japanese pressing. And give me one second, everybody, trying to find our next move here. I said as soon as I get, I'm almost to the bottom of this stuff, and then I'll have to run to the back and get that uh, box of autographs because we cleaned everything up and took all that stuff to the back because we was in, expecting a large influx in people here in the store today, which there was. So I'm got to here in a minute pretty much just pause the show and go back there and get that other stuff because I thought it was up here. We have Marilyn Monroe, never before, never again. Marilyn Monroe is a $25 start. This is a compilation of, uh, I think, female vocalists, mostly. Let's see, it is actually, yeah, it's a gentleman prefer blonde soundtrack. And then plus many never before released vocals. So Gentlemen, Gentlemen Before Blonde soundtrack, which features Marilyn Monroe, it's a Japanese pressing, and it's a $25 star. So that's now what for bid. $25 star, Japanese pressing on that. Billy Joel is at 49 with Dave Serretna. Dave Serretna has Billy Joel at 49, and that means, Matt Shepard, you've been outbid. Okay, let's go up to the top. First thing I have is John, Den John Denver, Airy. John Denver, $9.99. These are new vintage arrivals. Also, the sunny side of share, $14.99. The sunny side, the sunny side of share, $14.99 for share. The sunny side, the sunny side, the sunny side of share. That's hard to say. Steely Dan is sealed, $49.99. We have a sealed copy of Steely Dan. It does have a clip corner. Steely Dan, though, is sealed. $49.99 for Steely Dan. Also, scare me to death. The Rattler, Scare Me to Death, is a 1984 UK Psychobilly album. 1999 on Scare Me to Death. The Quakes, looks like the Stray Cats. The Quakes is a 1988 UK Psychobilly album. $44.99 for The Quakes. $44.99 for The Quakes. And The Everly Brothers, Beat and Soul. The Everly Brothers is a white label promo. 1999. The Everly Brothers, Beat and Soul. 1999. Back up to the top. Billy Joe had a new bid for 50. Billy Joe had a new bid for 52. Larry Drish first on John Denver. Marilyn Monroe has a bid for 25. Pamela Yeager first on Cher. That's sold to Pamela Yeager. David Everly is going to take the sealed Steely Dan. Shannon M., you were next on Cher. Matt's out on Billy Joe. Fred Carnell wants Rat and Quakes. Those are sold to Fred and Fred. And Mark Lent, you were second on the Quakes, if that's what your Q comment was for. 200 feet deep in a purple idea. Incredible Sound Show Stories Volume 3. 1996 UK. $49.99. Autumn Stone Archives presents 200 feet deep in a purple idea. Looks like a compilation. $49.99 on that. And 24, the coolest instrumentals from the 60s and 70s. Instro Hustlers. That is a 2001 UK compilation of British and European instrumentals, 60s and 70s. $49.99 on that. Billy Joel is sold to Dave Serretna for $49. Dave, that's sold to you for $49. And Fred Carnell gets the Marilyn Monroe. Fred Carnell gets the Marilyn Monroe for $25. He was the lone bidder on that. Japanese, and that's sold to Fred Carnell for $25. Quick auction on that. Everybody got very quiet on that one, and now it's sold to Fred Carnell for $25. With that being said, I'm going to go through some more of this crate. And I quite crate. I got quake on my mind from Fred Carnell's claim. He also gets Marilyn Monroe here for $25. I'll go get those other auctions in just a second. Let's focus on...
Let's focus on some more of these LPs here. We have Don Willis, Boppin' High School Baby. Don Willis is 1999, a 1991 Holland Rockabilly album. 1999 on Don Willis. We have Miami Rockabilly, Volume 3, $29.99. I think we've sold the other volumes. A 1981 Rockabilly compilation, $29.99. This is Miami Rockabilly, Volume 3, $29.99. Steve Wright said, I had Billy Joel at 52. Let's see here. We had 49. We had Matt Shepard at 50 and Billy Joel at 52. Matt said he was out. And someone had Billy Joel for over 50. Uh, okay, I see that on my screen. Steve Wright. All right, maybe it's because I didn't... Okay, so... Yeah, that's right. Steve Wright, Billy Joe 52. Where did, that was weird. I must have not scrolled up past Matt's 50. I guess that's what I didn't do because it was 50 and then your the 52 was before his 50, so it got out of order there. That's what messed me up. Steve Wright has this for 52. Sell this to Steve Wright for $52. Matt's already out, and Dave says he doesn't want to bid again either. This is sold to Steve Wright, not Dave Seretna. This is sold to Steve Wright for $52. That's sold to Steve Wright for $52. Next is Cynthia Herdron wants to Miami Rockabilly. That's so to Cynthia Herdron. And the sale starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, we have True West, TV Western. True West is a 1991 alternate rock album. $14.99 for True West, TV Western. The Nomads all wrecked up. The Nomads is a 1989 Swedish pressing. That's a garage album. $19.99 for The Nomads. And The Psychedelic Experience. The psychedelic, I've had the comic book with that cover on it before. That's a very expensive comic book. $74.99. The Psychedelic Experience. Volume 3, Ultra Rare Acid Punk Fuzz Monsters from the 60s. $74.99. That's a 2001 Swedish press. That appears to be a very desirable compilation. $74.99 for The Psychedelic Experience. Direct from Chicago, Magic Slim, Born on a Bad Sign. A 1977 French pressing. $39.99, Magic Slim, Born on a Bad Sign. Pee Wee Creighton, Blues After Dark. That is a 1988 UK, 1999. Fred Carnell wants Nomads. That's sold to Fred Carnell. George Scherer gets Magic Slim. That is sold to George Scherer, Magic Slim. So that's to George Scherer. And we have the, the, ca the Cavemanish Boys. Get a load of the Cavemanish Boys. A 2000 Spain pressing. That's Garage, 1999. And Music for Torching with Billy Holiday. Torching or touching? I guess it says torching. That is Billy Holiday, a 1979 mono pressing, $39.99. I've got to mute my mic and pause for one second. Everybody comment where you're watching from. That will keep the comment section interesting in just a second. I got to run to the back to get a new batch of records. Comment where you're watching from. We'll see where everybody's tuned in from. And I'll be right back. I'll be gone for like 60 seconds. And it's going to be worth the wait because I go grab some autographs. I'll be right back.
All right. So, figure out where I left off here. We have... Uh... I don't know. We have a comment that says Pee Wee, and Mark Lent commented the letter M. We have viewers in Alabama, Lansing, Michigan, Long Island, Texas. Michael Nath wants to know the condition of Billy Holiday. Michael Nath, extremely nice. No condition notes, Michael Nath. No condition notes. We have viewers from Alaska, Texas. Mark Lent says Oregon, condition, Billy. Lebanon, Missouri, Texas, California, Pennsylvania, California, Canada, Delaware, Colorado, Augusta, South Carolina. That's close to Augusta, Georgia. New York City, Chicago, Florida, Scotland, Tennessee, Tennessee, Kansas, Colorado, Colorado, Indiana, Colorado, Illinois, Alabama, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, California, Columbia, uh, Pennsylvania, McMinnville, Michael Nath gets Billy Holiday, Mark Lent was second, Michigan, Minnesota, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Oklahoma, Alabama. Our next two auctions is Eric Clapton, Money and Cigarettes, signed, Best wishes to Dale Albert Lee. No, it's not signed by Eric Clapton. We're putting it up for a $15 start. If it was signed by Eric Clapton, it would be a $975 start. It is signed, no joke. It's signed by Albert Lee. $15 start on that. Eric Clapton, Money and Cigarettes. $15 start, signed by Albert Lee, personalized to Dale. And we have Papa John Creech, The Cat and the Fiddle. Papa John Creech, The, fat, the Cat and the Fiddle. It says, hey, Dale, Papa John, 1992, $15 start on that. Kevin, make sure you put what you're actually bidding on. If you're bidding on Clapton, make sure you put EC for Clapton. Otherwise, we won't know. Nick's at 25. Let's keep going through this bin of new vintage arrivals. Heavy the World, Dog, Heavy the World is a 1993 hard rock album, $9.99 on Heavy the World. Solarized, Driven, Solarized is a 2002 German pressing. That's Stoner Rock. Solarized is 1999, and the Mighty Mofos show hard. The Mighty Mofos is a 1988 garage album, 14.99. Eric Clapton had bids for 15, 25, and then 16. Christopher Russia put PPJ, Papa John Creech for 15 dollars. Christopher Smith also bid 15 dollars. Dominic wants Pee Wee Creighton. Was that something still in this bin? Pee Wee Creighton. Pee Wee Creighton. Dominic, are you a first-time buyer? That means this is sold to you for $19.99, and I'll have to get your information. Just let me know. I know you were on the other night, the other night but I just need to confirm and then get you signed up, please. Fred Carnell wants Solarize. That's sold to Fred Carnell. Josh Phillips was second. The signed Eric Clapton's at 30. And we have Weird Out. Weird Out is the Swedish garage scene, 1986 to 1992. That's a 94 Italian pressing of Weird Out. $29.99 for Weird Out. $29.99. Jesse Hill, Golden Classics. Jesse Hill is a 1989 sealed pressing, 1999. Dominic says, I sent my information already. Okay, thank you, Dominic. I got you down for the Pee Wee Creighton. Eric Clapton has a bid of 30, and Papa John Creech is at 16. John Otten wants Weird Out. He gets Weird Out. Also, Las Vegas Grind, Volume 6. We had one of the other volumes the other night. This is sealed, $29.99. This is sealed, Las Vegas Grind, $29.99. Las Vegas Grind. We have Damnation of Adam Blessing, Glory. That is a hard rock album, an Italian pressing, $39.99. The signed Eric Clapton has a new bid for $35. And Zachary Fakes, From the Habit. That's a 2,180-gram garage album, $34.99 on that. Fred Carnell wants the Las Vegas Grind. That's so to Fred Carnell. Also, Jello Biafra and Mojo Nixon, Prairie Home Invasion. $19.94, $69.99 for Jello Biafra. $69.99. That's a $19.94 pressing. Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits Volume 2 does have some writing at the top. That's Dylan's Hits Volume 2. $36.99 for Dylan. 
and Hank Williams Jr. after you. Pride is not hard to swallow. No condition notes on Hank, $29.99. Fred Carnell got the Vegas. Papa John Creech is at $20. Ryan Anderson wants the Jello Biafra. And then this Eric Clapton album is signed by Albert Lee. Best wishes to Dale, Albert Lee. Carol Keys has that for $35.00. Final call, and Christopher's back in on the Papa John Creech at 20. That means, Christopher Smith, you've been outbid. Nielsen, looks like it's a French pressing. It's a Spanish pressing of Nielsen, $24.99. $24.99 on Nielsen. A little touch of Schmilson in the night. George Scherer on Volume 2. Is that for Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits, Volume 2? If so, George Scherer, that's so to you. And John Denver's Greatest Hits, Volume 2, $14.99. John Denver's Greatest Hits, Volume 2, $14.99. Thank God I'm a country boy, $14.99. And Daddy Dewdrop, Daddy Dewdrop is $14.99. So we're about to sell the sign Clapton for $35. We're about to sell the sign Papa John Creech for $20. We got a whole brand new tub of autographs I just brought up here. These have never been gone through. These have never been gone through before. So we got all new autographs, all new autographs to put up. I have filled up a bin here, so let me... Set that off to the side and get a new fresh crate going. New fresh crate going. Absolutely fantastic. Mark Trahan is in on the Clafton at 36. It's called Money and Cigarettes. It's autographed. Best wishes to Dale Albert Lee. That is at $36 to Mark Trahan. Carol Keys, you're back out. 3 o'clock, 13 Dream. 3 o'clock is $24.99, a 1991 UK mod rock album. $24.99. New bid on Papa John Creech for $25. We have Yardbirds, Heart Full of Soul. Yardbirds is $19.99. Yardbirds is $19.99. And Hank Williams Jr., Habits Old and New. Hank Williams Jr. is $24.99. Hank Williams Jr. is $24.99. At Habits Old and New. George Thurgood Live has a Gold Stamp promo in shrink wrap. $19.99. Very, very nice. $19.99. Christopher Brush, are first on the Yardbirds. Cynthia Herdron, you were second. Bob Dylan with Hop Sticker, Knocked Out and Loaded. That's a nice-looking copy. Dylan, $34.99. Original under sleeve, crisp, shrink wrap, and Hop Sticker, $34.99. Scott Marchime on Hank Williams Jr. Michael Nath on George Thurgood. Carol Keys, uh, you're out on Clapton. Mark Trahan has that for 36. Final call. Christopher Brusha back in on Papa John Creech at 30. Michael Nath, you're out. George Seretna wants... Dave Seretna wants to George Thurgood. You're second. Clapton, 37. Paul Ogley on the Bob Dylan. So that means Carol's back in at 37. On um, that, History of T-Rex, Volume 1, the singles collection. T-Rex, as in Mark Boland and T-Rex, $34.99. $34.99. There's Get It On, Metal Guru. That is uh, basically a T-Rex greatest hits, $34.99. Michael's out on Papa John Creech. Now a final call. And Spooky Tooth, you broke my heart, so I busted your jaw. Spooky Tooth is $24.99. You broke my heart, so I busted your jaw. $24.99 on that. All right, Clapton has a new bid for $37. That ties Carol. Carol was already in at $37. Let's go ahead and sell Papa John Creech to Christopher Brusha. Signed. I do have more albums by him signed. I'll put them up in just a second, but this first one is sold for uh, $30 to Christopher Brusha. It looks like they're still going to be bidding on Clapton. I'm going to do a very quick recap of that, Ben. If you're watching, make sure you have liked our page, liked this video, and you've liked everything. Make sure you're definitely subscribed over on YouTube. I would greatly appreciate it. Here's our next album. Now, the thing about Dale's Pittsburgh collection with these autographs, even if it's an autograph that you don't really care anything about, some of these are really good albums like Crazy Horse, and we're going to be putting them up for pretty reasonable starts, much less it has an autograph on it. This says, To Dale Believe, Niels Lofgren. I 100% guarantee any autograph I sell to be authentic. Some of them have authentication certificates with them. We've already sold a couple tonight. Most of these are not authenticated, but I will guarantee them. I've had other Nils Lofgren already autographed albums from this collection authenticated. This is a nice copy. Textured, no condition notes, original company sleeve. Signed by Nils Lofgren. It is personalized to Dale. Nice copy, though. Crazy Horse, $15 start. So, Carol Key, or Kathy... It's up to you if you want to bid again on Eric Clapton. Carol was already in at 37. Very quickly, I'm just going to read what's left in this bin so we can go on to a new one. I have the Everly Brothers Beat and Soul. If you want, if you want uh, a price, let me know because I'm going to go ahead and go through all the new stuff first so we can get through that because we still got four, five crates to go through of just new stuff. Everly Brothers, two, 200 feet deep in a purple idea. 
the 24 coolest instrumentals. We still got Don Willis, True West, the Psychedelic Experience compilation, uh, the Cave Manish Boys, Heavy the World, the Mighty Mofos, Jesse Hill, Damnation of Adam Blessing, Zachary Tanks, Hank Williams Jr., Harry Nielsen, John Denver, Greatest Hits, Daddy Dewdrop, Three O'Clock, T Rex, and So De Brian C., and there's Spooky Tooth. We had bids right off the bat on Crazy Horse for 15 and 20. Kathy's back in on the sign, Clapton at 39. The Everly Brothers was actually a white label promo, 1999. White label promo. It does have the original Warner Brothers inner sleeve, and it's a very unique white and green lettering promo, 1999 on that. 1999 on that. So, Kevin Lentz, let me know if you want backing on Crazy Horse. Robert Warner was in first. Robert Warner was, or he actually has the high bid at 20. Carol Keys, you're out on Eric Clapton at 39. Jared McLaughlin says he will take it. And then, Kevin, you have bid the same thing Robert Warner has on Crazy Horse at $20. So that's a final call to Robert for $20. And Clapton is a final call to Kathy Webb for $39. Final call to Kathy Webb for $39. Kevin's back in on Crazy Horse at $25. All righty, so there's that crate down. I think I'm going to go through the, the other putback bin next, and then that will leave three crates of new vintage pre-owned. But let's go through, I keep saying putback. These are not putbacks. These are actually canceled non-paid orders. So let's go ahead and go through these. These are non-paid orders. So we've got a full crate here, full crate here. Uh, Crazy Horse now at 26 with Robert Warner. And we're just waiting word from Carol Keys if she wants to bid again on the Clapton. She just bid $40. All right. So those both just got recently got new bids. Let's go through some stuff here. Looks like a lot of new and sealed vinyl, but I do see some pre-owned stuff in here. These are all non-payments. Let's see what we have. Avenged Sevenfold, sounding the seventh trumpet. Avenged Sevenfold is on purple vinyl, $36.99 for Avenged Sevenfold. Foo Fighters, but here we are. That's their newest album. That's on white, colored, or clear vinyl, one of the two, $33.99. $33.99 on that. And this is Sinead O'Connor, Universal Mother. Sinead O'Connor, $29.99 on Sinead O'Connor. We also have Brown Eyed Girl, Van Morrison, 2LP compilation, Van Morrison. Everything in here so far has been new and sealed. Collective Soul, Seven Year Itch. That's a Collective Soul Greatest Hits. $33.99, Collective Soul Greatest Hits. Slipknot, Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses. Slipknot is $36.99. $36.99. That's on purple vinyl. $36.99 on that. Sherry Darnell on Van Morrison. Brown Eyed Girl. Sherry, let me see if you was on a waiting list for that. You may be, and that way I can go ahead and take you off. Some of the stuff I may check waiting list for. Some of it may be out of stock or out of print, and we're waiting for more to come in, and now somebody didn't pay for one. But Sherry, I don't see you on one, so that's okay. All right, we have an out on Eric Clapton. Let's sell that to Carol Keys for $40. Carol Keys, you get the Eric Clapton for $40. I'm going to reuse some of these Dale Pittsburgh sleeves, if that's okay with somebody. Most of them have nothing wrong with them. So I'm going to put them back into Dale's original sleeves where he wrote autographed album on it. And then Crazy Horse is at $30 with Kevin Lentz. Robert Wander, let me know if you want back in. And then do you got any waxwork soundtrack in those non-payment bins? Well, if there is, it's going to be right here in this bin. Be on your thumbs, ready to claim something. Sinead O'Connor on Travis Wade. That's so to Sinead O'Connor. Excuse me, Travis Wade gets Sinead O'Connor. And we have Kiss Cycle Circus, $33.99 for Kiss Cycle Circus. The Rolling Stones, Some Girls, Half Speed Master, New and Sealed, $36.99. And the Rolling Stones, Through the Past Darkly, that's on 180 gram orange vinyl. The Rolling Stones is New and Sealed, $36.99. New and sealed, $36.99. Let's put up a signed album by, I don't know, I'm looking through them. I hadn't really got to look through much of these. Let's put up a signed album. Ah, oh, there's some people interested in this. The New Grass Revival, autographed by Sam Bush. The New Grass Revival. Let's go ahead and put this up. So, we have New Grass Revival. Nice, uh, Star Day LP. Just a generic inner sleeve. On the back, it says... An American original, Sam Bush. An American original, Sam Bush. Signed copy of New Grass Revival. $15 start on that. All right. So, Kevin Lentz, you're out on Crazy Horse. Robert Warner has it for $31. Uh, Brian Arrigo wants the half speed master of some girls. Kevin Lentz is back in on Crazy Horse at $32. New and sealed black flag. Slip it in. 
Black Flag is $36.99. Soundgarden, Screaming Life Fop, $33.99 on Screaming Life Flop. Fop, $33.99. Hank 3, Straight to Hell, 2LP Red Vinyl. Hank the 3rd, that's $44.99 for Hank the 3rd. Promise, The Desaturating 7. Promise is on Rainbow Splatter Vinyl, $31.99 on Promise. Rush, Clockwork Angels, nice. That's back out of stock right now. Rush is $39.99 for Clockwork Angels. And Black Flag, Loose Nut. Black Flag is $33.99. Let's give John Miller a Psycho Circus. Make sure that goes in for $33.99. Make sure that goes in for $33.99, Psycho Circus. So give that to John Miller for $33.99. Uh, Christopher Brusha first on Rush, Clockwork Angels. That's so to Christopher Brusha. There's Black Flag. We have Mutiny on the Bay, Dead Kennedys Live, $26.99. $26.99 for Mutiny on the Bay, Dead Kennedys. Black Flag Damage is $33.99. And The Who, Who's Next? That is a Music on Vinyl Pressing Remastered, $38.99. Music on Vinyl Pressing Remastered. $38.99. All right, so Robert Warner, let me know if you want back in on Crazy Horse. The high bid is Kevin Lentz at $32. And then New Grass Revival got bids for $15, $15, $15, $20, and now $25 with Calvin Ward. Lazarus, you were second on Rush. The name of the Slipknot album was called Volume 3, The Subliminal Verses. Purple Vinyl, 2LP, $36.99 on that. Skinny Puppy Bites. Skinny Puppy is $29.99. Skinny Puppy, $29.99. And REM, number five, document. REM document is $38.99. $38.99 for REM document. Astro Creep, Creep 2000 Live, Rob Zombie, $31.99. And Rush Power Windows, that's new and sealed, 180 gram remaster, $36.99 for Rush Power Windows. Robert's out on... Crazy Horse, let's sell this to Kevin Lentz for $32. The signed Crazy Horse, autographed by Niels Lofgren, is sold to Kevin Lentz for $32. That's sold for $32. Now, New Grass Revival got bids for $26 and then $30. So Calvin Ward has the signed New Grass Revival for $30. Also, uh, Brian G. Owens wants the uh, Rob Zombie. Is REM sealed? Yes, REM is new and sealed. That is a from the Capitol Vault restored remastered, limited edition, $38.99. Kathy Webb wants the Who, Who's Next, music on vinyl pressing. That's so to Kathy Webb. New Grass Revivals at 31. We have Jethro Tull Aqualung, the Stephen Wilson remix, $28.99. Stephen Wilson remix Gatefold also includes a booklet. Another black flag, Everything Went Black, $49.99. Dead Kennedys, Plastic Surgery Disasters, $26.99. Pearl Jam Versus is $31.99. That's the single LP. And Talking Heads is $31.99. That's more songs about buildings and food, $31.99. So while they're bidding on New Grass Revival, let's see what else I have over here in this bin of autographs to put up. And let's put up an autograph copy of... Hmm, let's see what else we have in here. Eddie Rabbit, Greatest Hits Volume 2. To Dale, thanks. Autograph by Eddie Rabbit. Let's put that up for a $15 start. Eddie Rabbit, Greatest Hits Volume 2, Gold Stamp Promo with Hop Sticker, signed to Dale. Thanks, Eddie Rabbit. Original winner sleeve. That is a $15 start. Uh, Moyer, you were second on Astro Creep. Somebody had already claimed that. New Grass got bids for $31.33. Jetstream says, Jetstream says, I'll take it. And that's REM. That's so to Jet, uh, Jetstream. And we have New Grass at 35. Um, Bang Tango, Rock and Roll, established 1988. Bang Tango is on Splatter Vinyl, $33.99. And Overkill, Years of Decay. There's another Overkill if you missed out on the last one. Years of Decay, that's on Red Marbled Vinyl, $33.99. Ozzy, Bark at the Moon. Blue Vinyl, Record Store Day Essential. Blue Vinyl, $34.99 on Ozzy. And Joe Perry, Switzerland Manifesto, MK2. Joe Perry's on Purple and White Swirl Vinyl, $26.99 on Joe Perry. Elvis, the TV special record, as meaning it was only sold on TV. It's a 2LP compilation. Very nice. Elvis is $19.99. Kiss Alive 3. Kiss Alive 3 is $44.99. And there's another copy of Psycho Circus, $33.99 on Psycho Circus. And Fiona Apple, title. Fiona Apple is a 2LP, 45 RPM with 12-page book, $46.99. We got two autographed albums up for bid right now. We have New Grass Revival. It's signed on the back. An American Original autographed by Sam Bush. That has bids for $33 and then $34. Eddie Rabbit got bids for $20. 
and then 30 was Shannon M. New Grass Revival got new bids for 35 and then 36. We had another $15 bid on Eddie Rabbit, but it was already at 30. And then Jared McLaughlin put JP. That's for Joe Perry. That's so to Jared McLaughlin. Tony Freeman, you were second. New Grass 40. Debbie Winston first on Elvis. And then Eddie Rabbit got another $30 bid. And New Grass got a $41 bid. Jerry Lee Lewis, Memphis Beat. VG Plus Condition, $9.99. Jerry Lee Lewis, Memphis Beat. We also have Grand Funk Railroad, Grand Funk Lives, $19.99 for Grand Funk. The Best of Crow, $14.99 for The Best of Crow. $14.99 for The Best of Crow. There is Mad Season. That's by Matchbox 20. So Matchbox 20, Mad Season, 2LP Blue Vinyl, $39.99. Update on Eddie Rabbit. The first person to bid 30 was Shannon M. He was the first person in at $30. Everybody else is out. And New Grass Revival's at $41 with Cole Price. That's just where we're at. Maroon 5, Songs About Jane. $36.99 for Maroon 5, Songs About Jane, new and sealed. There's another Dolly Rockstar box set. We had over 200 pre-orders on these, so that's why we had like a whole crate people didn't pay for. But that is expected with that many pre-orders. Just new people who pre-ordered it, and we've uh, sent them about 300 reminders. Not that many. We sent them about two reminders, maybe three, and then they're deleted and blocked. So if you pre-order something, make sure when it comes in, you can actually pay for it. Next is Chad Waite. He gets the dolly. Put that in for $64.99. Timothy Horn wants the Aussie. This also isn't stickered. Make sure that goes in for $34.99 to Timothy Horn. And then Eddie Rabbit has bids for $40, and New Grass Revival has bids for $45. Jimmy Buffett, there's another. Let me make sure there wasn't a waiting list for this. We had one in the first putback bin. I can't believe people aren't paying for these because these have been difficult to get for a while. Jimmy, and let me look that up. I have a waiting list for greatest hits. Buried treasure, equal strain, yeah. James Vasquez and Jamie McCord. James Vasquez and Jamie McCord, actually. So let me pull these. They may not be watching, but James Vasquez, if you are, or Jamie McCord, I had you on a waiting list for this. So I'm going to go ahead and tag you for one. If you're watching and you don't want one, let me know. But y'all are both uh, on a waiting list. I figured we did. I'm going to double check some of this stuff tonight. There may be waiting lists on some of these. But these are $34.99. And uh, James Vasquez, I had you on a waiting list. And I had uh, uh, Jamie McCord on one. I don't know if Jamie's watching. James says he's good. Those are $34.99. Blue vinyl. So those are sold. That was a waiting list. Our uh, auctions have new bids, by the way. New Grass Revival got a bump for 42. Uh, Eddie Rabbit got a bump for 40. 45 on New Grass. 40 on uh, Eddie Rabbit again. New Grass 50. Leonard Skinner, second helping. This is sealed. Yep, it was originally a Walmart exclusive on blue vinyl. $34.99 on that. And Guns N' Roses. This is a live concert, an unofficial. It's on colored vinyl. $39.99 for Guns N' Roses and Arky in the UK. The Donnas get skin tight. The Donna's is $38.99. Get skin tight. Purple with pink. Purple with pink. $38.99. The Donna's. Also, another Bang Tango. $33.99 on that. Ian Hunter, you're never alone with a schizophrenic. That's VG Plus condition. $14.99. And Steve Koch wants the Leonard Skitter. Now, I'll see a couple, out on, a couple outs on the auctions, which one of them's from Cole Price. And that means Calvin Ward has the high bid on New Grass Revival for $50. That's a final call. And it looks like Eddie Rabbit's going to be sold. Final call on this, Shannon M. Miss Jaka. I don't know how to say Shannon's last name. But it's at 40 And that's at 50 Those are final calls. If you want in, let me know. Shane, second on Leonard Skinner. Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell. VG Condition, $14.99. Charlie Daniels Band, Million Mile Reflections. This has The Devil Went Down to Georgia. VG Condition, $12.99. Also, Dr. No, that's cool. The first Bond movie, James Bond soundtrack, VG condition, $9.99. It is in mono. It is in mono. Take a look at that on the back. Very, very cool. VG, $9.99. And we have Charlie Daniels Band, Full Moon, VG condition, $12.99. Miss Shaka. Miss Shaka. You think I could say that by now? Uh, Daniel Farrow wants meatloaf. That's so to Daniel Farrow. Meatloaf and lots of people on Dr. No. Yeah, that's a cool one. 1962. That's so to Jetstream. Christopher Brusher was second. Jamie Winston was third. DK Evans was fourth. And Scott O'Man second on Meatloaf. There's this one problem, Cole. After you say out on an auction, you can't bid again. So I actually can't take your bid for 55. I would love to, but actually, after you say out on an auction, 
you can't bid again. So this is once again a final call. I'm about to sell it to Calvin. Nobody else bid on Shannon Mishaka uh, on the Eddie Rabbit. So let's go ahead and sell that to Shannon for $40. But don't worry. I have more signed Eddie Rabbits. I have more signed New Grass Revivals. All righty. Now let me sort vintage. I actually think uh, I actually think the pre-owned stuff, that's all, and the rest is new. I'm just going to read what was in here. If anybody wants a price, let me know. Let's go ahead and tag this to Calvin for $50. But, yeah, we started implementing that because here's what was happening. People were saying out, and then the other bidder might have hopped off the feed for a second thinking hey, they'd won the auction, and then they bid again, and then that person comes back to find out they've lost the auction because they thought the other bidder was out, and that's what's happened. So we have we had to do that starting like last about last some about a year ago probably well maybe last fall it's been we've been we've had it in place for a while but that's so to Calvin this is pretty cool Stephen Steele's Manassas with Chris Hillman from the Birds he was on a lot of stuff it's signed by Chris Hillman Stephen Steele's Manassas signed by Chris Hillman twenty five dollar start nice vinyl Stephen Steele's Manassas a rich owner sleeve this one's called Down the Road signed by Chris Hillman twenty five dollar start. $25 start. That's also known as the Mark Fallon effect. That's right. Mark Fallon, uh, <laughs> he was bidding on something, a Steely Dan 45, and he thought he won it, and uh, he got off, and then come back, and uh, he didn't even realize he lost it till he got his invoice on Monday. He got his invoice on Monday. He's like, hey, I'm missing that Steely Dan 45 that I bid on for an hour. And we said, well, you actually got off. Somebody came back in. We took their bid, and then you lost it. So, we have Vassar Clements, two Dale Vassar Clements. This is a signed Vassar Clements album. It looks like we got some bluegrass fans on, so let's keep it rolling with Vassar Clements. Signed, self-titled album, two Dale Vassar Clements. It's got a little bit of a smudge right there in the Clements part. It is personalized to Dale. $15 start on Vassar Clements. The Stephen Steele's album does have a bid for $25. This is all new and sealed. I'm just going to read titles. New and Sealed, Avenged Sevenfold, Foo Fighters, but here we are, Collective Soul's Greatest Hits, Slipknot, Volume 3, Stones, Through the Past Darkly, Black Flag, Slip It In, Soundgarden, Screaming, Screaming Life, Hank the Third, Straight to Hell, Primus, The Saturating Seven, Black Flag, Dead Kennedys, Black Flag, Skinny Puppy, Rush, Jethro Tull, Black Flag, Dead Kennedys, Pearl Jam, Talking Heads, Bang Tango, Overkill, Kiss, Kiss, Fiona Apple, Matchbox 20, Maroon 5, Guns N' Roses, The Donnas, Bang Tango, and then a few pre-owned. Jerry Lee Lewis, Grand Funk, Ian Hunter, The Crow, Charlie Daniels, and Charlie Daniels. John Howard wants Hank the Third. That's called Straight to Hell. That's so to John Howard. If anybody else wants anything or wants a price on anything, let me know. They're just right here behind me. Let's go ahead and go through a new bin of stuff. Let's go through a new bin of new stuff over here. Like I said, I still got... We're down to three crates of new vintage stuff that... Uh, Paul and John has marked for us. Let's go ahead and go through a Paul crate, which you know is going to have some interesting, unusual New Orleans records in it. So let's see what's going on with this. We have how much was Fiona Apple, Stones price and info. Stones was Through the Past Darkly, Through the Past Darkly, which was a Record Store Day edition on orange vinyl, sealed, $36.99 on the Stones. And the Fiona Apple was called Title which was a new reissue that had been out of print for a long time when this came out back in December, uh, which was title remastered analog two LP 45 RPM, 12 page book, 46 99 Vassar Clements has a new bid for 16 guns and roses was 39 99. Jerry Lee Lewis is VG plus 14 99. We will try to get into some movie posters tonight. Yes. I'll have to do the same thing there. We moved everything to the back to, clean up for the dollar sale last night. That's why I stopped the show early. But guess what? It's all the way in the back. So I've got to, when we get to m midnight, I'll have to go all the way to the back and dig out those posters. Daniel Farrow said sold, and he asked about Jerry Lee Lewis. Let me pull that from the vintage bin. That was Jerry Lee Lewis, and that was called Memphis Beat. It was VG plus $9.99. I may have said $14.99. It's actually VG plus $9.99. So sell that to Daniel Farrow. Javi Soto wants Fiona Apple. And Jason Conklin, you can complete the trifecta if you want the stones. Through the Past Darkly, 50th Anniversary Orange Vinyl Record Store Day Edition, $36.99. Okay. 
Vassar Clements, Cole Price has this for $16. Let's do a final call in case anybody missed these. Vassar Clements, two Dale, Vassar Clements. That has a high bid of $16 of Cole Price. The other bidder, which was Robert Warner, you're out. And then Stephen Steele's is at $25. Stephen Steele's, that is at $25 of Kevin R. Lentz. It is autographed by Chris Hillman, who played in Manassas with Stephen Steele's. It has a high bid for $25. Let's go through a crate of new stuff from New Orleans here and see what we have. We have Sensational Soul, Volume 2. This is sealed, $89.99, a 2009 Spanish pressing. That's a funk soul compilation, EX Condition 89.99. Are you doing poster letters or the tubs with the themed envelopes? We're doing a tub with themed envelopes, which I think has been better than the boot boxes of posters. So, yes, that could have anything. That could be like a packet of Steven Spielberg movies like we had the other night where we had the original Jaws and the... Uh, E.T. and the Back to the Future posters. Or it could be something like uh, Robert Redford, where they're all Robert Redford movies. But yes, I got to go to the back. I have no idea where they... I got to maybe text Tanner. He's probably already asleep now. Where that tub went. I think they're in the office because we still had some packets, but I may just go to the back and get a whole brand new tub and bring it up here. Then I'll have to figure out where he put that other tub because... If you go to our back room with tubs, black tubs with yellow lids, there's like 800 back there. So it would be a treasure. It would it'd be a scavenger hunt for me to try to find that when I go back there. I'm going to mute my mic for one second. All right. So, Vassar Clements got a new bid for 18. Stephen Steele's got a new bid for 27. George Sherrod wants through the past darkly. Any magazines tonight, hit Paraders especially. There could be some of those tubs we go through at midnight. Any Point Blank or Roadhouse poster. You'll have to tune in at midnight when we're going through the tub. I have no idea. We have Los York's El Vajayi, 1966 to 1977. 1974 compilation, which is a garage psych album that's sealed $39.99. The thing about the posters is I have no idea what we have. I have people ask me all the time, do you have this? Do you have that? I don't have, I have no idea. I wish I knew. We're literally opening envelopes up for the first time and looking at them. Nobody knows, not even me. Nobody in the store knows what's in these tubs. So we have no idea. Could we open up and find a Roadhouse poster? There's a high probability. But you probably should be watching because it will definitely sell. Ride that rocket. Rockin' Lloyd Tripp and the Zip Guns. This is sealed. $21.99. A 2000 U.S. Rockabilly. $31.99. $31.99. And the Whalers. This is Livewire. The Whalers. This is sealed. $21.99. A 1998 pressing of the Whalers. Livewire. Seal 2199. That's the best of the Whalers, by the way. Andre Williams, Bait and Switch, a 2001 U.S. pressing. 2199 for Andre Williams, Bait and Switch. Wanda Chrome and the Leather Pharaohs, Dangerous Times. And this is a 1999 U.S. rock punk album on red vinyl, 1999. All right, we definitely need some updates on our auctions. Cole Price is out on Vassar Clements. That's because Robert Warner bid 18. Now, Robert, you got outbid on Manassas. No, Kevin got outbid on Manassas. Hadn't heard back from him. Debbie has it for 27 and I'm about to sell it if I don't hear back from Kevin. And then we have, let's keep going to the bottom here. Ray Kondo and his Hard Rock Goners, Kondo Country. This is sealed, $39.99. A 1990 Canadian rock, rockabilly album, $39.99. Also, Manish Boys, Penetration Sensation. Manish Boys is a 1985 French pressing, which is an import. That's Glam Rock, $29.99 for the Manish Boys. Original motion picture soundtrack to The Day the Fish Came Out. The Day the Fish Came Out. That's a 1967 U.S. stereo soundtrack. The Day the Fish Came Out, $24.99 on that. And Psychedelic Super Point. No, Piat Point. What's that say? 
Psychedelic Super Something Original Motion Picture Score. That's an unofficial only, never been released ever officially. That is 1999. Super Deal. Super. I can't read what this says. P. I think that's P J O T K. However you pronounce that. 1999. And Uben Hagen. This is 1499. Nina Hagen Band. Nina Hagen Band. A 1979 Euro import. 1499. All right, nobody else bid on Vassar Clements. That is sold to Robert Warner for $18. Robert Warner gets Vassar Clements for $18. That is sold to Robert Warner. And Stephen Stills is sold to Debbie Blair for $27. That's sold to uh, Debbie Blair for $27. Kevin's wife must have came home. He says when his wife comes home, he has to get off the cell. So his wife must have walked in the door. So we may not see him again tonight. Debbie, you get that for $27. Stephen Stills Manassas is sold to you. We have the Screaming Mimis. The Screaming Mimis is a 1992 U.S. Lo-Fi Garage Psych album, $14.99 on the Screaming Mimis, and Music to Kill by the Africa Corps, and, or the Africa Corps, one of the two, K-O-R-P-S, and that is a 2002 Italian import sealed, $34.99. Screaming Mimis is sold to Christopher Brusha, and The Risk, Invitation to the Blues, that's $24.99, Invitation to the Blues, the Risk, $24.99, a 1987 UK import power mod and pop record, $24.99. All right, let's get some new auctions. Let's put up another one of those uh, Papa John Creech albums. And this also has another signature on it by somebody. Uh, somebody else signed this one. And let's go to the middle bin here. Is this signed by Brian Auger? Hey, it is. Pretty cool. Pretty cool here. So this is Papa John Creech to Dale. We love you, Papa John, 1992, and it's got another signature on it as well. It's a gatefold pressing, uh, nothing on the back. It has a crisp inner sleeve that's ripped, but that's just a generic. On the grunt label, nice vinyl, $15 start on Papa John Creech, $15 start on that. And then we have Brian Auger's Oblivion Express, especially for Bill with my something... With my sincere best wishes, Brian Auger, Atlanta, November 1974. He signed it, dated it, and geographically put the location, Atlanta. Brian Auger is a $15 start. There's our next two auctions. George Sherrod wants the risk. Garrett Seifert, you were third on the Mimis. Um, sealed, $34.99. This is, what is it? Y'all would like to know the name, wouldn't you? It's Dirty... French Psychedelics, a pop odyssey selected by Dirty Sound System. Seal, $34.99 for Dirty French Psychedelics. Also, Knoxville Girls in the Woodshed. Seal, $19.99, a 2000 U.S. rock indie album. Knoxville Girls in the Woodshed. Sealed, $19.99. Papa John has one bid for $15. Monks, let's start a beat. Monks is a 2001 Spanish import. That's live in 1999, $24.99. No bid on Brian Auger, looking for a $15 start. Yard Trauma, we've sold one of these before. Yard Trauma takes off. That's EX Condition, $12.99. A 1989 Spanish import garage album, EX $12.99. Uh, display it gets Knox. We got Thomas, Thomas Hujar on Monks. Those are sold and sold. Bull Angus, that is EX, $44.99. A 1971 Presswell Press. There's some cover damage right up in here, $44.99. Brian Auger condition. Um, the actual vinyl is immaculate, very, very clean. It is EX plus to near mint minus. Original orange label. It has uh, just a white generic inner sleeve, and, of course, it is signed on the front by Brian Auger. It is signed, and that just got a new bid for $15. Papa John is a final call for $15. Next is Suicide Elude. Suicide, Half Alive. Okay, Suicide, there's the Half Alive. Half Alive is a 2003 remaster, EX condition, $22.99. Something Blue, Lightning Hopkins, a 1967 EX condition, $36.99. That is, the top seam is starting to split. Top seam has some splits. EX condition, $36.99. Lucas wants the Suicide. We have Lightning Hopkins, so to Thomas Hujar. Henry was second, uh, Michael Knaff next, Jennifer Schrader next, 
Christopher Brusha next, Henry next, George Sherrod next, Craig next on the suicides. Okay, Lucas was first. Rasputin Stash. Rasputin Stash. A 1971 white label promo, VG condition, $17.99. John Lee Hooker, Drifting Through Blues, EX condition, $22.99. A 1969 U.S. pressing with Spineware, EX condition, $22.99. Also, this is, I've seen this before. Yeah, Arctic Monkeys. This is an original 2006 pressing. An original 2006 pressing, Arctic Monkeys. And this one's called Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not. EX Condition, $36.99. Thomas Ujar, first on Lightning Hopkins, then Michael Nav, then Christopher, then Guy Hobrish, then Pam Dickens. Let's do an update on these auctions. Michael Swanger, you got outbid on Papa John Creech. Robert Warner bid $16. Final call, unless Michael Swanger wants in. We had a $1 bump on Brian Auger for $16. Christopher Brusha, you've got outbid. Let me know if you want back in. Bull Angus is $44.99. The Nomads, sonically speaking, the Nomads is a 1991 Swedish import garage album. EX condition, that is $42.99 for the Nomads. Papa John Creech has a new bid for $17. We Sing the Blues, VG condition, $9.99. New Orleans series, New Orleans series, We Sing the Blues, VG, $9.99. So, Robert Warner, you're out on Papa John Creech. And then Christopher Brusher, let me know if you want back in on Brian Auger's Oblivion Express. Relating, William Bale. William Bale is a 1973 Monarch pressing, VG Plus condition, 1999. William Bale, relating, VG Plus, 1999. The Wild Magnolias, they call us wild. The Wild Magnolias is a 1974 French import, that's a funk record, 79.99. VG Plus Condition, $79.99 for the Wild Magnolias. They call us wild. This is J.F. Murphy. EX Condition, $17.99. A 1970 U.S. pressing. J.F. Murphy. EX Condition, $17.99. Also, Smoke Dreams. The Captain Matchbox Whoopie Band. That is VG Condition, $11.99. A 1973 ESP Disc Quad. VG condition, $11.99. I can't see the master feed for the bids. The high bid on Brian Auger is with Henry's Choice at $16. So you're out. And Robert Warner, haven't heard back from him on Papa John. I've got to sell it very quickly to Michael Swanger. The original Whiskey Howe Family Reunion, $74. EX condition, $36.99. A 1974 Canadian private, re private press blues rock album, EX condition, $36.99. The original Whiskey Howl. EX Condition, $36.99. Christopher Brush is back in on Brian Auger for $20. That means Henry's Choice, you've been outbid. Chuck Jackson, dedicated to the king. A 1966 U.S. Stereo Press. VG Plus Condition, $16.99 for Chuck Jackson. And 12 inch of sluts. We had that the other night. Here's another one. EX Condition, $69.99. An 82 U.S. Hardcore Punk. There was other people wanting that the other night. There it is again, if you missed out on the other one. Papa John is officially sold. Didn't hear back from uh, Robert Warner, so I've got to sell that to Michael Swanger for $17. Henry's Choice is right back in on Brian Auger for $21. Brian Auger is at $21. So, Christopher Russia, you've been outbid pretty fast by Henry at $21. Ryan Anderson wants the 12-inch of sluts. That is sold to Ryan Anderson. Paul Ogley, I've already sold it. We have Jacobs Creek. That's a 69 Pittman Press. VG Plus, $16.99. Condition on Bull Angus. There are their vinyl. The vinyl is graded EX condition. Looks pretty nice to me. EX condition on the vinyl. There's a little bit of cover damage up here. Looks like it maybe got wet just a little bit at one point. $44.99. It is a 71 press well. Debbie Blair wants to know the price on the original Whiskey Howl. That is EX Condition, $36.99, a 74 Canadian Private Plus Blues Rock album. Christopher Brush is back in on Brian Auger at $25. An Anthology of Blues, The Legend of Elmore James, EX Condition, $22.99. Marianne wants Bull Angus. That's sold to Marianne. There's Elmore James. Let's get a new auction started. Anybody ever heard of John Anderson? This is John Anderson, Eye of a Hurricane. 
It's in shrink wrap of the hob sticker, and he has signed it. Thanks, Dale, John Anderson. This is a $10 start for John Anderson. Eye of a Hurricane, a rich winter sleeve. It is autographed by John Anderson. George Sarah wants the anthology of blues. Henry's Choice is back in on Brian Auger for 26. Christopher Brush, you've been outbid. David Blair said sold on the original Whiskey Howl. We have Bob Brown, The Wall I Built Myself. Bob Brown is a 1970 U.S. folk album, EX Edition $22.99 on Bob Brown. Hal Peters and his trio, Rockin' the Country. Hal Peters and his trio, Rockin' the Country. That's an EX Edition $14.99. A 1989 Finnish import rockabilly, EX Edition $14.99. Little Village. Little Village is a 77 U.S. Blues hard rock album. EX Edition $17.99 for Little Village. Jimmy McCracklin, Blasting the, Bo Blasting the Blues. That's an 83 UK VG Plus $14.99. John Anderson got bids for 10, 10, 11. Brian, uh, Brian Auger is now at $30 with Christopher Brusha. Henry Choice is out. Henry's Choice is back in at 31. John Anderson's at 12. We have Sullivan, Sullivan, 78 Criminals. A 1985 French punk pop rock album, EX Edition $17.99. Daryl Way's Wolf Night Music. That's a 1974 UK import prog album, VG Plus. That is $24.99. And God Do Who Cares. If indeed it's only lonely, if indeed it is lonely at the top, it's only lonely at the bottom too. That's a 78 Canadian hard rock album. Good do. EX condition, $17.99. So John Anderson got bids for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're getting there. Josie Sinkbell has it for $16. Jared McLaughlin is in on SS. SS was Sylvian Sylvian. That's so to Jared McLaughlin. And Christopher Brusha, you've been outbid on Brian Auger. Henry's Choice has that for $31. John Anderson is John Anderson. High Eye of a Hurricane. It is in shrink wrap. He actually signed the cover, though, not the shrink wrap. Thanks, Dale. John Anderson features the songs. I Wish I Could Write You a Song. She Sure Got Away With My Heart. Red Georgia Clay. High bid. We had 13, 14, 15, 16, now 17. I need somebody to go ahead and bid 30, and then we can wrap that thing up. Brian Auger's at 35 with Christopher Brusha. Anybody else want anything in here? I'm going to read through those titles one more time, just from the back, and then I'm going to go grab a new crate of vintage and pre-owned stuff to go through. We had The Sensational Soul, Volume 2, which was a Spanish soul funk compilation. Los Yorks, that was another compilation. Ride That Rocket, Rockin' Lloyd Trip, The Whalers, The Best of the Whalers, Andre Williams, Bait and Switch, Wanda Chrome and the Leather Pharaohs, Dangerous Times, Ray Kondo and his Hard Rock Goners, Manish Boys, Penetration Sensation, the original motion picture soundtrack to The Day The Day the Fish Came Out, 1967, Psychedelic Super Something, Nina Hagen, Uben Hagen, Music to Kill By, The Africa Core. This was a Dirty French Psychedelic, Yard Trauma, Rasputin Stash, Rasputin Stash, and original Arctic Monkeys from 2006, The Nomads, We Sing the Blues, William Bell, Relating, The Wild Magnolias, uh, J.T. Murphy, Smoke Dream, and Chuck Jackson. Now, we have stalled on John Anderson at $17, with three other people still bidding. James Vasquez has that for $17. Final call. Brian Auger is now at $40 with Christopher Brusha. Henry's Choice was at $36. Jacobs Creek. We also have Bobby Brown, Hal Peters and his trio, Little Village, Daryl Way's Wolf's Night Music, Daryl Way, Daryl Way's Night Music, Wolf, Jimmy McCracklin, and Gado. That is where we're at on those. John Anderson has a new bid for 20, another new bid for 20. How much was the Arctic Monkeys and Condition? The Arctic Monkeys is an original 2006 pressing, EX Condition, $36.99, EX Condition, $36.99. Has the original on her sleeve. EX condition, $36.99. Brian Auger's at $50. Josie's out on John Anderson. 
David Graves is out on John Anderson. John Otten's the high bid at 20. That means James Vasquez is out. That means Jared McLaughlin's out. Jason Short wants the Arctic Monkeys. That's so to Jason Short. And how much was Bobby Brown? Bobby Brown. Bob Brown? Bob Brown was EX Condition $22.99. That's for Bob Brown. I don't know if there was a Bobby Brown. That was for Bob Brown, EX Condition $22.99. I don't think there was. Nope, there wasn't a Bobby Brown. And then now Brian Augers at 51 with Henry's Choice. All right, I'm going to go grab a crate of new vintage stuff. If anybody wants anything in there, just let me know. I'm grabbing these to take them right here behind me. Now, these are literally right here behind me. So if you decide you want something out of there, just let me know. Actually, I do have a short bin here of some uh, putbacks. This is where I was pulling the auctions out of. I was pulling the auctions out of here, and I think I have pulled everything I want to auction. So let's go ahead and go through these right here, right now. So these are some, uh, here's another quick half bin of uh, putbacks, non-payments. Very, very quickly, we have uh, Brian Auger. Henry's Choice is at $51. And then John Anderson, nobody else bid. That sold to John Otten for $20. John Otten got that for $20. John Anderson is sold for $20. Brian Auger is now at $55 with Christopher Brusha. Let's grab another auction. We have another John Anderson, Wild and Blue. John Anderson, Wild and Blue. Dale, thanks and best wishes, John Anderson. This is going up for bid. For a $20 start, John Anderson, Wild and Blue. It's signed by John Anderson. The vinyl is near mint minus and pristine. It has a song on it called Swingin'. It has a song on it called Swingin'. Dale, thanks and best wishes. John Anderson, $20 start on that. New and Sealed, Rainbow, Boston, 1981. This is $44.99. Green and red splatter vinyl, Rainbow, Boston, 1981. That is $44.99, Rainbow. New and Sealed, Tales from Yesterday, a prog tribute to Yes, $31.99. That's on really cool-looking splatter vinyl. Uh, Tales from Yesterday, $31.99. Kicks, Blow My Fuse. Kicks is $44.99. That should be on blue or red vinyl. I think they're blue. This is new and sealed. Kicks, Blow My Fuse, $44.99. We have Megadeth, Euthanasia, Megadeth, $39.99 for Megadeth. And Depeche Mode, Music for the Masses. Depeche Mode is $33.99, Music for the Masses. So, Brian Arger was at $55, and then we had a $56 bid. John Anderson was at $20, a $60 bid on Brian Auger, and then another $20 bid on John Anderson, then a $30 bid on John Anderson. A-Rod wants the rainbow. That is sold to A-Rod. John Anderson, 21. Now John Anderson, 35. Another John Anderson, 31. Henry's Choice is out on Brian Auger. Brian Auger is sold to Christopher Brusha for $60. John Anderson is at 45 with Shannon Mashaka. Shannon has that for 45 that's new and sealed the pesh mode. Also new and sealed the pesh mode. Wow, that was a markdown. That was 40, and then I marked it down to 30, and somebody still didn't pay for it. The pesh mode is $29.99. We have Big Circumstance, Bruce Coburn. Big Circumstance is $9.99. Big Circumstance, Bruce Coburn, $9.99. Billy Joel, The Bridge, $14.99 for Billy Joel, The Bridge. Wow, that's beautiful vinyl on Billy Joel, $14.99. And Paul Simon, still crazy. After all these years, a promo copy, a white label promo, $29.99. Still crazy after all these years. Paul Simon is $29.99. White label promo has a pro promo cut corner. That's $29.99. Paul Ogley on Bruce Coburn. That's so to Paul Ogley. Henry Parita is your second. Final call on John Anderson for $45. Final call on John Anderson for $45. Let's go ahead and put up another auction. Right quick, let's go back here to the back. And I had some very popular, uh, let me find the other uh, ones. Uh, well, let's see here. Here it is. Wow, here's another one if you missed out on the first one. Here's another uh, New Grass Revival signed by Sam Bush, a different one. Another New Grass Revival signed by Sam Bush. Let's put this up for a $25 start. This is uh, New Grass Revival. It says, Hey Dale, Sam Bush. And he put a little smiley face on his silhouette. Hey Dale, Sam Bush, New Grass Revival. 
That is on, that might be the first label, Star Day Records, maybe. A different label than the other one. $25 start on that. Uh, we have, we already pulled BC and BC. And then what's the Depeche? Depeche Mode Music for the Masses, $33.99. Depeche Mode Black Celebration is $29.99. Those are the two Depeche Modes. John Anderson has a new bid for $46 and now $50. Another Aussie, Bark at the Moon, Blue Vinyl, $34.99 on Aussie. Also, Frank Zappa, Tinseltown Rebellion. Frank Zappa is $34.99. Tinseltown Rebellion, $34.99 on Frank Zappa. We have Starting Over, Chris Stapleton. New and Sealed, Chris Stapleton Starting Over, $42.99. New and Sealed. Laney Wilson, Bell Bottom Country, $39.99. Laney Wilson, Bell Bottom Country, $39.99. We have uh, Orlando Martinez on Frank Zappa. That's so to Orlando Martinez. Sean Reed wants the Pesh Mode Black Celebration, $29.99. Michael, these are new and sealed. Uh, these are new and sealed. These are sealed reissues. A sealed original of this would be well over $100, possibly a couple hundred dollars. Definitely over $100. If they're new and sealed, if you see new sealed albums like the Pesh Mode for $30, those are going to be reissues. And then John Anderson's at 60. We have George Strait, Pure Country, $33.99 for George Strait, Pure Country. The Lion King, that's on orange colored vinyl. That's the music by Elton John, Hans Zimmer, $49.99. $49.99 for The Lion King. Eyes of the Beacon Street Union, VG Plus Condition. Fantastic Boston Psych, VG Plus Condition, $24.99. Adam Bauman wants the Pesh Mode music for the masses. Uh, Brian, or excuse me, Adam. If you're a first-time buyer, let me know. I'll have to give you some information. You get the Pesh Mode music for the masses. Brian Frenfrock bid 62 on John Anderson. Uh, Dan Davis wants the Lion King. That's so to Dan Davis. And Paul Ogley wants Beacon Street Union. That's so to Paul Ogley. And I have filled up a bin completely full here. So let me set this off to the side. Cole's in on New Grass Revival for 25, and John Anderson's at 70. Let me set this crate over here. That one got filled up extremely quickly. Fantastic. Sold a lot of our putbacks, which is great, but really didn't. Uh, it's great that we sold them, but when we cancel invoices, all of our receivables go down by quite a bit, and then we have to resell them, but at least we didn't lose the inventory. Uh, New Grass Revival 25, John Anderson 70. First time. Welcome, Adam. Make sure you message our page. We need your email address and your mailing address. We need your email address and your mailing address. So send that in the form of a Facebook message. If this is your first night, if this is your first night watching, thank you and welcome. Um, we do seven dollars unlimited shipping. I'm trying to gather my thoughts here. Seven dollars unlimited shipping. That's tonight, and tomorrow night. It normally would be for six nights, but you're buying now on Friday for the first night. So tonight, anything else you buy, and tomorrow night, seven dollars unlimited shipping. We'll invoice you on Monday. George Strait, so to Matt Shepard. And then two, three other people asked how much it was. It was $33.99. It was already been claimed. Brian, the Celine Dion's hadn't come in yet. And there was another question in here, I think. Let's do a final call. Wow, only one bid on this, $25. This is New Grass Revival, $25 on that. Cole Price signed on the back. Hey, Dale, Sam Bush with a smiley face. Final call for $25. New bid for $26. John Anderson is at $70. I know what I missed. Sean asked how much was kicks. $44.99. $44.99. New and sealed should be on blue vinyl. Also, Rush, we got volume one and volume two. Dreaming Out Loud, Rush, volume one and volume two. Those are $39.99 for Dreaming Out Loud. And Santana, Inner Secrets, Santana is $19.99. Adam Bauman also wants the skinny puppy. All righty, that was from that last bin of putbacks, I believe. Right here, also sell this to Adam. for Make sure it goes in for $29.99. That's also sold to Adam Bauman. And we have New Grass 27. Yes, Paul will be doing a show on Sunday. And Chad, I commented and claimed on a flip video. Will that be next week's invoice? Uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't posted a flip video this week. You might have commented on something old, which means I might not have even seen it. Forrest Appleton wants both Rush. And uh, are we done on John Anderson? Sold Shannon Mashaka for $70. Now they're bidding on New Grass Revival, 
27 with Cole Price. 27 with Cole Price. John Anderson, though, he is sold. Uh, I hadn't posted a flip video at all this week. So, for, uh, Troy, what do you remember what you claimed? I'll try to find it for you. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to do one tonight of some of this, all this new leftover vinyl. But, uh, oh, man, I found another <laughs> new grass revival, or excuse me, new riders of the Purple Sage signed by John Dawson. I wonder if our new rider bidders are on or... Uh, I have another one signed by John Dawson, one I haven't had before. Man, he must have had John Dawson sign like 30 albums. New Riders of the Purple Sage, Marion County Line, signed by John Dawson. The vinyl is in the original MCA inner sleeve. Beautiful condition. I can tell you just how crisp it is. It has a photo insert. $25 start. This is New Riders of the Purple Sage or signed by John Dawson. He inscribed it. He put Now Wet. This desert scene, he put Now Wet. And this is a $25 start. MC, Nickelback, all the right reasons. Yeah, I think that was from either last week or two weeks ago. You might have been watching an old video. Young MC and Nickelback, all the right reasons. Um... Let me, I'm going to have to try to dig for it, but I, I may or may not have those. If not, I'll put you on a waiting list. If not, I'll put you on a waiting list. Let's see if there's any of those around here. See where maybe that bin has ended up around here. Um, I don't really know possibly where it's went to. So, yeah. So, New Grass Revival's at 30. New Riders of the Purple Sage is at 25, 35, and now 37. Do you have Mariah Carey Christmas album? I currently do not have that in stock. John Dorsey, let me know if you want in for new on New Grass Revival for more than $30. It's up to you. Okay, glad I went back through those. Almost forgot about those putbacks. They were over here. There was a lot of auction records in that crate Tanner had separated. That was what was left. Let's go through a crate of new vintage stuff. Here's the agenda for tonight. I like setting the agendas. We have... New vintage stuff we're going through. I have two more bins. I'm going to try to slip in at least one bin of new vinyl here in just a second. I may actually do it right now. Uh, some new stuff to go through. I'm kind of taking a peek in this one, kind of seeing which one I want to go through next. We'll go ahead and go through this one. Uh, may slip in a bin of new vinyl. I don't know which one I wanted to show, though. Uh, there is a couple over here we hadn't been through in a while, like this one right here. Let's see what's in that. There's that stuff. Interesting. We'll go ahead and go through the vintage stuff, but um, we're going to go through some discount vintage bins, of course. Buy it now, best of for half off, and then either around 11 or 12, probably closer to 12, we'll try to go through some movie posters. But I did promise John, Ed, and everybody for the dollar sale that I would dig in the back tonight and get out some more dollar records and dig out more $5 records for this sale. So I have some people pending on me for that. And if I go to 2 a.m., that really cuts into my time here because I've got to be gone probably by 8. So six hours in this store digging through records. That flies by in a hurry. Six hours flipping through tubs. That is out in a hurry. That is, uh, that is flies by in a hurry. But uh, I'll see what I can do. We're definitely going to show some kind of posters tonight a little bit later. I can also tell it's a Friday night because as the show has went on, we've gotten more viewers. It's usually the opposite. Uh, but tonight, we now have 272 people watching. Welcome, everybody. We're streaming this on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you've hit the thumbs up button on both videos, followed, and subscribed. This is records that have never been put out before. These have never been for sale before. You're looking at them right now for the first time. Rancho, Rancho Deluxe, Notorious. This is a 1997 German pressing rockabilly album. $14.99 on that. And this is Nitzinger, Live Better Electrically. Nitzinger is $14.99, Live Better Electrically, Nitzinger. Max Webster's A Million Vacation. Max Webster, a 79 Canadian pressing, $14.99. New Riders is New Riders of the Purple Sage, Marion County Line. Somebody wanted to know if it was in an album or if it's live. I really don't know. Does somebody know? New Riders of the Purple Sage. I don't know if it's live or not. And this is... Uh, new Riders, this has a high bid, by the way. Robert Warner has it for $55. Jared McLaughlin did say out on this, so let's go ahead and sell this to Cole Price for $30. That was the New Grass Revival. 
New Grass Revival signed by Sam Bush. That sold for $30 the cold price. And then New Riders had bids for $50 and then $55. And then Lazarus wants the Max Webster. Max Webster sold to Lazarus. We have Scum of the Earth, Part 2. Scum of the Earth is a 1984 uh, garage album. Look at those uh, monsters up around the top. That's pretty cool. $29.99, a 1984 garage album. Perry Woods out on New Riders. That's a final, final call to Robert Warner for $55. The Cholet, the Shoutless, the Shoutless, Bowery at Midnight. Also a garage album, pressed in Sweden, 1986, $14.99. And Hot Rod Honey's. Kill Me Now. Hot Rod Honeys is a punk album. 2001 Belgium Pressing. $14.99 for Hot Rod Honeys. Let's get a new auction going. And the next one is... I don't know. Who signed this? Melissa Manchester. It looks like it's signed by Melissa Manchester. Melissa Manchester. Name of the album is Hey Ricky. It says To Rick Love Melissa M. Melissa Manchester. $15 start. Melissa Manchester, To Rick, and the name of the album is Hey Ricky. Interesting. Love, Melissa M., $15 start on that. Melissa Manchester, signed album with Hopsticker, $15 on that. Hot Rod Honeys is sold to Paul Ogley. New bid on New Riders. Christopher Brusha has that for $60. We have Tires. What does that say? This says T-R-E-S 60, Surf and Skate Riot. This is 1999, a 1990 Spain pressing. The Surf and Skate Riot, 1999 on that. Hogan's Heroes, cool. Sing the best of World War II, $49.99. $49.99, Hogan's Heroes, sing the best of World War II, $49.99 on that. Red China Rocks, Rock and Roll All-Stars. Red China Rocks, a 1972 UK copy, $19.99 on Red China Rocks. Pink Fairies, Kings of Oblivion. At first, I thought it was a Pink Floyd boot. It's Pink Fairies, a 1973 prog rock album, $49.99. I was about to say, they might be feeding off Pink Floyd there with the pigs, but animals didn't come out till 77. This is 73, $49.99. Orlando Martinez wants T-R-E-S. That was this compilation, The Surf and Skate Ride. That's so Orlando Martinez. Christopher Brusha, you're out on New Riders. Robert Warner has it for $61. Nobody bid on Melissa Manchester. That's a $15 buy it now if anybody wants it. It is signed to Rick Love, Melissa M. Melissa Manchester is a $15 buy it now. I'll grab a new one in just a second. Inez and Charlie Fox. That is a 1983 German pressing. That's a soul album. $19.99 for Inez and Charlie Fox. The Drones, The Attic Tape, 75 to 82. This is $14.99, a 1997 Italian punk, $14.99. Davey Winston wants the Melissa Manchester for $15. Christopher Brush is back in a new writer for $65. Do you see Pink Floyd boots ever? Uh, this collection from Pennsylvania had over 150 Yeah, we've had quite a few. We had quite a few last year. We had a lot of them. All right, I will show you all a very fake autographed record. Do y'all want to see a very fake autograph record? Like it's not even a good fake? It's a really, really bad fake? This is a very bad faked Rolling Stones record. Those are not even close to being good looking signatures. But it's a promo copy of Emotional Rescue. So it's a 12 inch single <laughs> um, with very fake autographs on it. So Rolling Stones uh, with a very bad Keith Richards, a very bad Charlie Watts a very bad Ronnie Wood, a very bad Bill Wyman, and a very bad Mick Jagger. Uh, you can tell the same person signed them. That, I mean, it take, you got to look at a few autographs to get the eye for that, but I've looked at so many now, and I've had people point it out to me. But you can kind of tell, like, the same hand, the same pressure signed all those signatures. You can just tell. You just It's got the same pressure on all the font but obviously they're not even close that's a really bad really bad fake but this is a uh, 12 inch single promo for emotional rescue so emotional rescue and uh it's a double-sided promo and i think some possibly kid or something had some fun with that i don't know what happened but uh 
Dale even put, Dale even put not real autographs. So not real autographs. That's what Dale wrote on there. Uh, that is a $10 start. The Rolling Stones Emotional Rescue. $10 start on that. It is a 12-inch single promo, but uh, that's up for bid if anybody's interested. $10 start on that. Okay. Uh, let's see here. We have New Riders at 65, New Riders at 66, and let's keep going through this bin. Carl Perkins Blue Suede Shoes, $9.99. Carl Perkins Blue Suede Shoes, $9.99 for Carl Perkins. It Ain't Me, Babe, The Turtles. It Ain't Me, Babe, The Turtles, 1999. That's a Rhino reissue of the Turtles album, It Ain't Me, Babe. Rachel Cross on Carl Perkins. New Riders has a bid for $66 of Robert Warner. The Stones has a bid for $10. Final Call. Border Radio, original soundtrack recording. Border Radio, original score by Dave Allen, $39.99. Border Radio soundtrack, $39.99 on that. The Fugs, first album. And a Karma Virgin Vinyl Pressing, 180 gram with high quality jacket. That's an Italian, $49.99. Rachel the Turtles was $19.99. Now, the only person I'm waiting on on New Riders is Christopher Brusha. Christopher Robert Warner has it for $66. The Stones is at 11 with Henry's Choice. Christopher Brusha wants the Fugs. And then Christopher, he says he passes. The New Riders album is at 66 of Robert Warner. Uh, Jimmy Reed now appearing. Jimmy Reed is $34.99 on VJ Records. He said he called out above. Uh, oh, I didn't even read that. New Riders is a studio album. Uh, okay, so he says he's done. All right, so that's so. Sorry, if I don't see like more than... If a comment's usually more than a couple lines of text, sometimes I don't... I kind of skim over it. <laughs> but sorry about that. That is sold for $66 to Robert Warner. And now, George Sherrod, let me know if you want backing on the Stones. John Moreno's at 12. John Moreno's at 12 on that. Rolling Stones. And I just want to let everybody know, those are not authentic signatures. It would not be up for a $10 start on a random Saturday night at 10 o'clock. If I had a fully signed Rolling Stones album, it would be probably, a, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars start. <laughs> We'd need a few air horns for that one. Uh, that's very expensive. I don't know. I've never seen a fully signed Stones album that's actually authentic. Uh, getting all of them together to sign something, obviously you can't do it anymore. Uh, two of those people on there are dead. And uh, three, you know, two of them are on there are dead. But uh, it's like the Beatles. The reason the Beatles are, you got to think, people's like, I've got a fully signed White album. And I'm like, that's impossible. The Beatles were rarely even together during the White Album era, to be somewhere in public where they would have had somebody sit down and ask them to sign a White Album. That's just impossible. So that's why they pretty much don't exist. So this is John Anderson, Blue Skies Again. John Anderson, Blue Skies Again. Dale, thanks for your support. John Anderson, $25 start. John Anderson, Blue Skies Again. $25 start. $25 start. John Anderson, Blue Skies again. Dale, thanks for your support. John Anderson, Gold Stamp Promo, $25 start. That's our next auction. The Stones, Emotional Rescue. It's still a 12 inch single promo of Emotional Rescue. The high bid is Henry's Choice at $13. Everybody else is out. George is now back in at $14. John Lee Hooker, Everybody Rockin'. A 1981 UK pressing that is sealed. John Lee Hooker is $26.99. We have Cadets A Go Go, The Space Cadets. That's a 2000 UK rockabilly album, $64.99. Thomas Hujar wants John Lee Hooker. George Sherrod was second. Christopher Brusha was third. We have Zebra. Zebra is in VG condition, $19.99. VG condition, $19.99. A rich on her sleeve. Zebra is in VG condition, $19.99. Problem Hair. Problem Hair is a 1995 German pressing with a 7-inch single. That is a punk album, $14.99. New bid on the Stones for $15. Another new bid for $15. Nobody else has bid on John Anderson. $25 start, final call. The Survivors, Worse Than Perfect. The Survivors is a 1988 Australian pressing, alternate rock, garage rock, $19.99 on The Survivors. That's not I, the Tiger. Survivors. The New Orleans Radiators from the New Orleans collection. 
heat generation. That is a 1981 sealed pressing, $26.99 on the New Orleans radiators. The Stones has a bid for $15, now $15, now $17. Brian Frenfrock, John Anderson is a $25 start if you want to bid. Pat Travers Band, Crash and Burn. Pat Travers Band is $19.99, Crash and Burn on Pat Travers. The Righteous Brothers, Bill Medley, Bobby Hatfield, the Righteous Brothers. Give it to the people. That is $9.99. We have Brian Finfrock in on John Anderson at $25. John Denver, JD. John Denver is $9.99. Redbone Potlatch, $19.99 for Redbone Potlatch. Redbone is $19.99. The Stones has bids for $16, $17, $18. Brian is the long bidder on John Anderson for $25. It is signed. Thanks, Dale. Thanks for your support. Signed by John Anderson. Larry Drish gets John Denver. Sold to Larry Drish. The original soundtrack to Peter Sellers, Ringo Starr, The Magic Christian, $24.99, featuring Come and Get It, written by Paul McCartney, $24.99, The Magic Christian soundtrack. The Stones has bids for $18 and now $20. We also have Harry Nilsson, Son of Schmilson, $19.99 on Harry Nilsson, Son of Schmilson. $19.99 for Harry Nilsson and NRBQ. NRBQ is $29.99. NRBQ is $29.99. Robert Warner wants the Magic Christian soundtrack. Let's go ahead and sell the John Anderson to Brian Frenfrock for $25. Brian Frenfrock, you get that for $25. That's the signed John Anderson. The Rolling Stones is at $20 with Terry Schneider. That is a Rolling Stones 12-inch single promo with some fake signatures on it. All right, how about another New Grass Revival? This should be popular. And we have another one signed by Sam Bush. New Grass Revival, When the Storm is Over. These have been very popular tonight. New Grass Revival, When the Storm is Over. It is a gatefold pressing. There's a very cool picture of the Ryman. Lyrics on the gatefold. And on the back, it says Sam Bush, After Car Wreck, 76. Sam Bush, after car wreck of 76. That's what it says. And very thick vinyl. Man, feels like 180 gram, but it's obviously a vintage original pressing. $25 start on New Grass Revival. Signed by Sam, Cush, Sam Bush on the back. Rolling Stones has a new bid for 21, now 22. New Grass Revival, autographed by Sam Bush. All right, continuing. There's NRBQ. We have Cub... Cub Coda and the House Rockers, It's the Blues. That's $19.99 for Cub Coda and the House Rockers. Beach Music from the Tams, $19.99. Beach Music from the Tams. The Accidents, Kiss Me on the Apocalypse. The Accidents is $29.99. A 1998 UK pressing, that's Power Pop, $29.99 for The Accidents. Also, Bob Dylan, Self Portrait. Bob Dylan is a 1970 Pittman Press. $34.99, Bob Dylan self-portrait. Beautiful vinyl. There is a little bit of writing up there. That is $34.99. Larry Smith on the Tams. That's sold to Larry Smith. And Stones is the final call for 22 of Terry Schneider. Henry's Choice, you've been outbid. I want a rock and roll guitar. That is $14.99. I want a rock and roll guitar. Funk, last of the great Earl Hooker featuring Jeff Carp. Earl Hooker is sealed from 1976, $29.99. Who signed the Stones album? Nobody signed it. Nobody signed it. New Grass Revival. Nobody bid on that. That's a $25 buy now. That's autographed by Sam Bush. That is a $25 buy now. That is $25. Autographed by Sam Bush. Sell that to Cole Price. He got it. No bid. $25. The Rolling Stones is at 23 of Henry's Choice. This is a 12-inch single promo of Emotional Rescue. A 12-inch single promo of Emotional Rescue. It is a promo copy, and it's got fake signatures on it. Those are not authentic. It has fake signatures on it. Those are not authentic. That was somebody just having some fun. Michael Swanger gets Earl Hooker. That sold to Michael Swanger. And we have Blues Buster, Buster Benton. Blues Buster by Buster Benton is a sealed 1979 UK copy, $24.99 for Blues Buster. Blues Buster. All right, let's put up another auction. How about another New Grass Revival? Now, this one's cool because he's actually signed on the front. Also an album I hadn't seen before. This is New Grass Revival, Hold to a Dream. New Grass Revival, Hold to a Dream. This is in excellent condition. Another one signed by Sam Bush. This one's signed on the front, 
New Grass Revival signed by Sam Bush, $25 start. Another New Grass Revival autographed by Sam Bush. Final call on the Stones. Terry Schneider set out. The Stones is sold to Michael Swanger for $23. Michael gets that for $23. That's sold to Michael Swanger. New Grass Revival is a $25 start. I'll put up another auction in just a second. But first, we have Junior Wales. In my younger days, Junior Wales is a 1972, 1972 UK, 1999 on that. Vietnam Chain, Susmaloa Beat, Vietnam Chain, a 1990 UK record. That's Sock, 1999 on Vietnam Chain. And what's happening, the Mind Expanders. That's a 1967 mono Sock album, $34.99. What's happening, the Mind Expanders, $34.99. Michael Swanger also first on Junior Wells. Thomas Hujar was second. Final call to get a bid on the New Grass Revival, signed by Sam Bush for a $25 start. And our next auction is... Huh, that's got a lot of stuff written on it. Let me set that to the side. We'll figure that, figure that one out in just a second. And I'm getting low stock on John Anderson, but I'm going to try one more. This is Countrified. Got a nice signature front and bold at the top. This is Dale. Thanks, John Anderson. John Anderson, Countrified. In shrink wrap of hop sticker, John Anderson has the original on her sleeve. The vinyl is very nice, and it's a $25 start. $25 start. It says, Dale, thanks. John Anderson, $25 start on that. Next is New Grass Revival. It has a bid for $26 of John Dorsey. $26 of John Dorsey. Actually, nobody bid on this except John Dorsey. That's a final call for $26. Orlando Martinez wants what's happening. Terry Schneider, you are second. John Anderson has a bid for $25. Keep on, jump in. Music. Music. That's a 78 white label promo. That's a disco album. A white label promo. 1999 for Keep On Jumping In. Supersonic Death Trip. Korova Milk Bar. That's an 88 Swedish pressing alternate rock. $9.99. Olympic Sideburns. I've Been Away. 13th Floor. Land is. Fire It Up. Interesting. An alternate rock. 1985 French pressing. $9.99. The Flippers. Impromptu Punk A Go Go. Maximum Beat Noise from Columbia. 1965 1967. That's a 2002 Spanish pressing garage. $24.99 for the Flippers. Also, Where's the Champagne? An interview with Mark Bolin. A Mark Bolin picture disc interview, $19.99. And El Chicano Cinco, that is a 1974 pressing, $19.99. $19.99. New Grass Revival is sold to John Dorsey for $26. What did I do with the sleeve for this one? It might have not been in a sleeve. Let me go grab some sleeves for that one. And then Brian Frenfrock, I'll go ahead and sell you John Anderson for $25. Brian Frenfrock gets John Anderson for $25. All right, let me go ahead and put that away. And let me go grab a box of sleeves right quick. Let me go grab, see if they're still over here where they're supposed to be. All right, thanks everybody for tuning in on this Saturday night. I have lots and lots and lots of other stuff to get to and show you. First, I'm trying to find our box of sleeves, which is right over here, I think. I think. Yep. And let me grab a few of these right quick. Grab some I had loose here. I'll regret probably not grabbing the whole box, but that is okay. We got another crate of new uh, vintage rivals I'm going to go through right after this. We're probably going to hit some vintage discount stuff as well. Friday night. Friday night. My bad. Friday night. Am I watching the wrong video? No, this is Friday night. We are live right now. Excuse me. Thanks for spending your Friday night. It's about to be Saturday in just a few minutes, though. Actually, in two and a half hours. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. So, uh, New Grass was sold to John Dorsey for 26. John, you missed out on the other one. Dan Davis wants to put back the Lion King. My wife already has it. Doesn't she want another one, though? What is wrong with having two of them? Let me find that record. And I thought I saw two other people want to put stuff back from last night. That I cannot do. If you're trying to put back something from last night or a previous show, that I cannot do. You'll have to wait. You'll have to message the page. Or at this point in the week, it's going to be very difficult to do. So this is put back. If anybody else wants it, it's $49.99. That's on orange vinyl. The Lion King, $49.99. Everybody can please calm down. 
I know it's Friday night. After I take a deep breath, Olympic is so to Lazarus, that is so to Lazarus. Henry Paredes wants El Chicano, that is so to Henry Paredes. Terry Schneider, you were second. And we have, do you still have jacket and record sleeves? I do. And NRB Q, I have two Lion Kings. Susie has two Lion Kings. And NRBQ, how much? It's $29.99. I'm going to read what's left in here. NRBQ is $29.99. $29.99. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to read what's left in here. Here's what's left in here. If you need anything, just let me know. I have Rancho Deluxe, Nitzinger, Scum of the Earth Part 2, The Shoutless, Hogan's Heroes. We have L Red China Rockets, Rock and Roll All-Stars, Pink Fairies, Inez and Charlie Fox, Inez and Charlie Fox, The Drones, The Turtles, Border Radio Soundtrack, The Fugs, Jimmy Reed, Space Cadets, Zebra, also have Problem Hair, The Survivors, The New Orleans Radiators, Pat Travers, The Righteous Brothers, Red Bone, Harry Nilsson, Cub Coda, The Ass, The Accidents, Bob Dylan, I Want a Rock and Roll Guitar, I Want a Rock and Roll Guitar, Blues Busters, Buster Benton, Vietnam Chain, Keep on Jumping In, Supersonic Death Trip, The Flippers, Mark Bolin, and NRBQ, and Tim Jensen. Now, you want inners and outers, right? Is that what you mean by one of each, inner sleeves and outer sleeves? I've got inner sleeves and outer sleeves. I think that's what he's referring to. I've got packs of outer sleeves right here. Packs of 100 outer sleeves are $29.99. Packs of 100 outer sleeves is $29.99. That is a pack of 100. That's sold. If anybody else wants a pack, let me know. Pack of 100 outer sleeves, $29.99. And he's also talking about these MoFi inner sleeves. MoFi inner sleeves are packs of 50 for $26.99. MoFi packs of inner sleeves. That's packs of 50 for $26.99. Yes. That's packs of 50, so he also wants that $26.99. Okay, so that's also sold to him. Chris Wood Sr. wants NRBQ. Paul Ogley wants the Radiators Information. That was the New Orleans Radiators. New Orleans Radiators, that is sealed, 1981, $26.99. The New Orleans Radiators, $26.99. Radiators, heat generation. It is sealed, unopened from 1981 2699. What happened on the Rolling Stones promo? We sold the Rolling Stones promo to the high bidder of Henry's Choice for $23. I think. Paul Ogley says he'll take the New Orleans Radiators. If anybody else wants any more supplies, just let me know. We've sold a lot of sleeves this week. A lot of outers and a lot of inners. I'm going to go ahead and grab this new crate of vintage stuff. I was going to slide over one of these crates of new new vinyl and go through it. Kind of what I wanted to do. Maybe this crate. Let's see what is over here. We got some other new stuff from this week. Maybe I have only went through a couple times. One time. Possibly just two times. Might just go ahead and do the vintage stuff first. Maybe the vintage stuff and then go through a lot of new vinyl. Or we'll start doing discount. And I got to put up two new auctions, which I still have a whole tub a fresh autographs over here behind me. So let's see what's in that. All right. Let me go ahead and do this. Josh Phillips needs some regular inner sleeves and 45 outer sleeves. I don't have um I don't have um I don't have paper inner sleeves for 45s, but I can put you down for a pack of outer sleeves, Josh Phillips. Josh Phillips pack of 45 outer sleeves. I can do that if you want those. It's a pack of 100, $14.99. I wish I knew where they were, which I don't, I don't have them up here. Okay, let me grab some new auctions first. How about that other new Riders of the Purple Sage that's autographed, the John Dawson? I have another one. I don't know how many more I have, but the more tubs I open, the more I find. And earlier, there was a lot of in interest in the signed Eddie Rabbit. So, these are always popular. New Riders of the Purple Sage. The Something Thanks You, John, the author, the author thanks you. Mm -hmm. 
This sleeve is really tight. I've got to literally bust it open. It's been on here a long time. It has completely shrunk to the cover. That happens. Okay, so this is New Riders of the Purple Safe, signed by John Dawson, about EX Vinyl, $35 start. $35 start. John Dawson, the author, the author? <laughs> I guess that's what he wrote there. Thanks you, John Dawson. $35 start on that. And then we have the best of 80 Rabbit. That's a nice signature. Two Dale. Thanks, 80 Rabbit. The best of 80 Rabbit. Greatest Hits Volume 1. And it's a white label promo. Signed by 80 Rabbit. White label promo. $25 start on that. Two Dale. Thanks, 80 Rabbit. $25 start. There's a couple more autographs. Just need the standard inner sleeves, not the 45s. Um, let's see here. I need some regular inner sleeves and 45 outer sleeves. Okay. So that means Josh Phillips gets a pack of inner sleeves. Let me do that. Josh Phillips gets a pack of inner sleeves, which are right here, $26.99, and then a pack of 45 outer sleeves. You got it. And I'll have to make a note of that. That's the only thing I don't have up here. I'll just write you down for a pack, and I'll put it on your pack of uh, outer sleeves. Make note to give Josh Phillips also a pack of 45 plus 45 sleeves. All right. We've been selling a lot of those this week, too. Now I understand the language you're talking. All right, that is so. All right, here we go. This is New Vintage Arrivals. It's Bobby and Billy. This is a 1996 German rockabilly album, $14.99. It's Bobby and Billy. Roland Mann, B. Lance. Roland Mann, B. Lance, $19.99. B. Lance, Roland Mann, $19.99. Mississippi Mud, Sam and the Soulman. Sam and the Soulman. $99.99. $99.99. A 1971 soul album. Mississippi Mud, Sam and the Soulman. Ken Kennington, Kennington Market. Aardvark. Aardvark. Kennington Market. A 1969 Terre Haute pressing. $36.99. And Ian Hunter Live. Welcome to the club. Ian Hunter Live. Welcome to the club. $19.99. Back up to the top, New Riders got bids for 35, 36, Eddie Rabbit got bids for 25, and then New Riders got a bid for 40, Eddie Rabbit got a bid for 26 with Terry Schneider. We're going through New Vintage Arrivals. Sub Zero Band. Sub Zero Band is 1999. Sub Zero Band is a 1999 rock album. Sub Zero Band. The End of the Obvious, The Wigs. The End of the Obvious, a 1985 UK pressing. That's a garage album. 1999. And 007 and the scene. 007 and the scene. Landscapes. That's a 1996 UK mod record. 49.99. I think that's 007 and the scene. A split LP. Jimmy Dawkins. Comeback baby. Direct from Chicago. Jimmy Dawkins. Comeback baby. That's a 1977 French pressing. 36.99 for Jimmy Dawkins. Excuse me, come back, baby. All right, now we got to uh, Eddie Rabbit at $26. The other bidder was Craig Weatherford. He said out. So Eddie Rabbit's a final call. And uh, Terry Schneider has that for $26. And Robert Warner has the new riders for $40. John Dorsey, you're out. And it's just really up to you. If you say out, we'll go ahead and sell it to Robert. Next is The Madness Invasion. The Madness Invasion, Volume 3. A 1988 French pressing. That's a garage album. $39.99 for The Madness Invasion. Liars Live, 1983. Let's have a party. Liars Live, 1983. That's a 1989 garage album. $29.99. And Love Live. Love Live is a 1982 German pressing. That's Love, the band, Live. Wow. $34.99. Never seen that before. And New Riders is at 42, Brian Lacey, 80 Rabbit Condition. Well, I don't know if that's so much important as the fact that it's autographed. This is the best of 80 Rabbit. It's autographed to Dale. Thanks, 80 Rabbit. It's a white label promo that is in near mint minus condition. It's pretty much never been played, it looks like. It's a white label promo. It's been signed to Dale. Thanks, 80 Rabbit. The high bid is $26, and it's a final call. New Riders is at 42 and now 44. The LOLers, 
Elgin Avenue breakdown or the 101ers, <laughs> one of the two. I think that's 101, the 101ers. A 2000 UK, that's Joe Strummer. Or at least he plays on this, it looks like, of some sort. We have a note that says Joe Strummer, $24.99. Eddie Rabbit has new bids for $27 and now $30. And New Riders is up to $46. We have the Revios, the Revilios, live and on fire in Japan. The Revilios is $39.99. A, 1990, a 1995 New Wave punk album. 1995 New Wave punk album on the Revilios. The Revilios on that one. I got to do one thing on my phone very quickly, so I'm going to try to watch. I got to get off the comments, but let me check on something over here before we go any further. I've got to do. New Riders at 46, and Paul Ogley wants the 101s. Let me go ahead and sell that to Paul Ogley. The 101ers, Eddie Rabbit 31, Eddie Rabbit 31, New Riders 37. If I don't do this right now, it is very important that I do. Extremely important that I do. So Eddie Rabbit's at $31 with Terry Schneider. William, you're out. And then New Riders is at $47 with Robert Warner. That's where we're at on that. Just FYI, everybody. Just FYI. Brian Lacey's at $48 on New Riders. Eddie Rabbit's at 35 with Jared McLaughlin. New Riders is at 50. Okay. I'm good to go now. So, New Riders at 50 with Robert Warner. New Riders at 50 with Robert Warner. And the Eddie Rabbit is at 35 with Jared McLaughlin. William Meadows is out. 35 on Eddie Rabbit. New Riders at 52. That's where we're at. I'll keep rolling here. We're in New Vintage Arrivals at 1041. We've been through a lot of records tonight. I told you all we had like nine new crates to go through. The Gruesomes, Cave In. The Gruesomes is a 2001 German pre pressing garage album. $36.99 for The Gruesomes, KVN. $36.99 on that. And Pop Blues, the Ansley Dunbar Retaliation, Volume 6, a 1971 French pressing, $24.99. Robert Warner is bidding on both auctions. He has new riders for $55. And uh, actually, let me reset. New Riders was at 55, and Eddie Rabbit was at 35 with Jared McLaughlin. So Jared McLaughlin has Eddie Rabbit for $35, and I think we're done. And New Riders has got a bid for 55. That's between Brian Lacey. Now I've reset my chat. Everything should be in order now. Rock and Roll Outlaw, Riding Free. Rock and Roll Outlaw is on Blue Vinyl. That's a punk album, a German pressing, 1999. That's Rock and Roll Outlaw, Riding Free, 1999. Get that back in its sleeve. Oh, no, I hate these. You got to get them just right. What happens is the vinyl wants to ram up into that seam there. If you ever have these that have die-cut circles, let's go ahead and take the entire inner sleeve out. Never try to just slide it back in there because it's going to rip. Jared McLaughlin, you get the signed Eddie Rabbit for $35. I'm going to go ahead and tag that for you before I forget or lose that bid because they're still bidding on New Riders, which now has a high bid of 60 with Robert Warner. And I'm going to keep showing new vintage arrivals here, like Folsom Prison Blues, Volume 1, Johnny Cash, $14.99. Folsom Prison Blues, Johnny Cash, Volume 1, $14.99. The Quad the Quadrilla Jets, When the World's on Fire, that's a 1999 Garage album. 1999 on the Quadra, Quadra Jets, that's tough to say. Alabama, The Close You Get, with Dixie Land Delight, $9.99 on Alabama. Bama, Susie Bree Love on Johnny Cash, Terry Schneider was second. We have the Leg Hounds, the Leg Hounds, that's a 2003 Belgium pressing, a garage album, $16.99 in mono. Josie Sinkbell first on Alabama, New Riders is at 62. Let's get a new auction going. I think I do have another, uh, let's do something different though. 
I've uh, I got another Niels Lofgren. Um, I was about to put up a new, another new grass, but let's do Niels Lofgren. This says, To Dale Believe, signed by Niels Lofgren. And this is a signed Stephen Steele's album. Stephen Steele's too. You never know. You know. He did meet Stephen Steele's multiple times, so let me make sure Stephen Steele's didn't sign it somewhere. I don't see it, but this looks like a very nice copy. New Riders is at 63, by the way. This is an OG pressing of Stephen Steele's two, original on her sleeve, gay foe, and it says, To Dale believe Niels Lofgren, who played on this album. That is a $20 start. Stephen Steele's, Stephen Steele's two, $20 start on that. New Riders is at 64. We also have Randy and the Goats on the Lamb. Randy and the Goats is $39.99. Randy and the Goats on the Lamb, $39.99. Here in a minute, I might do some buy it now on these autographs. Like we have several more of certain things we've already sold tonight. So how about I just bring some over here in a minute. We'll just start doing some buy it nows on some of those autographs. Uh, we have Shiva's Headband. Uh, Psychedelic Yesterday. Shiva's Headband is a 2004 Italian pressing. Shiva's Headband, 1999. New Riders at 66. Stephen Stills is at 20 with Terry Schneider. Chaplin Harness. Chaplin Harness is a 2005 blues rock album. Chaplin Harness is 1999. We have Too Much Monkey Business, Volume 1. Too Much Monkey Business, Volume 1. That's a 1998 German pressing beat rock album, $34.99. Robert Warner wants Shiva's headband. That's so to Robert Warner. Uh, Stephen Steele's has a high bid of 21 with Kevin Lentz. And New Riders is at 67 with Brian Lacey. The Peacocks, Angel. The Peacocks is a 2000 Psycho Billy album, $34.99 for The Peacocks. The Blue Thing Story. Volume 3, Psychedelia. That's a 1987 sealed. That's Garage Rock, $49.99 for Blue Thing Story. And the Billy Holiday Story, Volume 1. Billy Holiday Story, Volume 1, $26.99. Flying Saucer, Greatest Hits, Volume 3. That is an unofficial Flying Saucer, Greatest Hits. It looks like it's a compilation. Flying Saucer, Greatest Hits, $24.99. New Riders is out by Robert, so that's a final call for $67. Stephen Steele's is at $22, signed by Niels Lofgren. The Flower Pot Men, a 1985 UK, that's an electronic album. The Flower Pot Men, 1999. Willie Weatherly, Come the Dawn. Willie Weatherly is a 77 blues rock album, $24.99 for Willie Weatherly. Uh, Houdini, Freaks Come Out at Night. Grandmaster D's Haunted Scratch and Freaks Come Out at Night Instrumental, 1984, $9.99. Cynthia Herdron on the Flower Pop Men, that's so to Cynthia Herdron. And The Bread Makers, The Bread Makers is a 1992 Australian pressing. That's an R&B album, $39.99. Uh, no condition notes essentially on Stephen Steele's EX Plus on the vinyl. Very, very clean. Let's go ahead and sell the new riders then to Brian Lacey for $67. That was signed by John Dawson of New Riders of the Purple Sage. That is sold. And Stephen Steele's is signed by Niels Lofgren. To Dale believe Stephen Steele's signed by Niels Lofgren. High bid is Terry Schneider at $26. Terry Schneider at $26. All right. Let's see what we have in here. We do have a couple artists we hadn't got to yet in here. Um, let's see here. Let me do a quick flip through this bin. Alrighty, we have... Alright. Ah, let's auction this. New Grass Revival. Gold Stamp Promo. It's signed by Bella Fleck. It's signed by Bella Fleck, and on the back it says, What a bunch of happy guys, Sam Bush. What a bunch of happy guys, Sam Bush. So it's inscribed, not personalized, and it's signed by Bella Fleck on the front. Near Mint Minus on the vinyl, I didn't even have to look at it. I can just tell. <laughs> I, have, I can just sense it. Bella Fleck, also signed by Sam Bush, $25 start on that. $25 start on that. New Grass 5, signed by Bella Fleck and Sam Bush. That's pretty cool. All right. This is a first come, first serve. 
Buy it now for $25. Dale, best of luck. John Anderson. First come, first serve on that. $25 buy it now. First come, first serve. Best of luck. John Anderson. That's a signed copy of John Anderson 2. $25 buy it now. Sold to Michael Swanger. $25. New Grass has bids for $25 and $25. Terry Schneider has the high bid on Stephen Steele's for $29. Cole Price has the new high bid on New Grass for $30. He has the new high bid on that at $30. Next auction, or next buy it now. This is Infasion, signed by Papa John Creech. Hey Dale, Papa John, it has a newspaper clipping of his obituary. Nice, clean. Let's take a look at the vinyl. Papa John is a $25 start, or $25 buy it now. DJM, $25 buy it now, with a newspaper clipping from the Pittsburgh City Paper, Dale's Pittsburgh Collection. Has his obituary on that. Papa John, rest in peace. That's a $25 buy now. And it says, hey, Dale, Papa John, it is autographed. That's sold to Christopher Brusha. Christopher gets that for a $25 buy now. Papa John is sold. New Grass has a high bid of $35. Stephen Steele's has a new bid for $30. John Dorsey's at $30 on Stephen Steele's. New Grass Revival's at $35 with Cole Price. Let's see what we have here. Let me figure out who all signed this one. Okay, that will definitely country. I got some Country Gazette albums signed by Sam Bush, Byron Birdline. I've got some of those we hadn't ever auctioned before, so I'll skip over those. That needs to be auctioned. That needs to be auctioned. And what do we have here? Who signed this? Richie who? Richie Valens? What's that say? Uh, Crabby Appleton's autograph. That's pretty cool. That needs to be autographed. That needs. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who they are. Probably, I'm sure y'all do, though. I got some Rusty Warren signed albums. There's more Vassar Clements. There's more Vassar Clements. Um, uh, who signed this? Uh, well, I'm trying to find another buy it now, but I'm running all kinds of new stuff we hadn't got to yet. All these need to be auctioned. Uh, Give me one second. Okay, here we go. This is... This is pretty cool, actually. This is a $25 buy now. It's Chris Hillman, signed by Chris Hillman. It's actually still sealed. He just tore a hole in the shrink wrap where Chris Hillman can sign it, but it's uh, never been opened. It's got a breach in the shrink there, and obviously it's got a hole where he signed it, but it's signed by Chris Hillman. $25 buy now. Slipping away. Slipping away, signed by Chris Hillman, $25 buy it now. New Grass Revival is at $37. Stephen Steele's is still at $30. Nobody else has bid since then. John Dorsey has that for $30. Final call. Terry Schneider gets to Chris Hillman for $25. That's so to Terry Schneider. Davey Winston, you were second. New Grass is at $37. Davey Winston second on Chris Hillman and Debbie Blair third. All right. I may have another one of those I'll show in just a second. And... Let me figure who this is. This is, who is his name? Ray Benson. Okay, this is Asleep at the Wheel, served live, signed by Ray Benson. $15 buy it now. Asleep at the Wheel, served live, signed by Ray Benson. $15 buy it now. Asleep at the Wheel, served live, signed by Ray Benson. $15 buy it now. Asleep at the Wheel, signed, sold to Michael Swanger, I think. He put R.A., I bet he meant RB. We'll find out. $15 buy it now on that. Asleep at the wheel. We had one of these earlier. Here is... Nope. Wait a second. Nope. Never mind. We'll skip that one for right now. We'll skip that. Um, we'll skip that one. And here we go. Michael Swanger gets to sleep at the wheel for $15. New bids on New Grass Revival for $28. New bids on Stephen Steele's for $32.33. John Anderson is a $25 buy now. This is signed by John Anderson. It is actually on the cover. It's underneath the shrink wrap, but it's signed by John Anderson. Tokyo, Oklahoma. Signed by John Anderson. $25 buy now on John Anderson. $25 buy now on that. And if you missed the first Chris Hillman, Here's another one. This one's also signed by Chris Hillman, $25. Chris Hillman, clear sailing, signed by Chris Hillman. 
There's another one, $25, Chris Hillman. $25 buy it now on that for Chris Hillman. That is signed. I have, to get update here, we have uh, Brian Frenfrock gets John Anderson. Sell Tokyo, Oklahoma, signed by John Anderson to Brian Frenfrock for $25. There's another signed Chris Hillman. That one's called Clear Sailing. A Ridge Runner Sleeve and Nice Vinyl, Asylum Records. Nothing wrong with that one. $25 buy now, and it's autographed by Chris Hillman. Uh, so let's update the auctions. New Grass Revival is autographed by Bella Fleck and Sam Bush, and that has a high bid of $37 with Cole Price. Cole Price is at $37. Everybody else is out. And then Steven Steels is at $33 with Terry Schneider. Everybody else is out. This is at $33 with Terry Schneider. So Chris Hillman didn't sell. I've got American Flyer signed by Rusty Young. American Flyer, $15 buy now, signed by Rusty Young. Very clean vinyl, original printed inner sleeve of lyrics. American Flyer signed by Rusty Young, $15 buy now on that. American Flyer, signed by Rusty Young. $15 buy it now. $15 buy it now. Uh, I have another uh, Sleep at the Wheel. And this one is signed by uh, Ray Benson again. Another Sleep at the Wheel. He signed it twice, a Sleep at the Wheel. Now, the jacket has some condition issues. There's duct tape on the bottom and top of the spine. But this is signed, a Sleep at the Wheel. If I can get it out, the, the sleeve has got stuck to the... How about I just leave it in there? I'll just leave it on there. But there's where it's signed by Ray, and he signed it again on the back. That's a $15 buy it now. That's a $15 buy it now. Another signed sleep at the wheel. American Flyer is sold to Terry Schneider for $15. Jared McLaughlin was second. They're still bidding on New Grass, but let's go ahead and sell the Stephen Steels. That's sold to Terry Schneider for $33. New Grass is at $40. New Grass is at $40. Cole Price, $40 on that. All righty. And I'm still digging out some autographs. I like this. Clearing out some of these autographs. I got way too many of them. Where did I get to? This is... I don't know what that says. If I don't know, we'll have to come back to it. Here's one. This is Dave Allen, Intercord, signed by Dave Allen. This is a $20 buy it now. Dave Allen, Intercords, signed by Dave Allen. $20 buy it now. Intercords, Romeo's Escape Intercords. That's signed by Dave Allen. $20 buy it now. $20 buy it now on that. So to Michael Swanger. $20 buy it now. New Grass is at $41 with John Dorsey. That's a battle between Cole and John Dorsey right now. Dave Allen is sold for $20 to Michael Swanger. That's sold for $20. Several people next on that one. Don't worry, I've got more. I've got more of those coming. Just stand by. Uh, here we go. This is Keeper of the Flame. Thanks, Dale. Delbert McClinton. Signed by Delbert McClinton. $15 buy it now. $15 buy it now. Thanks, Dale. Delbert McClinton. $15 buy it now on Delbert McClinton. And uh, let's see. This is pretty cool. I've had, well, let me figure out who signed this one. Um, Bill... Billy, Billy Price, Billy Price, possibly, okay. Um, Delbert McClinton, $15 buy it now. New Riders, by the way, is at 45 This is Roy Buchanan. That's what I'm here for. It looks like it's signed by Billy Price, possibly. It says, please don't turn me away by Roy Buchanan and Billy Price. So signed uh, Roy Buchanan, not by Roy Buchanan. This is already a pretty diff, uh, pretty desirable album. $25 buy it now on that. Roy Buchanan, that's what I'm here for. Signed by Billy Price on the back. $25 buy it now. $25 buy it now on Roy Buchanan. That's what I'm here for. So did Jennifer Schrader. $25 buy it now. We have New Riders at $50. Cole Price says he's out. That's a final call then. John Dorsey has the Bella Flack and Sam Bush. Dual sign New Grass for $50. Final call to John Dorsey on that. Let's see what else I have in here. I have, I'll do that one in just a second. Let's do, uh, let me get a couple new, couple I've skipped over to auction. Let's do one of these Country Gazette albums because it has several 
recognizable signatures that we've been seeing tonight. This one actually has four signatures on it. This is signed by Byron Burline. I believe that says Joe. Let me get a name on some of these. Uh, Joe Carr. So Byron Burline, Joe Carr, Alan Mun, uh, it is Mund or Monday, M-U-N-D, and Sam Bush signed it on the back. So four signatures. It also has some radio station markings. W-V-E-P, maybe. It's a W-Y-E-P, definitely from a radio station. Uh, we'll do that for a $20 start. That's the American and Clean Country Gazette. Has four signatures on that. Let's put that up for a $20 start. Let's go ahead and sell new grass then. Let's go ahead and sell that to, to um, let's sell the new grass to John Dorsey for $50. That sold to John Dorsey for $50. Uh, American and Clean by Country Gazette is a $20 start. $20 start on that. Um, let's see, I had to have another one to auction. I skipped over a couple. What I'll do is I'll set the tone with a couple and then we'll see what they bring and I could possibly have more, who knows? The way, as many as there are to flip through here. Um, here's one I did a second ago, we'll do another one. This is signed. By interesting. Let's do this one first. Signed by Dave Allen. Uh, twenty dollar buy it now. Signed by Dave Allen. Twenty dollar buy it now. Dave Allen. Every night about this time. Signed by Dave Allen. And he made an inscription. He put Tampa red. He drew a line and said Tampa red. Signed Dave Allen. Not personalized. Looks like it has the original inner sleeve. And the vinyl's clean. That's $20 buy it now. And that is sold. And that is sold to Michael Swanger. Dave Allen, that is sold to Michael Swanger for $20. Let me put that back in Dale's sleeve. We'll keep it in Dale's sleeve there temporarily. Or Michael, whatever you want to do with it. Well. Okay, that's sold to Michael Swanger for $20. Display it was second. And then Brian Lacey, then Preston Rose. And then the uh, American and Clean, which is the Country Gazette, it has a high bid of $23. $23 is where we're at on that. $23. Here is another Roy Buchanan signed by Billy Price. Also a $25 buy now. This one's called Live Stock. Another Roy Buchanan signed by Billy Price. $25 buy it now. Roy Buchanan, Live Stock, signed by Billy Price. Sold very quickly to Jennifer Schrader. That sold to Jennifer Schrader for $25. American and Clean is at $24. American Clean's at $24. So, to give everybody a fair chance at a Dave Allen, let's put this one up for auction. This one has a different cover. You remember how that one had a picture of Tampa Red? This one has a different photograph at the bottom. And he wrote Big Joe and my mom. He wrote Big Joe and my mom. Dave Allen. So this one, let's put it up for auction. Does it have an inner? It has a different inner sleeve, too. Wow, this one has a different inner sleeve and a different cover. Let's put it up for a $1 start. Dave Allen's Romeo's Escape. There's another one. We'll put that one up for auction. And $1 start, so everybody that maybe missed out on the other ones can get a fair chance at that one. And let's go ahead and do a buy now on... Let's see here. Here is an actual album signed by Billy Price. And let's do this for a $20 buy now. Billy Price and the Keystone Rhythm Band. Let's do that for a $20 buy now. Billy Price, also signed by Billy Price and the Keystone Rhythm Band. That is a $20 buy now. $20 buy now. Billy Price and the Keystone Rhythm Band, signed by Billy Price. $20 buy now on that. $20 buy now. I got to mute my mic for one second. All right, so uh, this is sold to display it for $20. The sign Billy Price, that's sold for $20. Yes, we're about to do a discount bin of vintage in just a second. We're really rolling through these autographs right now, which is something I never have time to do. But let's get an update on these right here. So the American and Clean was at $25 of John Dorsey. Four signatures on that one. John Dorsey had it for $25. And then uh, uh, Terry Schneider, let me know if you want back in. Dave Allen had got all the way up to $22. 22 with Tommy Flowers. 22 with Tommy Flowers. That's where we got to on that one. 22 with Tommy Flowers. 
All right, let's see what else I have over here. Let's go to the very, I hadn't made it to the back yet. Aha. Let's see here. I'll have to take this one out of the sleeve. Let me take it out of the sleeve first. It's doing more harm than good, I think. Signed by David Bromberg, Demon in Disguise. $25 buy it now. David Bromberg, Demon in Disguise. I don't know if I've ever had that out before. Signed by David Bromberg, $25 bot now. American and Clean, the Country Gazette. Country Gazette is sold to John Dorsey for $25. That's sold for $25. Display it is in on the David Bromberg for $25. That's sold to display it for $25. Let me go grab some new sleeves. I'm going to need them for some of these. Some of these sleeves have probably been on here since the 90s, which I guess if you don't regularly kind of fluff your sleeves on your records and flip through them and take them out and play them and hold them and let them breathe and air, then some of them over 20, 30 years will probably shrink around them. Uh, some of these definitely have. I've seen that on some, but Dale probably sleeved these things years ago, and this is probably the first time they've seen the light of day and probably since the 90s or early 2000s or mid-2000s, which the mid-2000s was 20 years ago, if y'all can believe that. Does it seem like that long ago, folks? All right, so David Bromberg, that is sold to display for $25. Robert Warner was second. Davy Winstead was third. Davy Winstead, these are buy it nows for whatever the price I'm saying. And then display it is at 23 on Dave Allen. So 23 on the Dave Allen. Display it has that for 23. Tommy Flowers and everybody else is out. Dave Allen's at $23. Okay, next is David Bromberg for $25, my own house, signed, not personalized by David Bromberg, $25. David Bromberg, nice clean vinyl. David Bromberg is a $25 buy it now. There's another one. That one is my own house, signed by David Bromberg. $25 buy it now on that. Dave Allen's at 23 with display it. The other bidder's out. Debbie Winstead wants David Bromberg for $25. That's so to Debbie. And final call on the Dave Allen for $23. Final call on the Dave Allen for $23. Let's put this one up for auction. This is Commander Cody and his Lost Planet Airman. This is going to be a quick auction. Command Country Casanova, Commander Cody and his Lost Planet Airman. This says, rock on, Commander Cody. And somebody else in the band signed it right there. Uh, let's see, Bill Far, Bill, Bill Kircher, Bill Kircher, Bill Kircher, and Commander Cody. Let's put that up for a $15 start. Nice clean vinyl. Commander Cody signed by two band members on the back. $15 start on CC. This play it gets to Dave Allen for $23. That's so to display it for $23. Let's put that in a new sleeve. Dave Allen sold for $23. That one needs a new one. I've reused some of Dale's sleeves tonight because they're not too bad. No sense in throwing some of these away. I'm very picky about putting records in new sleeves, but some of these are, you know, pretty much like brand new. I hate to throw away a sleeve that was doing justice and did justice all those years. All righty. Uh, let's see what's, what we have here. All right. If you want to buy this, what the last one sell for? $23. let us do this one for a $15 buy now. Country Gazette. Signed by Alan Monday and Byron Burline. $15 buy it now. Country Gazette. That's a buy it now for $15. Uh, we have Commander Cody at $15, $15, $15, $20. And uh, C Commander Cody, $23. Display it gets Country Gazette for $15. That is sold to display it for $15. That is sold. $15. Next is... The tub's getting tough to flip through now. Let me pull some of these out of the back. Aha, this one's cool. This one might be a little bit more because it's best of and it's got a really nice signature. We'll do this one for 30. 
Best of David Bromberg, signed by David Bromberg. $30 buy now on that. That is out of the blues, the best of David Bromberg. Very nicely signed. $30 buy now on that. Very nicely signed. $30 buy now on that. And that is sold to display it for $30. That's so to display for $30. Bromberg. Commander Cody has bids for 23, 24, 25, and 26. That's where we're at on that. Next is, let's see who all signed this one. Here's another Country Gazette signed by Allen and Byron. This is a $15 buy now. Country Gazette out to lunch signed by Allen Monday or Mund. I think it's Monday and Byron Burline on Flying Fish. $15 buy now. Two signatures, not personalized. $15 buy it now on that, Country Gazette. $15 buy it now, Country Gazette, autographed by Byron Burline and Alan Monday. That is sold to display it for $15, CG Country Gazette. The Commander Cody has a high bid of $27 with Brian Lacey. Preston's out, Paul's out, now Terry's back in at 28. That's signed by Commander Cody and also somebody else in the band. All right, here we go. This is really cool. This is signed by Steve Cropper. Yes, the Steve Cropper, the very famous guitar, session guitarist, also in the Blues Brothers movie, playing my thing, playing my thing. It is personalized to Jan. Thanks for all you've done. Uh, thanks for all help with this LP, the Rockins, that is. Thanks for something help with this LP, Steve Cropper. I've had multiples of his signatures personalized. Uh, signed by Steve Cropper, $15 start. It's been personalized. He's thanking somebody who helped with the album. I don't know what the deal with that is. But uh, $15 start, Steve Cropper, signed. That's now for bid. Commander Cody has bids for $28, $28.29. And so now Brian Lacey has it for $29. let us go back over here. And this one is, give me one second... And here, we'll do this one next. This is David Bromberg, Long Way to Here, $25 buy it now on this. David Bromberg, Long Way From Here, signed by David Bromberg, $25 buy it now. Very clean vinyl on the fantasy label, Bromberg, $25. David Bromberg, $25. That's Long Way From Here, $25 buy it now. Uh, Commander Cody has bids for now 30 now 30, and Steve Cropper has a bit of 21 with Terry Schneider. This David Bromberg is a $25 buy now. Not personalized. Blue Sharpie there on the front or blue felt tip. Let's see what else was in here. This is... Um, here we go. I didn't do this one earlier. This is another Asleep at the Wheel signed by Ray Benson, I believe. Asleep at the Wheel Driving. That's a $15 buy it now. Ray Benson, is that right? Ray, I think that was his last name. Benson, Asleep at the Wheel Driving. That is a $15 buy it now on that. $15 buy it now, Asleep at the Wheel, signed by Ray Benson. $15 buy it now on that. And then there's another David Bromberg. So the only thing in the no-sell pile right now, Michael Swanger gets the uh, Ray Asleep at the Wheel for a $15 buy it now. Steve Cropper has a bid for $24. And the... Uh, Commander Cody's at 32 with Brian Lacey. Terry Schneider's out. So Commander Cody, 32, Brian Lacey, final call. Steve Cropper, 24, Paul Ogley, final call. And so here's the only few autographs that didn't sell that were bought now. So if anybody wants to buy them now or make an offer, David Bromberg, $25. Delver McClinton, $15. Ray Benson, Asleep at the Wheel, $15. And Chris Hillman, uh, $25. That's the only four that didn't sell buy it now. So those are available if anybody wants to buy them or make a B-I-N. We're not done on uh, Steve Cropper or when possibly it has a bids for 24. We have a bid on a new bid on Commander Cody. A new bid on Commander Cody. Christopher Brush in, is in on that for 35. He's in on that for 35. And Jerry McLaughlin said he'll take that other Ray Benson. That's sold to Jerry McLaughlin for $15. Asleep at the wheel. He signed it twice, actually, front and back. John Dorsey said 18 on Bromberg. Let's sell him this Bromberg for $18 then. That's sold for $18. And Steve Cropper just got a new bid for $25 with Terry Schneider. Commander Cody's at $35, and that means, Brian Lacey, you've been outbid on Commander Cody. 
All right, let's do a discount bin. Sorry, that got us off track there for a second, but that was good. Let me do some condensing and figure out everything that was left. For some reason, this feels like a Saturday night. I've already said Saturday night once, but it definitely feels like a Saturday night to me. I don't know why, but uh, let me do some condensing here. And I'm definitely going to need some crates, especially if we start doing some half-off bins. But I had about a full tub of autographs, and there's about a half of a tub now. So that definitely took out a chunk. We went through a lot of non-payments and putbacks tonight. A lot of non-payments and putbacks. I still got some great stuff in those, those kind of bins left over. Let me do some condensing here. But John and Paul had us like six crates priced, and we're down essentially to about tubes and uh that definitely freed up some space and got some records out of the back and i think somewhere over here i'll have at least one half off bin i need to do and uh let's see here we have steve cropper then at 25 we have brian lacy out so terry schneider has steve cropper for 25 final call commander cody 36 commander cody 38 the no sell pile was delbert mcclinton for 15 bucks thanks del delbert mcclinton and Chris Hillman, Clear Sailing, was $25. And let me find that next bin of discount records that I was just talking about. I'll probably do some half-off stuff. I'm going to mute my mic for one second. And try to find this crate over here. I hope. Let's see what's over here. I, I emptied so many bins yesterday for the sale today here in the store. I hope I have enough stuff to to go through. This looks like some pretty good titles, though, in here. I see. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go through this and probably make these 50% uh, off. Probably make these 50% off and uh, try to clear some of these out. Let me see what's underneath it, though, first. This first bin, when is these from? This first bin is from, that's pretty recent. That's pretty recent. Let's go through this one first. Daniel Farrow, 61st birthday. 61st birthday. Welcome. Happy birthday. Steve Cropper is sold to Terry Schneider for $25. That's sold to Terry Schneider for $25. Terry, thank you. That's sold to you for $25. Let's go through a half-off bin. Everything in here is going to be 50% off. It's a quarter after 11. Let's hope everybody's awake and ready to go. Depending on how well this one does, depends on if I do another one. So hopefully everybody's got their bind fingers ready. And then I'm going to try to do some posters at midnight. I may have to literally stop the feed and start a new one, though. Unless everybody's okay with me muting the feed for like literally two or three whole minutes while I go to the back and try to get that tub out. If not, I'll have to either start a new feed or I should have already had it up here. I kind of need to do it just tomorrow. But if everybody's okay, I literally might have to be gone for like five minutes trying to dig that uh, tub out. So we have Girl Watchers, The Occasions. This is $5. It's in VG condition. That's the Girl Watcher, the Occasions. VG Condition, $5. VG Condition, $5. We have Bluegrass Cardinals, where rainbows touch down. Bluegrass Cardinals is 6 bucks. Bluegrass Cardinals is $6. Just me. Yeah, I'll probably just have to pause the feed or just mute my mic and go to the back and get it. Terry Schneider on Girl Watcher. So we're going to do a half-off bin here. Try to do this, and I'll probably go ahead after this crate, unless we sell literally everything. And I'll go ahead and try to uh, stop the feed and go get those posters ready. All right, that's the first half off record. Let's sell that to Terry Schneider. Bluegrass Cardinals was $6. Where's our bluegrass buyers? Just 6 bucks on that. Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. This is actually a promo. Now just $12.50. It's a white label promo. So a sampler of CSN songs and their solo work. That's $12.50. Cole Price gets Bluegrass Cardinals. And Commander Cody is sold to Christopher, well, Brian Lacey hadn't set out. Christopher Brusha has this for $40. Brian Lacey, do you want back in? Christopher Brusha has it for $40. We have George Scherer on the Crosby, Stills, and Ash. Well, we're three for three. Sounds like y'all want more half-off records. We got a long ways to go, though. The sheer attraction of Feeney Tribe, I want more. 
That is now $7.50. George Sheriff first on Crosby, Stills, and Nash, then Paul, then Christopher, then Ron. Brian is back in on Commander Cody for $42. Rachel, Rachel is $7.50. Rachel is $7.50. Peter, Paul, and Mary in concert. Peter, Paul, and Mary is $7.50. Peter, Paul, and Mary is $7.50. We have the country's best. The country's best is $5.00. The country's best is $5. That's still available. Debbie Blair wants Peter, Paul, and Mary. That is so to Debbie Blair. And we have Yipes. Yipes is now $5. No condition notes on Yipes. $5 on Yipes. And last train to Hicksville, the home of Happy Feet, Dan Hicks, and his Hot Licks, $7.50. $7.50. And Nantucket, your face or mine. Now Nantucket is $5. And Nantucket is a white label promo Very, very clean vinyl. Very, very clean vinyl. We still got a war going on for the Commander Cody. Christopher Brusher has it for $44. Josie Sinkbell wants that country compilation. The country's best. That is so to Josie Sinkbell. Let me get these to stand up correctly. Let me pause. And I do have some more auctions to put up. This is signed by a blues legend, Corey Bell. This is Harp Attack, James Cotton, Junior Wales, Billy Branch, and Carrie Bell. Excuse me, Carrie Bell. I always want to say Corey because his O, his A looks like an O. Carrie Bell on Alligator Records. Let's put that up for a $20 start. Let's put that up for a $20 start. They're still bidding on Commander Cody. Brian Lacey's back in at 45. This is signed by Carrie Bell. Harp Attack. It's on Alligator Records. $20 start on that. Susie Breedlove wants hot licks. Dan Hicks and his hot licks. That's so to Susie. Jared McLaughlin wants Nantucket. Let me grab a new, let me grab a new crate because that one has filled up very quickly as we knock out some 50% off records here. Fantastic. Let me grab a new empty crate. And let's go ahead and sell Nantucket to Brian Lacey. Uh, Commander Co's at 45. Harp is at 20 and 20. Harp attack. We have uh, memories extended. Jesse Johnson. That's the label, Extended Memories. It's Jesse Johnson, Free World, and Baby Let's Kiss, 12-inch single, $6.50 on that. Uh, High Tension, High Tension is $6.50. High Tension is $6.50. Shelly Mann and his friends. Shelly Mann and his friends. Eddie Haywood, Don Bias, Aaron Sachs, Ray Nance, John Simmons, $5 on that. Commander Cody's at 47 Duty, honor, country. Addresses of Jug- Douglas General MacArthur. Ten bucks on that. If you're just joining us, we're going through a half-off bin. We might go through this and then possibly a quick recap of some stuff tonight. I'm going to go grab mo- a new bin of movie posters. I'm going to try to find the other one and then get go through some new ones. Jared, yes, you got Nantucket. So that's what we're doing for the rest of the night. We'll probably be on for at least another couple hours, just FYI. So... We'll be another on for another couple hours. Terry Schneider, the Delbert McClinton is called Keeper of the Flame. Keeper of the Flame. I'd really like to sell this Chris Hillman and Delbert Clinton so I can put up some more autographed by it now. Gemini, this is one of those um, uh, horoscope records. May 21st to June 20th. Gemini, that's a $10 buy it now on that. $10 buy it now on that. And the Foundations, baby, now that I've found you. The Foundations is in VG condition. Five dollars. The Foundations VG condition. Five dollars. Blood, sweat, and tears. Greatest hits. VG plus condition. Seven dollars and fifty cents. VG plus condition. Seven dollars and fifty cents. Debbie Winston wants F for the Foundations. Now Brian Lacey's out on Commander Cody. We can go ahead and sell out to Christopher Brusha for forty-seven dollars. The problem with Harp Attack is three people bid twenty dollars and then we stopped. Then we just stopped abruptly. This was Harp Attack. Brian Lacey was the first person. Michael Swanger, you're out. So Brian Lacey has that for 20. Anybody else, let me know if you want in, okay? Let me figure out where I got to. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Greatest Hits. I bet that will sell. It has. Debbie Winston gets it. Uh, Offer for, I can't do that on Chris Hillman. Um, I was at 25 on it. Maybe try again. (laughs) <laughs> Harp Attacks at 21. We have Quicksilver, Just for Love, with that song that I like, Fresh Air on it. It is an overall VG condition record. Just $5, though, on Quicksilver. And Frank Zappa, The Mothers of Invention, Overnight Sensation. This is now just $17.50. It is in VG plus condition. 
It is in VG Plus condition. It's a 73 Terre Haute, 1750 on Zappa or Mothers of Invention. Museum, it's going to take forever. Museum is $7.50. Paul Ogley gets the Frank Zappa. That is sold to Paul Ogley. He gets the Zappa for $17.50. We have Barber Jaggle by Donovan, $7.50 on Donovan. Barber Jaggle, $7.50 on that. And Whale Meat Again, Jim Capaldi. Whale Meat Again, that is $8.50 on Whale Meat Again. And if I can fix this right here, Michael Pender, The Promise. Michael Pender is $7.50. Michael Pender is $7.50. Christopher Russia wants Don. Let's go ahead and pull that. That was Donovan. So did Christopher Brusha. And now Brian Lacey's at 23 and Harper Tack. George Sherry, you're out. And Michael Swanger is said he's out for good. So now it's between George Sherry and Brian Lacey. George Sherry, you've been outbid. There's Michael Pender. We have Jimmy L. Webb, Words and Music. Jimmy L. Webb is $10, Words and Music. $10 on Jimmy L. Webb. And Razzie Bailey. Razzie Bailey is $5. Razzie Bailey's $5. One more here, Jackson's Victory. The Jackson's, no condition notes, 15 bucks on that. Let me go ahead and put up a new auction right quick, and I've got another buy it now. This is signed by David Bromberg. This is Bandit in a Bathing Suit. Signed by David Bromberg, first come, first serve, $25 buy it now. Bandit in a Bathing Suit, signed by David Bromberg, $25 buy it now. If anybody wants that, it's available. Let's go ahead and show another half-off record. We have Debbie Harry, a.k.a. Blondie. Debbie Harry Cuckoo, $12.50 on that. $12.50 on that. And Poco, head over heels. Poco is $5. And Grover Washington Jr., Skylarkin. Grover Washington Jr. is $5. Brian Lacey gets the Harp Attack. That's sold to Brian Lacey for $23. That is sold to Brian for $23. And we're going through some half-off records if you're just joining us. Half-off LPs right now. First, we have Liberty Hoot Nanny. Liberty Hoot Nanny is $5. Liberty Hoot Nanny. That's a compilation. The Hughes Corporation, Freedom for the Stallion, featuring the hit song Don't Rock the Boat. EX Condition, $8.50. It's in shrink wrap. The Hughes Corporation, Rockets. Rockets is $6.50. Rockets is $6.50. Price on Grover. Uh, Grover Washington Jr. Skylarkin was $5, Craig Weatherford. $5. Jack, Jack Dijonette. Special Edition, Irresistible Forces, $6.50, and Robert Kraft, Retroactive. Robert Kraft was $8.50. Lee Michaels Barrel, Lee Michaels is VG Condition, $5. And Wes, Bruce, and Lang, VG Plus Condition, $7.50 on Wes, Bruce, and Lang, $7.50 on that. Bill Haley Scrapbook, $7.50 on Bill Haley Scrapbook, and Jeff Beck with the Yon Hammer Group. Jeff Beck with Yon Hammer Group, EX Condition, Nine dollars, Jeff Beck. EX condition, just nine dollars. Well, my autograph buy nows have stalled, but I will try another one. I will try another one signed by Alan Monday and Byron Berlin. Fifteen dollar buy it now. Country Gazette signed by Alan Monday and Byron Berlin. Fifteen dollar buy it now on that. Christopher Brush on BH for Bill Haley scrapbook. Craig Weatherford will take the. Uh, Grover Washington, that's sold to Craig Weatherford. Those are sold and sold. Uh, best of Joe Tex. Best of Joe Tex is VG Plus Condition, $7.50. $7.50, the best of Joe Tex. And The Doors, Other Voices. The Doors is $7.50. $7.50. Terry Schneider wants the Delbert McClinton autograph. That was $15. That's sold to Terry Schneider for $15. Terry Schneider also wants CG. CG was for Country Gazette. That sold to Terry Schneider also for $15. Burt Jordan wants JT, best of Joe Tex. That sold to Burt Jordan. Boss Skaggs, my time. Boss Skaggs is in VG Plus condition, $7.50. England Dan and John Ford Coley is $5. And James Taylor is $7.50. James Taylor is $7.50. Rocky Burnett, the son of rock and roll. Rocky Burnett's $5, and this is $10, which is called Senior. Senior and Cost, $10 on that. Debbie Winstead first on BS, which was Boz Skaggs. That's so to Debbie Winstead. And I have a 
I'm going to try to sell all these at once. I have, let me tell you the price first. They would normally be, let's see, 12, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, that's 10, 60, yeah, $60. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I got five autographed David Bromberg albums for $60. Five autographed David Bromberg albums. Dale, thanks for something. Thanks for listening. David Bromberg, you buy them, you're buying them all. David Bromberg, how late y'all play until? Dale, best wishes, David Bromberg. David Bromberg band, Midnight on the Water. Signed there. Dale, thanks for listening. David Bromberg. David Bromberg band, you should be the rest of the band. There's another one. And then Reckless Abandon. Dale, thanks for listening. David Bromberg band. So those five signed David Bromberg albums, $60 if anybody wants them. Next was Corey Gaston. He got the Jeff Beck album. That's sold to Corey Gaston. Greg Peck wants the doors. And if you're just joining us, we're in the middle of a vintage half-off bin. Vintage half-off bin. The Birds, the Notorious Bird Brothers. This is now $15. $15. Very clean copy on the original label. The Birds is $15. This is Sly and the Family Stone, small talk. Sly and the Family Stone is $12.50 for Sly and the Family Stone. Rick Waitman, The Myths and Legends of King Arthur and Knights of the Round Table. That is $10. Rick Waitman, The Myths and Legends of King Arthur and Knights of the Round Table. $10 on Rick Waitman, Myths and Legends. We have Paul Young, No Parlay. Paul Young is $12.50. Paul Young, no parlay, twelve fifty. Alternate cover because it's a Holland press. The Chambers Brothers, shout. The Chambers Brothers is ten bucks. Shout. The Chambers Brothers, ten dollars on the Chambers Brothers. Also, Johnny Horton, the legend. Johnny Horton is five dollars. Johnny Horton's five dollars. Jamie Wills Erickson on PY. Paul Young, that's so to Jamie Wills Erickson. Gordon Lightfoot, Dream Street Rose. Lightfoot is ten bucks. We also have Neil. Young, American Stars and Bars, VG Plus Condition, $12.50. Looks like a very clean VG Plus to me. Eddie Bruce wants the Birds and the Hughes Corporation. Sell that to Eddie Bruce and the Hughes Corporation. Eddie Bruce and Eddie Bruce on those. Jared McLaughlin on JH, JH, and JH. JH was Johnny Horton, and then Burt Jordan was second. Then Jonathan Feller, Paul Ogley first on Neil Young, and then Debbie, then Debbie Blair. We have Traffic, Shoot Out the Fantasy Factory. Traffic, no condition notes, been cleaned in a new anti-static sleeve, $10. The Soul of Mabara, that is an EX condition, that's now $9. It has a promo sticker, not for sale, not a promo label, that is $9. Jim B wants the Jacksons, the Jacksons was $15. That's sold to Jim B, that's sold to Jim B. Christopher Allen first on traffic, George Scherer was second on traffic, we have Natural Stereo, Johnny and Joe, Kingdom of Love. That's $5. That's Johnny and Joe, Kingdom of Love. Crowfoot, Find the Sun. Crowfoot is $12.50. Crowfoot, Find the Sun. $12.50 on Crowfoot. Joy, Apollo 100, featuring Tom Parker. Joy, Apollo 100, featuring Tom Parker, is $5. And Blood, Sweat, and Tears, that's their debut album. Original label. There's some sticker residue there on it. $9.00. Gatefold, Columbia Two Eyes, we call them. Spooky Tooth, you broke my heart, so I busted your jaw. $12.50 on Spooky Tooth, Gatefold. That's the original label for that. $12.50, Jamie Wells Erickson on the BST. Debbie Winstead, you were second. Scott O'Man third, Terry Schneider fourth. Family Bandstand with a very cool die cut cover that looks like a television set. $12.50 on Family. Ricky Skaggs, live in London, 10 bucks on Ricky Skaggs. Also, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, brand new day with the die cut cover. With the die cut cover. That's $7.50 on that BST. Paul Ogley first on Family. That's sold to Paul Ogley. Family is sold to Paul Ogley. And we also have Man's Incredible Venture to the Moon, the story of Apollo 11. VG Plus Condition, $8.50. VG Plus Condition, $8.50. Narrated moon landing record. Flash in the pan, lights in the night. Flash in the pan is $5. Lights in the night, $5 on flash in the pan. And Graham Central Station. That is called Mirror Mirror. Graham Central Station. Also, I uh, almost said a die cut cover, but a kind of a novelty cover with the mirror there on the front. That's $10. 
We also have Planet Waves, Bob Dylan. Planet Waves is Fiji Plus, $12.50. Are we live? Yes, we are. Craig Weatherford wants Apollo. That's so to Craig Weatherford. We also have Bellamy Brothers. You can get crazy. Bellamy Brothers is $5. You can get crazy. The Bellamy Brothers. Ricky Lee Jones, $6.50. And Quicksilver coming through. Quicksilver is in VG Plus condition, $7.50. Debbie Winston wants G. CS, Graham Central Station. That's so to Debbie Winston. So I'm going to read what's left in there. Daniel Farrow wants BB. Daniel Farrow on Bellamy Brothers and Susie Breelove on Quicksilver. And Christopher Russia was second on Quicksilver. But Terry Schneider first on Ricky Lee Jones. And Mountain Life Glass wants RS. Um, was that Skaggs, perhaps? Let me know if that's correct. Larry Smith wants Hoot. Um... That was, uh, what was that? And then Jared Locken on ST, which was, I don't know. There's three, four in a row there that I need confirmations. Mountain Life Glass said yes on Ricky Skaggs. So that's on to Mountain Life Glass. Jared, what was ST? And Larry Smith, what was Hoot? I'm going to read what's left in here by title. If you need a price, let me know. Or if you were just waiting... You want to go ahead and claim it, let me know. Spooky Tooth and Hoot Nanny. I know what those are now. Spooky Tooth is right here. That's so to Jared McLaughlin, and I'll get to the Hoot Nanny. It's like right here in just a second for Larry Smith. Actually, let me see if I can go ahead and lock it down. And right there. That's so to Larry Smith. Hoot Nanny. Okay, so here's what's left in this bin. If you need a price, let me know. The Sheer Attraction of Feeny Tribe, Rachel, Yipes, uh, Jesse Johnson, High Tension, Shelly Mann, Duty, Duty, Honor, Courage, that is Duty, Honor, Country. That's a spoken word by Jug, Douglas General MacArthur. Douglas General MacArthur, if I can say everything correctly. That's a, a horoscope record. If you're a Gemini, you put that on, it'll tell you what's going to happen in your life. Quicksilver, Just for Love. Museum, It's Going to Take Forever. Well Meet Again, Jim Capaldi. Michael Pender, Scott O'Man wants the Gemini record. That's so to Scott O'Man. Jimmy L. Webb, Razzie Bailey, Debbie Harry Cuckoo, Poco Head Over Heels, Rockets, Jack, Jack DeJohnette, Robert Kraft, Lee Michaels Barrel, Wes Bruce and Lane. Surprised no one got that. That's uh, Jack Bruce, Leslie West from Mountain, Jack Bruce from Co Cream, Corey Lang, England Dan John Ford Coley, Dowdy Ferry Road, Jared McLaughlin wants Razzie Bailey. That's so to Jared McLaughlin. So to Jared McLaughlin, Rocky Brunette, uh, Senior and Coss, Sly and the Family Stone, Rick Waitman, Craig Weatherford wants Poco price, $5 on Poco. $5 on Poco, that is the discount price, $5 on that. The Chambers Brothers, surprisingly, still available. Gordon Lightfoot, still available. Price on EDJFC. EDJFC, Craig Weatherford wants Poco. Rick Waitman, surprisingly, still in there. Those usually get grabbed. ED, that was England and John Ford Coley. Tony Freeman, $5. $5 on that. Johnny and Joe. Craig Weatherford on CB. CB was Chambers Brothers. That was $10 after the discount. That sold A-Rod. Gordon Lightfoot is also $10 after the discount. Yep, Dream Street Rose. It has a very, it has the original, yeah, it has the original inner sleeve of lyrics. And the vinyl was nice. $10 on that. Tony Freeman said sold on that. Uh, soul of Mabira. Mabira. David Hoy, EX Condition, $9. EX Condition, $9 on that one. We have Joy, Apollo 100. Daniel Farrow sold on Gordon Lightfoot for $10. Bucks. Uh, sold to Daniel Farrow. We also have Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Flash in the Pan, and Bob Dylan. Some of the stuff I thought should have got grabbed has definitely been grabbed. Any new hip-hop? Nope. Well, well, we did have some beast, new Beastie Boys come in uh, the other night. Check Your Head. Uh, Ill Communication, License the Ill. Just, um, oh, sorry, I'm stretching my neck right now. Whew. Uh, but that's all I could think of. David Hoy said, Take It, uh, take it was for the uh, Soul of Mibira. And then next was Jared McLaughlin on GMC. 
GMC was Jim Capaldi. Is that right? The well made again. Is that right, Jared McLaughlin? Scott O'Man, the uh, price on Blood, Sweat, and Tears is $7.50. Price on Rocky Burnett is $5. Paul's Boutique is the only one not in print right now, or in stock, I should say. Only one not in print, in stock, same thing. Not really. In print means it's you can they're still going to make it. They're just it's they're waiting to make more. Out of print means they're not going to make it again unless they do an official new reissue and packaging. Uh, Scott O'Man says sold on that. That was for blood, sweat, and tears. Larry Vault said sold on Rocky Burnett for five dollars. All right, that was a half off bin. Um, wow, I feel like I need to read the, just run through that one again because we just sold another half of it. I'll start from the front this time. Bob Dylan, Flash in the Pan, Joy, Apollo 100, Crowfoot, Johnny and Joe, Rick Wakeman, Sly and the Family Stone, Senior and Coss, James Taylor, Wes Bruce and Lang, Lee Michaels, Robert Kraft, Jack Dijonet, Rockets, Debbie Harry, Jimmy L. Webb, Michael Pender, Museum, Quicksilver, Duty, Honor Country, Shelly Mann, High Tension, Jesse Johnson, Yipes, Rachel, and Finney Tribe. Info and price on Sly and the Family Stone. Slime the Family Stone is $12.50, no condition notes, just a generic wide inner sleeve, orange epic label, and that is a high price, or excuse me, a year of, of, uh, it's actually, I don't see a year written on it anywhere. Usually there'd be a year somewhere, right? That label's still like early 70s on that one. Josh, if you don't want it, it looks like Debbie wants it. Craig said Debbie Price, and then how much for Lee Michaels? Debbie Price and price on Lee Michaels. Lee Michaels barrel, Terry Schneider, is $5. $5. It's in VG condition. Debbie Harry. Debbie Harry Cuckoo. No condition notes. A little bit of edge wear right there on the side, and it does have a clip corner. It does have the original inner sleeve. Blondie is $12.50. How much for Lee Michaels? I answer that. Josh does take slide in the family stone. That sold to Josh for $12.50. And anybody else? Um, I think what I'm going to do is Craig Weatherford wants Debbie Harry, uh, and then Terry Schneider wants Lee Michaels. See? Glad I went through it one more time. It's kind of like flipping through any bin. I flip through a bin, and you see something for the first time again, and then you see something for the first time again, and you go through the same bin, and you're like, wait, I didn't see that the first time. I think it happens to a lot of people... Uh, watching the sales as well. Uh, they're like, wait a minute, I didn't see that. Wait a minute, I didn't see that. Um, I did have some new new vinyl come in. James Taylor was no condition notes, $7.50. It does have a staple on the cover for some reason. There's a staple on the cover, but $7.50 on that. I'm going to keep these right here behind me. Looks like there's still some interest in a few of them. Um, let me do a couple quick recaps. Here's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm still got records to show, so don't go anywhere. But uh, I'm moving closer to getting movie posters ready. I've got to... Uh, Jamie Wills Erickson said sold on James Taylor. i got to clean up a little to uh, not only make room for more records, but make room for all these posters I'm about to bring up here. But that's sold for $7.50. And uh, let me do some house cleaning here. I want to show you some of the stuff that came in from today and some of the leftovers from the non-payments that come in. We had some uh, non-payments, and there was some great stuff in there that didn't get paid for. Then, I, like I said, I've got to mute my mic probably for like three, five minutes and go to the back and possibly um, dig out some of these posters. I really don't know the location of them. In the meantime, I'm shifting some stuff around over here. Let me do that, and um, let's see here. There was the relapse stuff. There's that. I want to show you this very, very quickly. This is the half of a crate. The newest stuff that came in for tonight, and that was from here back, just from here back. So here's like the only box of new vinyl that came in for tonight. Fleetwood Mac Tango in the Night, new and sealed, $33.99. Jeff Buckley Grace, $33.99.
The Massey Hall concert from Neil Young, $46.99. Limp Biscuit is $39.99, significant other. Widespread Panic, last copy, Ain't Life Ground, $36.99. Pretty cool release here from Neil Young. It's called Doom, which is the Zuma Sessions. 16 songs, seven never released, and includes a print of the cover art, $39.99. Neil Young, Doom. Cypress Hill, Black Sunday, $39.99. There's some hip-hop or rap. Live Throwing Copper is $39.99. Still got those. Debbie Winston on Fleetwood Mac. That's so to Debbie Winston. Neil Young was the one I was recommending earlier. That's so to Debbie Blair. Neil Young, so to Debbie Blair. Neil Young, Russ Never Sleeps, $33.99. And then Daft Punk, Random Access Memories. Daft Punk is $46.99. So that's new stuff. Uh, Sandy Mile, if you want on a waiting list for Neil Young, let me know. And then there was another Neil Young in here, Russ Never Sleeps. And then this was some stuff from earlier this week, Saxon, $38.99. One copy again of Jake E. Lee, Running with the Devil, Sadus, The Piano Guys, Babes in Toyland, Casino Royale, Days of the New, and Soul Asylum. Soul Asylum. So that's all new stuff there that came in from the night. We had some great putbacks, uh, non-payments, I should say. Uh, Debbie says, let me see the Neil Young. This Neil Young is called uh, Rust Never Sleeps. New and Sealed, that's a 1LP. That has the Hey, Hey, My, My, Into the Black. Great stuff there. $33.99. So there's those. And then there was some great, like, new vinyl that I can't get anymore in some of the putback bins, which um, I don't know where that first one has gone to. This is uh, one of the first ones here. And what was this being here? That's autographs. Let me set that up here. Okay, that was new vintage stuff from the night. Got it. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, Cypress Hill. It's, uh, we have Piano Ghost Price. Piano Guys was $38.99, Craig. Uh, I got that one right. I got the right one. This, yeah, this is Massey Hall. That's the one you got, Debbie. My, my, hey, hey. Hey, hey, my, my. <laughs> Cypress Hill is $39.99. Cypress Hill is $39.99. What did I just do with that crate? I'm pretty sure he says, hey, hey, my, my. I'm going to throw a challenge flag on that. It's my, my. We have uh, Cypress Hill. Let me just leave this crate up here. Cypress Hill was $39.99. And then Carrie Gibb, Throwing Copper. Carrie Gibb wants a copy of Throwing Copper. And Brian Arrigo wants a Cypress Hill. That's so to Brian Arrigo. Cypress Hill. And we have Tom Sullivan. Tom Sullivan says take, and that was on uh, piano, or Tom Sullivan says piano guys. Tom Sullivan, piano guys, limited edition 1000 blue vinyl, 38.99. It's both, two different versions of the same song. So it's kind of like rocking the free world. It's acoustic, and, uh, oh, that's Jake E. Lee. Let's check it here. It says Neil Young and Crazy Horse, Net Rust Never Sleeps. My, my, hey, hey, out of the blue. And Hey, Hey, My, My, that's the one I'm talking about, Into the Black, Hey, Hey, My, My, and Johnny Rotten, that's the one I'm talking about, the electric version, $33.99. I think I win. Actually, we both lose. There's two, different there's two different versions on there. The one I know is the electric, Hey, Hey, My, My. I'm trying to find that other crate of putbacks uh, that have really good new vinyl in it, so... Let's see here. Shane wins. Yeah, actually, Shane wins. He beats all of us. He realized there's two different versions of it on the album. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and put this stuff in here. We have uh, Bell, Bottom, uh, Bell Bottom Country, Laney Wilson, $39.99. Eminem, the Slim Shady LP, $39.99. There's a Warrant, Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinking Rich. And we have Boston 1983, $44.99. And Queens of the Stone Age, Songs from the Death, is $46.99. Queens of the Stone Age, Songs from the Death. That was a some of the non-payment stuff left over there. There was the vintage stuff, and I think that was it. I must have already condensed it to something else. I thought there was one more bin of 
really good vintage pre-owned stuff. But I think that was, I think that was yeah, that was the half off bin. Chris Kirkley wants the bell, bell bottom. That's so to Chris Kirkley. That was bell bottom country. Laney Wilson and Sandy. I did not want Russ. No, Russ never sleeps. Is still available. Thirty three ninety nine. Thirty three ninety nine. Side one, my, my, hey, hey, out of the blue. First track. Side two, last track is hey, hey, my, my, into the black. That's the one I know. Tom Sullivan wants Queens of the Stone Age. That's so to Tom Sullivan. On the Freedom album, he does, uh, on the Freedom album, the first track he does is uh, Rockin' in the Free World, which is like an acoustic. And then uh, the second one he does is... Uh, Rockin' to the Free World Electric. That must be what he does on that one. Is the first one, Shane, do you know, or does anybody else know, is that first one acoustic? I don't know if I've ever listened to that from side one like that. Okay. And then Warren is $39.99. Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinkin' Rich. Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinkin' Rich is $39.99. I have Cherry Pie. I have Warrant, Dirty, Rotten, Filthy, Stinkin' Rich. And I have the um, third album, which is Dog Eat Dog. I have all those in stock, new and sealed music on vinyl, $39.99. Okay, that bin's empty, that bin's empty, and that's about it. The other bin of uh, new vinyl, uh, I'm going to try to compile that, and that's probably what we'll start the crate with tomorrow. Mike Torres wants Warrant. That's Dirty Rock Field, he's stinking rich. If anybody else wants one, let me know. Warren is sold for $39.99. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have to mute my mic for a f literally, it could be 60 seconds, but it could be a few minutes, so the feed is going to be just like a dead screen here. Uh, I'm going to go get some movie posters, so that's pretty much where we're going to stop tonight for records. We've sold a lot. We had a lot of new vintage stuff. We've sold a lot. Fantastic. Thanks for tuning in. If you're here for movie posters, I literally got to go find the ones from last night which there wasn't much in there. If I can find those, we'll just finish up that tub. If I have trouble finding that tub, I know for sure where the other new tub is, but I didn't want to get to a new tub till we finished those other packets. But there wasn't much, and I don't want to just go get those and it not be much in there, but uh, we'll see. Uh, hopefully there's more in there than we think. If I can find that tub, I'll be right back with it, and we'll do that. But literally, it may take me, this screen may be dead here for like, two or three minutes, okay? So if you're here for posters, just hang out. Keep the volume up so you hear me when I come back. And uh, what about action figures? You're talking about some of the stuff that was in the discount bin booth. That stuff is not mine, but Henry, if you saw something in the post you're interested in, let me know and I will try to find it. But that booth, the toys and comics, that section, that little area of the store. That's my cousin's. We sell stuff for him on commission. He's the last person left in here we sell for on consignment in the whole store. And uh, those are his toys. If you saw something in that post, those are his. Those are on consignment. I really don't sell them here on Facebook because uh, we, uh, we don't really touch any of his stuff. So if you're here for posters or other uh, stuff, you never know what could be in these tubs. There could be magazines, lobby cards. That's what I'm going to do. So I've got to mute my mic. Like I said, it could be a few minutes before I'll be back. It could be 60. I could stop talking. It'd be a lot faster. I'll be right back.
Well, I found a lot easier than I thought. Still had to move quite a bit of stuff, but I found it. Okay, now let's try to clear up some of this stuff. I had one, two, three, four, five autographed David Bromberg albums for $60. Uh, they're all personalized, but they're all signed by David Bromberg. I guess no one wanted those. I'm putting those back in the autograph tub. Then I had one non-personalized by itself. I had one non-personalized by itself. It was $25. I'm still waiting for somebody to make an offer on Chris Hillman for $25. So there's Chris Hillman. And Pink Floyd, putting Pink Floyd away. I'll make that front and center. And we still got sleeves here. Now this tub, I can't, I'm going to have to sort through it because Tanner put the stuff we'd already gone through back in it. However, it won't be too difficult to find the stuff we hadn't gone through because the stuff we hadn't gone through should be in uh, envelopes I hadn't opened. So here's some stuff left over. There's some of those Richard Pryor posters from the other night that was left over. And I think all these packets is what we hadn't gone through. So I'm going to start right here. No picking, no choosing. I'll get to about right here, I think, where I left off, and we'll just see what's in here. I don't think I've gone through that. I think right there is about where we stopped. I think I see more Charleston Heston. So I'm going to start right there and just work our way down. That will officially wrap up the first tub. It took us three nights, it seems. Yep, it took us three nights. And then uh, possibly tomorrow we'll get started on a fresh one. So let's get it started. It's pretty much midnight, and I hope... Uh, do we have a roll call for our poster buyers? I see Brent. I see Curtis. Uh, let's see here. Who else is on here? Uh, let's see. Sean, Craig, uh, Michael Ruckman, uh, the Paredes is, the Paredes family. All right. Let's see what this first poster batch is. So the question is, is do I have my laptop plugged up? Michael Ruckman? <laughs> Any more scorpions? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what I got over here. Let me plug up my laptop. All right. Paul Brothers. Paul. Roll call. All right. Let's see what this first one is. A Dream of Kings. A Dream of Kings. We're in the Anthony Quinn packet. A Dream of Kings, Anthony Quinn. Let me go ahead and get signed in over here. Show my first poster and get signed in. That's what I do. Let me leave that open and that open. Let me close out all this. There's where I was still looking up Discogs records the other night. Let me go to that. Let me go over here to Terra Peak. All right. I'm excited not only what's in this tub, I'm excited what's in the tubs to come. For sure. I mean, there's so many back there in our back room where these dollar sales really help us thin stuff out. So Brent's already passed, but if anybody wants that 15 bucks on Anthony Quinn, A Dream of Kings. Let me get this situated a little better. There we go. All right, so this is the Anthony Quinn packet. Here's some lobby cards. A high wind in Jamaica. Those are pretty cool. 1965. A high wind in Jamaica. A high wind in Jamaica. A high wind in Jamaica. Those are original lobby cards. We've had this before. Secret of Santa Victoria. We've had that before. Has nothing to do with Christmas, I found out. A, a Secret of Santa Victoria. Tanner asked me the other night, he was like, oh, when are we uh, going to get to all these roll posters? I was like, well, we got to get through all the, I think there's two or three other boot, we blocked in the other boot boxes full of the other alphabet stuff. I think I blocked off like um, Michael Kane. those are look pretty cool. Michael Kane, Anthony Quinn, and James Mason in the Destructors. Those are pretty cool looking lobby cards. The Destructors. There's another one, the Destructors. 
Here's some more, the Destructors. And there's another high wind in Jamaica. And there's the other high winds. We may have almost all the high wind in Jamaica if there's eight in that set. There's several of the Destructors. Here's the next poster, The Happening. The Happening. Let's see what that looks like. The Happening. Here, the Supremes sing the swing and hit song from the swing and hit picture. Wow, there's a Supremes mention at the top. The Happening. Anthony Quinn, Michael Parks. Brent, $15. Fifteen dollars. Appears to be in nice condition. Maybe Brent will break the ice with that one. Here is a happening three sheet and another happening one sheet. Brent breaks the ice. Fifteen dollars. The happening. There's another one. If anybody else wants it for fifteen, there's another happening one sheet. Fifteen bucks. There's another happening one sheet, 15 bucks. Here is Flap, F-L-A-P, Flap. A warning to the mayor, Flap is here. The Indians have arrived, claimed Alcatraz, City Hall, maybe next. Here's one of those shoes of the fishermen that's glossy. Hear all that crackling? They've all been kind of lightly stuck together. We had, the other night, we had some in the S or F box. This one's coming together pretty nice, though, or coming apart pretty nice. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Shoes of the fishermen. That one's separated pretty nice. I wouldn't leave it anywhere where there's moisture, though. That's a very, very glossy pup. You can feel the gloss on it. Shoes of the Fisherman. Had a lot of those soundtracks. Been looking to looking for frames for these posts. Most of really expensive. You want to know a cheaper route. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, like I said before, when I have one sheets framed, the one sheets I have framed from a local frame uh, shop in Carthage. Now keep in mind, she's a professional, been in business since the 70s. She does really good work, but a one, a one sheet is $374 to have it framed. $374 is what I've paid a bunch of times. I've had a lot of James Bond posters. I have thousands of dollars tied up in frames. Now, I think there's maybe some cheaper ones, like pre-established ones, but... Um, that's, that's tough. Uh, they, and they never look as good. <laughs> I've tried doing some stuff myself, uh, like budget stuff, cheap posters, uh, that's not worth paying a $350 frame for. Ride Vaquero, Ride Vaquero, a couple cool Western. Ride Vaquero. The last, uh, I had a Star Wars poster framed, which was a uh, one sheet. I still have it. And uh, here in the store for sale, Star Wars poster. And it's, the frame on that costs $374. Brent said he'd give $8 for this. Brent, I'll say that for $8. I was trying to put it back in the sleeve, but... It was already too tight around it, so I'll just leave it out. That's sold to Brent for $8. Next poster is The Happening. We've already shown that. And then there's another Shoes of the Fisherman one sheet. We've already shown that. There's another Shoes of the Fisherman. This may be not glossy. Yeah, it is. Shoes of Fisherman, Shoes of Fisherman. What do we have here? Across 110th Street. Across 110th Street.
across 110th Street, cheapest I've seen, very cheap quality. Yeah, I guess it just depends on which ones you're having framed. I mean, bond posters that I've paid nearly a grand for, I don't want to put into a, you know, $100 frame. I, I have it done like museum glass, anti-UV ray glass, all the works, but uh, I guess it depends on the quality of the poster. My theory is cheap poster, cheap frame. Expensive poster, expensive frame. A Dream of Kings. Anthony Quinn pack has been pretty disappointing. Oh, we've already shown that one. Dream of Kings, yeah. That was the very first one. Dream of Kings. Another Dream of Kings. Another Dream of Kings. Uh, 110th Street. Uh, I've sold those before. $25. Across 110th Street. $110 on that. Dev Smith and Johnny Ears. A walk in spring rain. A walking spring rain. Yeah, Scarface you might want to take to a frame shop. <laughs> let them flatten it. Let them get all the creases out. Like Kim can take these, Kim that I use in Carthage, she can take these folded posters and she flattens them and just, you know, she does a really good job. Um, and then she presses them. Um, Secret of Santa Victoria. Secret of Santa Victoria. Come on, Anthony Quinn. Throw us a bone here, Anthony. Secret of Santa Victoria. She's the fisherman. That's Anthony Quinn. What a letdown, Anthony Quinn. Uh, I don't know. Um, I've never done that. It's just the way, what she does is like, she'll kind of have it laid out and she'll put like almost it under the glass. You know, she has the glass cut somewhere in Nashville, maybe here in Lebanon. You know, the, there's a glass shop right across the street from us. Uh, we've had glass cut there before when we break stuff here. Um, She don't really charge for that. It's kind of in the in the process of like framing it. She like leaves it out overnight and then she'll come in and build the frame around it. You know, she actually has the frames cut and then she'll uh I've never watched her do it, but she's explained it to me before. So that's Kim's framing art. Kim's framing art. If you tell her Chad sent you, she will be ecstatic. Kim's framing art. Uh, across 110th Street. That is sold to John Moreno for $20. Next packet. Next packet. Let's see who we got. I won't tell you till we start showing them. Some of them she uses plexiglass. That is a, a big uh, deal. Some of these she uses plexiglass, um, which makes them much lighter and it's usually a much, much cheaper. Bob Hope, Bob Hope packet. We have Bob Hope who calls Madeline Carroll my favorite blonde. So my favorite blonde lobby cards. These are early here, 1942. Bob Hope, there's three of them, 1942. Uh, the Lemon Drop Kid. Here come the girls. Here come the girls. Here come the girls. Here come the girls. Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, The Road to Hong Kong. Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, The Road to Hong Kong. There's another Bob Hope, Bing Crosby. Road to Bali. Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, Road to Bali. Road to Bali. Bob Hope and Paulette guarded. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. There are some uh, lobby cards there. Let's see. B Brant's interested in Road, which was the Road to Bali. This one right here, 1952. There's two of them, Brant. Uh, $20 for both of them. $10 a piece. 
And then Jennifer, if you're interested in these ones with Bean Crosby, those are also $10 a piece. That's the road. Oh, actually, no, there's two different roads. My bad. There's road to Bali and there's uh, road to Hong Kong. So same thing, 10 and 10. And then these are 10 and 10. So Brent just let me know. He said he'd give 35 for all of them. He has dibs sold for $35. Now, Sandy Miles said BCBH. Uh, Bean Crosby, Bob Hope, possibly. All those with Bean Crosby on it are gone. We just have Bob Hope lobby cards. Okay, so those are all sold. Brent got all of them. And then John Danko, we've already sold the 110th Street for $20. Somebody already bought that for $20. This is Cancel My Reservation. It's Bob Wanted Dead or Alive. It's Bob Wanted Dead or Alive Hope. Cancel My Reservation. Now, um, I saw where uh, Heritage, when they photograph these, they actually have a car wash, an industrial car wash vacuum, clean, uh, vacuum cleaner on the top of their building, and they have a vent, and it basically is sucking the poster up against the wall. So they actually put the poster up against the wall and it sucks it up against the wall and then they just kind of roll it out and that's how they take such good pictures of these. We kind of do the same thing in the back except with the car wash vacuum cleaner, industrial vacuum cleaner. I've, I've considered, I looked into it. I don't want to invest that much money, but uh, if we keep on taking as this many pictures of posters, but they literally can just walk up there and it sucks it up against the wall and then they just flatten it out. And it's a car wash vacuum cleaner they're using to draw that air through there. So that's a that's an interesting tool because it's very hard to flatten these and, and take pictures of them without the creases. And we Tanner just takes his hands and kind of just like smooths them out and tries to get the lighting right because also it's hard to get the glare off a lot of them too. Posters always look better in person. It, it posters always look better in person. How to commit marriage. Especially these. When you see them in person, they're they're much, much more interesting looking. How to commit marriage. This is the Bob Hope packet, by the way. Pictures never it's really hard to photograph a poster. That's why anytime I'm looking at one online, they never good they never look good until you buy, bring it home. Or, or that gets arrived to your house. The Private Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. This one was folded weird. This one was folded. This part was tucked in. I think it was like that, yeah. All right. More Bob Hope lobby cards. This is Sorrowful Jones, Lucille Ball, and Bob Hope. Sorrowful, Sorrowful Jones. Lucille Ball and Bob Hope, original lobby cards, 1949. 1949. There's another one. Sorrowful Jones. Stacy says she's interested. Uh, Stacy, those are ten dollars each. You can buy whichever one you want. Uh, there's one with horse, one praying by bedside, and then one with men with hats. There. Did the forty-two lobby cards have punch holes in the upper left corner? Uh, the 42, the 42, was that something you already bought, Brent? Uh, she says she wants the first one. 
Um, well, I may have got those out of order. Um, let's see. Did I change the order? Uh, let's see here. We'll leave them in this order. First, second, or third. That's the new order. <laughs> First, second, third there, uh, Stacy, And then uh, Debbie Winston, second. So Debbie, we'll see what she got. And then uh, the one, no, the ones I got. Uh, let's see here. No, I don't see any holes on the ones you got. This one, Road to Bali. Um, there's tape on the back. There's tape on the back. Uh, this one, nothing. This one has tape on the back. And that one has tape. Just where they were mounted together originally. You know, where they make a panel. They would tape over the backs of them together. Uh, let's see. That's, that's the only thing I have sold tonight was those four. Uh, you've only bought those four cards. Um, there's the 110. Uh, there's the rod. Unless there's something underneath this. Hold on a second. There's the happening poster. Which, that's what you bought. Then there was the Rod Vaquero. That's the only thing I have in the sew box or sew pile. There's the 110th Street, and then there's those four lobby cars. That's the only things we've sold tonight. That's the only ones we've sold tonight. Sorry about the ones that left stack. Uh, these? None of these have, this, none of this stuff is sold here. None of these are sold, though. These are still available. No one's officially bought these. These here, the 1942 one. Yeah, these are uh, my favorite blonde. This is from 1942, but these haven't been claimed. They do have some, yeah, I mean, they're, they still got some tape. That has tape on the back and punch holes. That one doesn't have anything, the second one. And then this one, uh, no tape or punch holes on that one. Those are still available. Uh, not the ones I got. Oh, I, I misread his question. Or I misread his question or his statement. Not the ones I got. Okay. My bad. So, uh, Debbie or Stacy, I like this one. But it does have some damage. There's some color bleed at the bottom. Um, I like that one, though. Stacy, if you don't want that one, let me know. But. I like that one. That one or this one. And then uh, Debbie Winstead, if you want one of these other two, then let me know. But that one there, we'll give that one to uh, Stacy, unless she doesn't want it. And then Debbie Winstead, those are available for $20 if you want it. Okay, and then uh, Brent said he'd give $20 for these three. Sell those to Brent for $20. Sorry. I got confused there. That's I can easily do that. Okay, moving on. Call me Bawana. Call me Bawana. Call me Bawana. Call me Bawana. Bob Hope and Anita Ekberg. Call me Bawana. Call me Bawana. Another one. There's more of them. We may have a whole set here. I can try to count them out. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. There's five, six, seven. I think we got a whole set of them. Looks like we have a whole set. We do. Call me Bawana. There's one, two, three. And then there was four. And then five, six, seven, eight. Just FYI. I don't think anybody's interested, but if you do want them, there is a set there. I want the Lucy and Ben. Lucy and Ben. 
Uh, well, uh, I don't think that, I think that's the one Stacy got, right? And there's some duplicates. Yes, and there's some duplicates. My favorite spy, Bob Hope and Hedy Lamar. The Iron Petticoat. The Iron Petticoat. And the Iron Petticoat. Two more lobby cards. This is my favorite blonde. Brent, here's some more. My favorite blonde. There's another one. I don't think you got that one earlier. You didn't. That sold to Brent for $8. Where's the life? Where's the life? Um, the Lemon Drop Kid. Alias Jesse James. Do you have Wolf Mother? I do not have Wolf Mother in stock. No, I do not. Alias Jesse James. Alias Jesse James. Alias Jesse James. And alias Jesse James. Brent says Hedy Lamar, $8. All right, let me get those resorted. Alias Jesse James. Jesse James. James. $19.59 on those. He's talking about this one right here. Duncan, Duncan Poster Service, 2009 and a half street, Dallas, Texas. That's where a lot of these were distributed from in the 50s. Just FYI. What time do you open up? We open at 10 o'clock in the morning. There will be people lined up at the door. And I'm not joking. There will be people lined up at the door. We're having a $1 sale tomorrow here in the store. There are thousands of other LPs to flip it through, not including those. And we close at 4.30. Technically, we close at 4. We're kind of extended. We're kind of extended for the sale. But if you're 30 seconds, I am at 30 records. Looking to build up. What time do you open? Oh, I thought you said you were 30 seconds away. 30 records. You need a lot more then. You need about 30,000. So you got a long ways to go. Two for the road. Two for the road. Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn folder. This is the Audrey Hepburn folder. This one has some damage. It has a rip right there. Two for the road is damaged. Next. Unless somebody really wants it, it's damaged. Here's a better one. Brent and then Debbie. Here's a better one. Looks like it's much better. It is much better. Two for the road. Albert Feeney and Audrey Hepburn. If you're going to be collecting records, you have entered the most addictive, expensive hobby next to golf and art. Welcome. Next to coins, golf, art. <laughs> No, it's not that expensive a hobby. <laughs> but you can top some cash in it quick. Very quick. I'd say the... Collecting art has got to be probably a very expensive hobby. I have not looked up many posters. I hadn't even set up all my filters yet, so let me do that first. I'm over here looking this one up. This is a pretty good poster. All right. So, 
uh, Brent, $30. Debbie, next. There may be another one. And Debbie Blair and then Debbie Winston, $30 as well. There may be more than one in these kind of packets. But Brent, $30 on that. And then Debbie Blair's next. He said sold, $30. Debbie Blair's next. Debbie, ah, great. I have more. So Debbie Blair and Debbie Winston, I basically have, well, we'll have to look at them. We'll have to look at them here. Let's see what I have here. This one has some tears and rips at the bottom. This one has some tears and rips at the bottom, but it's not bad. So Debbie Winston, let me know. That one has a rip. I can see it right off the bat. Boy, that one's like completely ripped in half. That first one was nice. This one could be nice. So Debbie Winston, here's another nice one. There's another nice one. On that one, 25. So, uh, was that a sold? And then, wait a minute, would you take 25? <laughs> is that is that what just what happened there? There's that one. There's the one, Brent. Let me hold on a second on that one. Make sure I'm clarifying what I'm doing there, Brent. But there's two nice ones. And let's see what else we have here. We have, it has a hole in it. And it's called, they call me Mr. Tibbs, but it has a hole in it. So we'll skip that for now. On the desktop version, that's okay. Sell Brent, this one for $25. So Debbie Blair or Debbie Winstead, let me know. Debbie Winstead says she'll take one. So $25. Debbie uh, Winstead and Brent Ribley on two for the road. Here's another one, two for the road. I don't know if it's as nice as those, but there's another one. There's another two for the road. There's another two for the road. Here is, this has got to be part of a three sheet. We'll figure out what that goes to in a second. And we have another two for the road, another two for the road, and another two for the road. Wow. We have another two for the road. We have another two for the road. We have a two for the road three sheet. We have another two for the road. We have another two for the road. And we have another two for the road three sheet. That was the entire Audrey Hepburn packet. That's it. Let's try to find some of the nice ones. Let's say, George, let me see if I can find another real nice one. That one, poss that one possibly could be. This one looks nice, George. This one looks nice. That one's crisp like the other two I sold. That's some cool sunglasses she's wearing. Those are back in style, aren't they? I think I've seen girls wearing sunglasses like that. And this is from 19, what, 68, 67? Mr. Tibbs. Uh, the damaged Mr. Tibbs for $10 if you want it. There's an, I'm going to leave that one out because it's like crisp. Kurt Cobain sunglasses, yeah. Mr. Tibbs has disappeared. Oh, no, I got another stack over here. Oh, here's more of them. Surely those aren't the same ones. Or sur surely these aren't new ones. Of course, at the very bottom. 
yeah, $10. Okay, moving on. Audrey was a letdown somewhat. No breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, this is just a stray poster in here. No envelope. It's just loose in the tub. Line in winter. Line in winter. George Somers has dibs on the tibs. If he wants the tibs, it's $10. If not, John Moreno wants it. Line in winter. It was, it's kind of folded, or it's got a weird crease on the edge where it was creased in the tub. It's got kind of an odd crease down the side. The line in winter. And this is obviously a re this is a much older film, isn't it? 1975. Didn't this come out before that? I think this is a reissue, right? Line in winter, that's an older film. Because it mentions Academy Awards. This is the leftovers of the first tub, or not the leftovers. This is the what we hadn't got to in the first tub. So I had a feeling there may be some gems, but I think a lot of the super duper packets we've already gone through, like Al Pacino and the uh, uh, Steven Spielberg. But if, when we get through this one, that means we're ready for a fresh one. However, Brent said, or George Somers said he will take the Call Me Mr. Tibbs. Sell that to George Somers for $10. Let's see what's in this packet. I think it's all the same poster. It's an entire batch of Norma Ray, Sally Field. Norma Ray, Sally Field. Like 30 of them. Does anybody want to see one? And then there's one extra poster. This is the Norma Ray Sally Field packet. And I think this is another Norma Ray Sally Field poster. This may give us an idea of what they look like. This one's really rough, though. The other ones look like they're much nicer. But this will give us an idea. I don't think anybody's going to want this. Well, okay, there's another packet down. That one's... It's a lot of paper. Hmm, I don't think this is posters. I think this is Bob. Nope, these are, what is this, lobby cards? Let's see. Bob Hope and Dorothy Lamore caught in the draft. And then... Buttons and bows. I'm the greatest father of them all. Some Bob Hope sheet music. Bob Hope sheet music. Yeah, let's check the other normal rays to make sure they're the same style. New to the channel, first time commenting. What is the hardest, heaviest, and darkest album you've ever came across? I'm going to have to leave that up to the viewers watching. I don't know if I can answer that. What's the darkest, heaviest album you've ever come across? Buttons and bows. Sell this to Debbie Blair for eight dollars. So Debbie Blair for eight dollars, and let's check those other normal rays out. I think they might be similar. Yeah, we go through a lot of death metal here. I mean, some of those titles are, depending on how much you like it or how much you dislike it, some of them are pretty horrific. Some of the titles and the artwork on them. I can't recall some of the titles, but about once a week, we go through at least a couple crates of death metal with some pretty gruesome titles and covers and we have stuff like, yeah, defecation, suffocation. Here's a Life magazine with Bob Hope on the cover. Exclusive pictures of the Nobel Winners Party, brilliant evening at the White House, and Bob Hope at the Murray peak of his career. The, the hardest, heaviest, darkest album by Pure, uh, by Pure Cosmetics is the Metallica Black album. <laughs> Or Spinal Tap. 
Just a completely black cover, spinal tap. Okay, what is this packet? This is Rock Hudson three sheets. Rock Hudson three sheets. The downward spiral. How did you already see that, Josh Phillips? The downward spiral. Didn't we have one of these the other night? Rock Hudson, the downward spiral. All right, we'll see what that, didn't we show that the other night? Or possibly, did I sell one? Is there a one sheet tucked in here? The downward spiral, you must have eyes. I just now realize it's stamped right there. When I flipped it over, and you already seen it. I think that's all together. I may try to look up a picture of that so we don't have to unfold it. Plus, I don't, I'm running out of space here on my table. Oh, I'm misspelling downward. Nope, I'm misspelling spiral. I'm misspelling something. I was answering the question. Oh, this says the spiral road. Okay, that was weird. This is called the spiral road. It's a six sheet. And you said downward spiral. That's odd. The name of the poster is the spiral road. And I, I thought I, my dyslexia or whatever you call it where I add words that's not even there. This is a spiral road six sheet. Spiral Road Six Sheet. Rock Hudson, Burl Lives, The Spiral Road. There's a half sheet. There's a one sheet. Wow, a six sheet. That's a big poster. I was going to see if I could find a picture of it. I don't really see one, though. Okay, we'll move on. I don't think anybody's interested to begin with. Cathedral, or excuse me. It'd help if I can, I read stuff that's not even written on it. Like I say stuff, almost said Cathedral of Eagles. This is the Gathering of Eagles. The Gathering of Eagles. Okay, that's a three sheet. And then, Tobruk. A one sheet of Tobruk. Now that looks cool. Tobrook. Tobrook. Now that might be so far the best graphics of the night. Tobrook, a 1967 Universal one sheet. And it's only $25. Nice condition too. What they did that day will be remembered for all time. George Papard. Debbie Blair and Jetstream, one and two dibs, $25. Debbie said sold. Jetstream, here's another one, Jetstream. It has one hole right here. I'll see if how the, there's another one coming up though. Let me see what it looks like. Here's the other one. And I think it's nice. Jet string. Yeah, no holes or rips in this one. Never mind. Somebody used it to spray paint something. Well, there's one with a about a dime size hole in it. Uh, yeah, you hadn't missed much, George. You hadn't missed a whole lot. There's one Tobrook left if anybody wants it. Let me straighten my piles here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to set some of this stuff in a different place. All the leftovers from the previous nights are getting out of hand. I got a lot of resorting to do. All the leftovers from this tub, not bad. For I think, no, there's some still left in here, so that's, that's actually not everything, but that's some of it. 
Okay, much better. Clean slate almost. Let's go on to a new packet. I'm not picking or choosing. We're just knocking the rest of this tub out. And this next packet is more Bob Hope. More Bob Hope. So we're going through the, the first tub of sorted stuff. We've been one night. We did another night. Night two was probably just because night one. This is the third night on the same tub. We're finishing it up. We're about halfway through what I had left. And uh, then we'll start a fresh one and do a big, new, fresh tub tomorrow night. We have the Private of Navy Sergeant O'Farrell. Okay, then we got a packet here of some Bob Hope stuff. This is Two Sleepy People, Sheet Music. We have a Look Magazine from 1958 with Bob Hope on the cover. We have a Life Magazine from 1944 with Bob Hope on the cover. We have a Life Magazine from 1946 with Bob Hope and Bing Crosby on the cover. That's pretty cool. Hope and Crosby on the cover. We have the Saturday Evening Post, 1978 with a Bob Hope Christmas cover. We have the World of Bob Hope magazine looking book. And then there's a, that's the back of it. Nope, that's another magazine. That's a whole different magazine, some kind of Bob Hope magazine. There he is playing golf, etc. On that, those are sold, or excuse me, those are available. And there's another three sheet of the Private Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. So there's that. That's a pretty cool looking magazine. Uh, Brent, I usually get a little bit more for those life magazines like this, especially from the 40s with a good cover. I'll do $15 on that. Hope and Crosby. I usually board and bag these. We sell a lot of this stuff in the store. Probably would sticker it $19.99, but $15 if you want it. With the Hope and Crosby. Tap dancing. What does the guy say on the Christmas vacation movie? Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny Kay. <laughs> ah, this could be good. Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Brent passes. If anybody wants that, $15. Hope and Crosby. I'm sure it has great ads and stuff in it. 1946, Chesterfield on the back. Royal Crown Cola, 1946, when The Godfather was set. Look at that. Wow. Post-World War II America. I've looked at a lot of these. I bought a collection one time of hundreds of life magazines. I mean, somebody had had a scription. I bought them at an estate sale. They had them from the 40s, every issue, all the way up till the 60s. I sold to Stacy Metternich for $15. There's some really classic covers. The Half Pap Christmas since Bing Crosby Tap Dance with Danny F. and K. That's what I thought he said. I guess that's what they're doing there. They're doing one of those show tune top something. All right. We have Lenny, Dustin Hoffman packet. This could have some pretty good stuff in it. I mean, he was in Star Wars. Dustin Hoffman, Lenny. That's a Seinfeld reference if you didn't pick up on it. That's a Seinfeld reference. Dustin Hoffman in Star Wars. Uh, oh. Oh, Davy Blair was first. I didn't even see that. Also, didn't, where's the store located? We're in Lebanon, Tennessee. Davy Blair was first on this. My bad. Davy Blair, $15. Now, Stacy, I do have some other Life magazines with Bob Hope if you're interested. But that one, so Davy was first. My bad. On that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Davy Blair was first. And then, <clears throat> Lenny, let me see if there's more of them. Uh, I'll do a quick peek. I don't think there is because they're usually together. So, um, 
me unfold that one more time so I can make sure it's the right one because I think we've had different ones of these before. Let's unfold that. So George Somers and John Moreno. It's got, because it's a black poster, it's got some color breaks along the seams, but just like any poster, most of these that we've had folds do. Just FYI though. George Somers, $25. $25 to George and then John Moreno on Lenny. All right. The Legend of Jedediah. Oh, wow. That's got some cool graphics. Some say he's still out there. D. Witt Lee in The Legend of Jedediah Carver. Legend of Jedediah Carver. That's got some really cool graphics on it. Jedediah Carver, yep. Technically billed as a Western movie. $25, Brent. Yeah, I try to lay them this way so y'all can see the full scope there. Let me get it situated a little bit better. $25, Brent. And George said sold on Lenny for $25. So that's sold for $25 to George Somers. That's sold to Brent for $25. Next piece here is Who is Harry Kellerman Press Book? Who is Harry Kellerman Press Book? There's another Lenny, similar condition, same thing. Very nice, though. So, John Moreno, you were next if you want that one. Or anybody else. He said so, $25. Uh, Stacy, nineteen seventy eight Saturday Evening Post. Um, ten bucks. Ten bucks. It does have an address label on it. Helen Dickerson, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, which where Fred's from. He probably bought it at a garage sale or something. Okay, we have some lobby cards. Uh, Dustin Hoffman, Little Big Man. Little Big Man, co-starring Martin Balazam and Faye Dunaway. Little Big Man. 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 She said sold. Yo, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Bob Hope. C.S. Lewis's Screw Tape. Raquel, Sexes and Everything, and Ed Ansner. There's some going to be some interesting articles in there. That's sold to Stacy for $10. Brent, we may have a set of these. Let's, let's count them out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. $55. Complete set. This one's dirty. Dustin Hoffman packet, a little bit better than most. 
who is Harry Kellerman and why is he saying those terrible things about me? There's an, uh, a David Letterman clip where uh, there's a David Letterman clip where Dustin Hoffman and Robert De Niro come out. <laughs> and the, literally the, the audience claps for a solid three minutes. And it's just funny because they just keep sitting there and David Letterman just has this smirk on his face. And it's Robert De Niro. They just keep clapping and clapping and clapping and standing. And then that kind of settles down. Then they start cheering again. And it's a pretty incredible clip. I've watched, and it's, it's a weird interview because Robert De Niro really don't even want to talk. He's just sitting there and uh, Letterman will ask De Niro a question and Dustin Hoffman answers for him. Marathon Man. Dustin Hoffman, Marathon Man. Price on Bob Hope Look Magazine. Give me one second. But right after that, David Letterman starts reading off, or later in the interview, David Letterman starts reading off all those films that Dustin Hoffman and <laughs> Robert De Niro's in, and it's just incredible, all the films they've been in, all the amazing movies. $30 on Marathon Man. Josh Phillips, John Moreno, Mitch Sores, Brent Robley, and George Somers. $30 on Marathon Man. $30 on Marathon Man. Josh Phillips, John Moreno, Mitch Sores, Brent Robley, and George Somers. Uh, Bob Hope Look Magazine, 1958. Fifteen bucks. I Found the Russians Can Laugh Too by Bob Hope. 1958 Look Magazine. So, John Moreno, you're next on Marathon, then Mitch, then Brent, then George. Uh, what was that? That was the Harry Kissinger. Or Harry, uh, Josh Phillips said sold on Look Magazine for $15. This was at a Harry Kellerman again. Harry Kellerman again. Harry Kellerman teaser. Let's look at the teaser. Harry Kellerman teaser. Those are actually, say, teasers. George Somer says he'll take the Marathon Man for 30. The teeth pulling scene was one of the scariest. I've never seen that film. Once again, I'm still on movies I hadn't seen before. Oh, that's the same one we had earlier. Nothing different much about that one. All right, this next one's called Little Big Man. Also still in the Dustin Hoffman pack. Little Big Man. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Pretty, uh, pretty desirable poster. That's thirty dollars as well. Uh, Henry and then Brent. George Somers. I didn't say so for marathon. Uh, John Moreno. Did I say George Somers? John Moreno got the marathon man. John Moreno on marathon man. This is thirty dollars. Henry and then Brent Robley. Henry and then Brent Robley. Marathon Man is sold to John Moreno for $30. Yep. That's uh, Marathon Man, $30. Yep. And then Little Big Man's 30 In order was Henry and then Brent. Henry and then Brent on Little Big Man. Then we got some cool-looking lobby cards here. Papillion. Greatest Adventure, Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman. Henry said sold on Little Big Man for 30 Papillion. We got two of them. Steve McQueen, $10 and $10. Brent, you've got first dibs. There's only two of them. And then there's like five more Harry Kellermans. Five more Harry Kellermans. Brent said he'd give 15 for the deuce. Sell those for 15. All right, let's, go, let's get a new packet.
We're not done with the tub yet. There's still several packets in here we hadn't opened. The next one is, I'll show you the first poster first, and then I'll tell you what packet we're in. Uh, we'll do this one. Well, ah, oh, they folded it weird. Swing shift. We're on the Goldie Hawn packet. Swing shift. And somebody decided it, to fold it like this, which is improper. How did they have that folded? Like that? Nope, like this. Swing shift. Another swing shift. Any Goldie Hawn fans? What's her biggest movie? Possibly, it could possibly be in here. Goldie Hawn and the Sugarland Express. The Sugarland Express. I'm also stretching right now. Ooh. There's another one. Um, Protocol. Goldie Hawn and Protocol. Didn't we have one of those the other night? Sugarland Express, Paul Brothers. Uh, ever watched Seven with Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman? Never seen that one. Nope. Paul, I'll sell you a Sugarland Express for 20 bucks. This is the nicer of the two. $20 on that, Paul. That's Goldie. The Spiral Road. There we go. We had the three sheet earlier. The Spiral Road, Rock Huts and Burl Ives. Burl Ives was an actor too? <laughs> I know he was a singer-songwriter and, and uh, did, the vo did the voice for cartoons, but I haven't seen him build in too many movies. Or am I missing something here? The spiral road. That's what we had a three sheet of earlier. Brent, 20 bucks. $20, Brent. Nice condition, too. It does have pinholes. It does have pinholes. If there's a better one, I'll give it to you if we come across it. That one has pinholes. Uh, Paul Brothers did, want, did, did, in fact, want the Sugarland Express, so that sold to Paul for $20. We'll put Spiral Road in pending. Let's see what else is in the Rock Hudson. Um, next one that we have a stack of here is called A Fine Pair. A Fine Pair. Erotic looking. Do you consider neck neck kiss an erotic? <laughs> All right. 
That's all fine pears. Ah. Now Ed that works here, Mr. Edward Beck, has told me I need to been watch I should have watched this a long time ago. I station zebra. I station zebra. He says, if you like James Bond, you're gonna like this. I still haven't watched it though. Thirty dollars. It's got stains on the back, but they didn't bleed through. It's a nice poster. No pinholes. Brent then jet stream. Brent then jet stream. Brent said sold. There is the press book to a fine pair. There's the press book to a fine pair. Hornet's Nest. Hornet's Nest. Looks like there's a cigarette burn at the top of it. Yeah, we've had that one before. Hornet's Nest. Uh, pinholes. Pinholes and a cigarette burn. <laughs> at least that's what it looks like. And it's ripped right here, so... Pretty, not damaged, but there's got some, it's got some issues. Michael passes, no problem. Rock Hudson and Dean Martin and Showdown Lobby card. That's pretty good. That has a pretty good appearance to it. Looks like it's got a tear right there. Ten bucks. Showdown. Here is the campaign book for I Station Zebra. Here's the, cam the campaign book for I Station Zebra. Brent, they've cut one of the posters out of it where they were ordering something, it looks like. But uh, 10 bucks if you want it. Jetstream was first. Well, Debbie says Rock and Shop Vintage. I know Rock and Shop, Mr. Eddie Bruce. She was trying to comment Rock and Dean, but she accidentally commented Rock and Shop Vintage Vinyl Records and Memorabilia. <laughs> and then technically Jetstream was second. So if you want it, it's $10. Uh, it's technically, with the autocorrect rule, you were first and then Jetstream was second. There's another Hornet's Nest. Michael Ruttman, this one appears to be much nicer. This one appears to be not much nicer. Except that it has some kind of attachment to it. Not anymore. What is going on here? It looks like it has some kind of addition, some kind of a correction on it. Some kind of misprint, possibly. Screenplay, co-starring, screenplay. They, yeah, they added something. And Stanley Colbert. They left something off, possibly, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, Michael, if you want that one, 20 bucks. Whoop. Let me fold that up and put it back in there. We'll put it right there. So $20, Michael. Debbie does get the lobby card for 10 bucks. That's so to Debbie. There's another Spiral Road. It has really good graphics on it. I sold Brent one just a moment ago for 20 If anybody else wants one. Rock Huts and Burl Lives. What year is that? That's got that really cool lithograph. Not, yeah, 1962. They all have that look to them. Just really cool inking, colors. The image up here at the top for sure. That's a cool poster from 62. $20. That's a nice crisp one. There's a nice one as well. Or at least it looks like it folded. Uh, pretty maids all in a row. 
I feel like we've had this before. Oh yeah, we have had this before. Pretty maids all in a row. Looks like a pretty questionable movie if you ask me. See what I can find out. Christopher Brusha, twenty dollars. How could you say no, Christopher Brusha? Twenty dollars, Christopher. Twenty dollars. How could you say no? Spiral Road. I Station Zebra. Here's another one. I Station Zebra. Nice. That one's nice as well. Jetstream, $30. I have a feeling you won't want to pass on that one. And there's another Pretty Maids all in a row. There's another Pretty Maids all in a row. Christopher said he'd give 20. Sell it to Christopher for uh, seven, or he said he'd give 17. Sell that to Christopher Russia for 17. There's another one for 17 if anybody wants it. And let's sell iStation Zebra to Jetstream for 30. Looks like we got some lobby cards here. Most of them look like they have tape on the back of them, which is common. Boy, that's a cool looking one. Twilight for the Gods, 1958. Twilight for the Gods, 1958. Uh, James Vasquez take the other maids for 17. Paul, if another one pops up, you're next. That's some really, I like that. Twilight for the Gods, that's number one. There's number two. Twilight for the Gods, there's number three. Twilight for the Gods, there's number four. Twilight for the Gods, there's number eight. And there's number seven, so we're missing a few. That first one was the best one, though. Probably looks like the poster, possibly. It looks like that would be like the poster or something. And there's another hornet's nest. There's another hornet's nest. Okay. Next packet. Uh, who was? That was Rock Hudson. That was a pretty good one. It was okay. Wasn't mind blowing. My mic, in fact, did die. I'm back. Here come the girls. These are Bob Hope lobby cards. Here come the girls. Here come the girls. Nothing but the truth. Where there's life. The road to Hong Kong. That one has Bing Crosby on it. Son of a Pale Face. Road to Bali or Bali.
the seven little foys, road to Bali, where there's life, where there's life, off limits, the seven little foys. All right, have you come across Steve McQueen? Unfortunately not. I hope that does pop up. Brent Robley says, girls 15. Girls 15. Here come the girls. These two here for $15, Brent. Those are sold to Brent for 15. And Jennifer Schrader says, bing. So Jennifer... Um, well, that one doesn't have Bing on it. Mm, I guess that one, that one there. I'll save that one, Jennifer, for ten dollars. Right. She said so, ten dollars. Let's see what else we have in here. Road to Bali, Montessor Bucare, Montessor Bucare, and Joan Caulfield, Bob Hope. There's another one from that film, 1946. 1946, these were hung in a theater somewhere, probably in Texas, in 1946 for people to come in and look at to figure out which film they were going to take their family to see. In 1946, Harry Truman in office, I think. The Iron Petticoat, so those are all the Montessori, the Iron Petticoat, that certain feeling, that certain feeling, that certain feeling. This is Hollywood, America, Cinema, history here. That certain feeling and that certain feeling. Those are all Bob Hope lobby cards. Originals. Next. I think we may be getting into more lobby cards. Chef Bob $8. Chef Bob $8. Let's see what we got there. He must have been looking like he was cooking something. These are hard. My hands are completely dried out <laughs> trying to uh, handle all this stuff. I need that stuff they put their uh, Chef Bob. Now, was that like an image of him? Is that what you're saying? Chief. Or did you mean chief? Chef or chief? Possibly that one, the Indian chief. All right, nothing but the truth. Here's more. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. Let's face it. Let's face it. Paris holiday. Let's face it. Let's face it, nothing but the truth. The Great Lover. The Great Lover. The Great Lover. More. There's more. More great lovers. Let's face it. Casanova's Big Night. Debbie Blair wants this one for $8, and I think Christopher Brusha wants this one for $8. That's so to Christopher Brusha for $8. This one right here is so to Debbie Blair for $8. Lots of Bob Hope lobby cards. Lots of Bob Hope lobby cards. That's somebody I'm sure Fred very much admired. I've heard him talking about him. 
Must have been different. I thought it was chef. Oh, okay, so you didn't say chief. You did say chef. Okay. I will flip through them in just a second another time, but I don't think I saw chef hats. All right. Here's more Paris Holiday. Paris Holiday. Paris Holiday. Paris Holiday. Paris Holiday. Paris Holiday, Paris Holiday. All right. And I think there's one more packet of Bob Hope before we get to another packet. I'm thinking there might be something interesting, something else in here, but it's been all Bob Hope lobby cards. Louisiana Purchase, there's a different film. Louisiana Purchase, Louisiana Purchase. Uh, we saw one of those earlier. Bob Hope, Hedy Lamar, my favorite spy. Caught in the draft. I'll take Sweden, Tuesday Weld. Frankie Avalon and Bob Hope. The Iron Petticoat. Lots of World War II movies from that era. And the Iron Petticoat. Debbie wants to want with Tuesday Weld. Debbie, there is one problem. It has a rip in it. It doesn't really affect it if you look at it, but it, there is a rip in it. All right. I'll leave it on top. She passes. Okay, new packet. We're almost done. Oh my gosh. Let me not go through that one right now. Guess what it is? It's Bob Hope. <laughs> Bob Hope. And what's the last one in here? Hold on a second. Let me see what this is. There's a Sinatra. Uh, there's a Sinatra is Dirty Dingus McGee. Sinatra is Dirty Dingus McGee press book. And we hadn't been through that. And that's where that stops. Okay, yeah. $100 for Papillion and all the leftover Bob Hope lobby cards. Uh, let me think on it. Okay? Let me think on it. Let's go through a different packet other than Bob Hope because there may be even more. But let's do this one right here. This is a packet of posters we have not, been gone, we have, we have not gone through yet. And I will tell you the packet after we show... The first one. This is not Bob Hope. This first poster. This first poster is Little Faust and Big Halsey. We're in a Robert Redford packet. A Robert Redford packet. Changing it up. Little False and Big Hossley. Of course, a motorcycle movie. $25 Brent has pinholes, nothing major. Looks like that in the four corners. $25. Nice colors. No rips or tears. He said sold for $25. Debbie, I hadn't forgot about the Santa Claus card either, but technically Brent has the dibs on the whole lot, but give me a second. Well, this is an odd one. T 
Tell Them Willie Boy Is Here. ABC. It doesn't look like a movie poster. It says ABC at the top. Beretta is Willie Boy, the Rebel Indian. Robert Redford is the lawman. Their true story. Their, tr their, their story is true. I don't know if that's a movie or not. I'm assuming it is. Pretty weird it has ABC up at the top. All right, we'll put that right there. Okay. All the President's Men. Pretty sure we've had that one before. And there's writing on it, unfortunately. All the President's Men. Somebody wrote Starts Friday at the top. We've sold some of those before, but that's got some writing. Starts Friday. The Great Waldo Pepper. I think that should have some pretty good graphics. Yeah. The Great Waldo Pepper. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Stuck together right there. It's going to rip, too. Just slightly, a paper pull on it right there. A piece of tape got stuck to it. The second greatest flyer in the world, the great Waldo Pepper. $20, Debbie. And then Henry and then Brent. $20 on that. Then Debbie. Let's see. Yeah, Debbie, Henry, and then Brent. $20. 10 on the president's writing on it. All the president's men sold to Sean Jones for $10. That is so to Sean Jones. Thank you. Debbie, Henry, and Brent on that one. This property is condemned. This property is condemned. I think we had that one the other night. The other... Robert Redford packet. Great looking graphics and inking. $25 on that, Brent. Debbie said sold on Great Waldo Pepper for $20. $25 on that one, Brent. Robert, Robert Redford packet's been pretty good so far. Hmm, this sounds interesting. This property's condemned. $25 to Brent Robley, sold. I don't think we've, I've heard of this title. It's called War Hunt. 1962, War Hunt. It happened on a raging battlefield, but he could have been a murderer stalking a city streets. War Hunt. Oh no, I can't yawn. That's contagious, and y'all start yawning. $25 on this one. Uh, Brent, Michael. Brent and Michael was first. Has that one dog-eared corner down here, but we can fix that. No rips. Let's be re-flattened like that. Brent passes. Michael, that's yours for $25 if you want it. Brew Baker. First time I had one of these, it took me forever to figure it out. Michael said sold on War Hunt for $25. Brew Baker. And I think we got a bunch of them.
I don't know. If, yeah, that's probably right. Uh, James Vasquez, 20 bucks. And I think I got a nice one here. Nice than the one I just unfolded. Yeah, this one's properly folded and nice. Yep. $20, James Vasquez, on Brew Baker. And that's the end of... That's all Brew Bakers. That's the end of that packet. Now, this is a smaller one that says Bob Hope. Let's see what's in here. If it's lobby cards, I think I may just skim over them. They're in sleeves, though. He gets a Brew Baker, James Vasquez, for $20. Off Limits, Lemon Drop Kid. If it's some of the same films. Princess and the Pirate. Trying to find posters. I'm going to put those over there. Those are all lobby cards. And let's see. This is the last packet of this tub, which I've saved the best for last. Bob Hope. I was hoping it was posters, and I think it is. Okay, yeah, here's actual posters. So, let's go through this right here. This is Call Me Bawana. I think we got the posters to a lot of these lobby cards. Call Me Bawana. This one looks pretty rough condition. It is. Got a big tear over there. Big tear on that one. Let me put that right there. Uh, let's see what this one is. It's another Kami Bawana. This one's a lot, 1962, this one's better, but it does have pinholes and ripped corners. All right, and then we have the Private Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. Uh, Private Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. Another one. Another one, 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 another one. Lots of private navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. A whole nother packet of the private navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. One of them, two of them, three, four, five, six more of them. And how to commit marriage. There's a whole packet of those. Maybe this one would be better. There is. Bo James, possibly. This looks like an older poster from the colors. Now, that looks pretty cool. Bo James, the story of fabulous Jimmy Walker, mayor of New York. Bo James. That's a pretty cool looking poster there. 1957. The story of fabulous Jimmy Walker, May of New York. Uh, Michael, if your boy comment was for Bo, then you've got Dibs, uh, $25. It has one hole right here. It has one hole on the, on the crease. Other than that, it's a really nice poster. No pinholes, just a one fold, a one fold hole, one hold, one whole fold. <laughs> Fred had it marked fifty dollars at one point. Now, did I just say twenty-five or twenty? I hope I said twenty-five, but somebody remind me, especially Michael. He says he wants it. Okay, well, I will show you all the tub. There's still stuff left in here, but this is, just so you know, we've went through the whole thing. There's the other Bob Hope, and literally there's the leftovers from that first night. All this has been gone through, so there was the, there's the leftovers from that other night. There's the Empire of the Sun, and yeah, we've already been through that. So that is, uh, Michael Ruttman said 25, so last post there for 25. Now, the only thing was the lobby cards. Brent offered a hundred for. He offered a hundred for these lobby cards that was left over. Which let me see what's here and Papillion, which I don't remember what it was. Brent, are you still interested in these? I was going to count them. One, two, 
three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. I'll open the last ones. Yeah, I'll do that. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. There's 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, There's 63 lobby cards there, actually. That's a lot. 63 right here. Somebody wants to see the last Bob Hope packet cards. And Brent, I think, was interested in these that were left. plastic out of the way. Okay. So Brent, before I price those, and I know Debbie wanted the one on top for eight, but let me know if that's what you were interested in as a bundle, those 60, whatever we said. Let's see what's in these last here. So here is the last Bob Hope I didn't open. That was How to Commit Marriage, which we've shown that one before, How to Commit Marriage. That's what that looks like, how to commit marriage. So that's what those look like. We got several of them. There's one there. There's another one. There's another one. So make sure they're all. And then we had a lot of the private Navy of Sergeant O'Farrell. Which that's what that looks like. And I have a bunch of those if anybody wants one cheap, like 10 bucks. I got a bunch of them if you want one cheap, like for $10. Okay. So there's those. And that was all those. Yeah. That's all the sergeant. I already looked at the titles on those. And then really the only thing we hadn't flipped through was these last packets of lobby cards here. And kind of the same thing. Just if you see one, let me know. We have another Call Me Bawana. Call Me Bawana. Call Me Bawana. That Certain Feeling. And That Certain Feeling. James Vasquez said he'd get 15 on a marriage poster. I will sell that to you. Just let me dig it back out of there. How to Commit Marriage. That is sold to James Vasquez for $15. The rest of the Bob Hopes, or more Bob Hopes. We have My Favorite Blonde, The Seven Little Foys, Louisiana Purchase, Louisiana Purchase, My Favorite Blonde, 
Bob Hope, Seven Little Foys. Bob Hope, Hedy Lamar, my favorite spa. My favorite spa. The Iron Petticoat. That's a pretty cool looking one. Iron Petticoat. Bob Hope, Rhonda Fleming, alias Jesse James. And alias Jesse James. There's more. Bob Hope, the Princess and the Pirate. Nothing but the truth and nothing but the truth. There's more. The Lemon Drop Kid. The Seven Little Foys. My favorite blonde, Seven Little Foys, Seven Little Foys, and the last packet, the last packet, Off Limits, and Call Me Bawana. And I think that concludes the first tub, the first tub of packeted Fred Goodwin posters and other Hollywood memorabilia. Yeah, I think we got some full sets there. I think Brent's got off. He was interested in that big lot. There's enough here. I think I can talk to him later about it. But, Debbie, if you're still watching and you want the Santa Claus one for eight, I will sell it to you. That's 1951. Let me know. Yeah, and there's a lot. I'll have to kind of spread those out and sort them. And I'll go ahead and sell that to Debbie for $8. I'm not sure if Brent's still with us. But if he is, I'm sure he's okay with that one going out. And we might can find, you never know, De uh, Fred may have a more Bob Hope stuff tucked away in some of these other tubs we hadn't gone through. Who knows? Who knows? But I've got to start getting ready for the sale in the morning. I'm probably going to be here once again when customers are showing up at 930. We had people start getting here at the doors at 930 in the morning which is okay with me. And I think there was nine people outside when I left. Uh, there was nine people outside when I left and uh, at 10 at 9.30 and at 10 o'clock, I think we had uh, around 20 people lined up at the door ready to get in. So Brent says, I'm watching. Okay. I didn't know. Well, I was, I didn't know if that's what you wanted to price on earlier or not. So, but uh There was like 63 lobby cards there. I was thinking just on those lobby cards, just on these 63, I'm at, uh, oh, he was just kidding. Okay. Well, I think there's about 60 because I just pulled this one out. We'll keep that sold to Debbie if that's okay for $8. But uh, $200 for those 60. $200 for those 60. That's right here. Which, how could you say no at a price like that? How could you say no? How many text messages and stuff do I have to get back to? Oh, my gosh. How do I pay for this? All right. Well, I uh, during the show, I ordered some cheese sticks from Pizza Hut. They're sitting over here on the counter, probably ice cold. I'm about to pop them in the microwave. Hopefully that wakes me up. It will probably make me feel terrible. But uh, I'm going to try to get woke up, and uh, I've got a lot of work to do here. So, For all the hope and the papillion. Now, when you say all the Bob Hope, are you talking about this stack or the also the ones I just recently got? Are you talking about? All the Bob Hopes. Are you talking about all the Bob Hopes? And I'm trying to still figure out what Papillion was. Uh... 
and I'm looking at some notifications here. Let's see, all these here. Cool. Problem is, is if I don't sell them to Brent, I'm trying to figure out what I am going to sell them or where am I going to sell them. That's why I'm going through all this stuff now. A papillion, something Papa John's sell. Yeah, it sounds like something I would eat. Oh, that's a lot of lobby cards. The reason I'm going through this now is because if I go through it any other time, I don't know what to do with this stuff other than list it online or post, take pictures of it. So uh, for me, it's a big bonus if we have something, if we have an offer on something right now. For me to, you know, possibly let it ride. I'm just trying to figure out what Papillion was. Let me start from the bottom here and work my way back up. That was a poster, right, Brent? That was a poster. Bottom of the middle. He says, I'll do 250. <laughs> Papillon. Oh, lobby cards. Okay. All right. He says, I'll do 250. Well, I, that's what I was going to counter. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was just wanting to find it first. I don't like saying, I don't like doing a deal till we... Uh, that was the Twilight of the God stuff. Hornet's Nest. Spiral Road. Spiral Road. Because if I don't get it now, guess what? It's gone forever. I'll never be able to find it. That's that. Well, that's the Rock Hots and stuff. I, I don't recall. Just, I guess my problem is I don't recall s saying that tonight. Um... Was there another stack over here? Hold on a second. Okay. I will find that. And I can't believe it's not right here in front of us, though. We already flipped through this stuff. That's the soap pile. Let's go through it piece by piece. But consider a done deal. These lobby cards and Papillion. And, uh, or Papillon. How do you say it? Papillon? I may have to go rewatch the video in, in full speed or in a two times speed with thumbnails so I can find those. That's the only other lobby cards right there, the Twilight for the Gods. There's the Goldie Hawn stuff. Little big man. Aha, these. Okay, so you're talking about these right here. Okay. So Brent Robley, Rebecca, Jake, Tanner, whoever ends up, I'm gonna put a sticky note. On the top of this and the bottom of this. He gets this stack of lobby cards here for $250. Everything between those sticky notes. Folks, I'm going to post pictures tomorrow of the next tub we're going through. It will be posted in a whole lot of records in our f private Facebook group. I'll open up a tub. I'll give a couple teasers. We'll be going through that tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, we'll be back for record, 7 to midnight, midnight to 2 a.m. We'll be doing posters or from 2 a.m. or from midnight to whenever we get done. Thanks, everybody, for watching. 
We have uh, thousands and thousands of items. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with all this stuff, literally. Uh, I'm ordering sleeves so I can start sleeving these things up and uh, trying to sell more of them here in the store. But, man, we got so much stuff to go through. But uh, I'm ready to wash my hands, eat my cheese sticks, and uh, I got to clean up the store first, which it's a mess again tonight. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. Y'all know the drill. I better see each and every one of you on. If you're not on bond, we can't continue to do this. But if you are on bond, I'll stay up as late as I need to, as long as it's not a weird weekend like this week where we have to get, continue to get ready for stuff every night. So, all right. Thank you. Good night. See y'all um, tomorrow at 7. See some of y'all at midnight.